When I was 10 years old, I broke the legs of all the naughty kids in the neighborhood, their parents came to my house together, demanding an explanation. They said I had violent tendencies and super masculine genes. Even though I was only 10 years old, I was nearly 1.8 meters tall. Under the pressure from the neighbors, my parents sent me to a mental hospital. Only my innocent and adorable little sister believed that I was normal. Every three days, she would come to visit me at the mental hospital. Bring my favorite snacks with her each time. But recently, she hasn't come. It wasn't until my parents brought the notice of my sister's critical condition to the hospital. I knew I should got out of here. Five days ago, when my sister came to visit me, I noticed a large bruise on her neck. And a small cut near her eye. As someone who was skilled with blades and had caused harm to others multiple times as a mentally ill patient. I was all too familiar with this situation. The mark on her neck was caused by a blunt object. The small cut near her eye looked like it was made by a sharp blade. I carefully examined my sister's clothes and found that the left sleeve was stained with blue paint. And her third finger couldn't stop trembling, as if her nerves had lost control. I wanted to reach out and lift up my sister's sleeve. But she reacted as if she was frightened and quickly stepped back several steps. Brother, I'm fine, I just have a fever, I'll come visit you in a few days, my sister said. Flashing a bright smile, like a beautiful butterfly in the wild, particularly eye-catching. Even the nurses around couldn't help but look at my sister a few more times. At that time, I didn't understand the consequences of these injuries, since my sister said she was fine, then she must be fine, I furrowed my brow and thought. By the way, brother, I have a small bag of jelly here that you used to love eating, but this time, remember to eat sparingly. The girl blinked her eyes, holding the bag of jelly in her hand, which seemed particularly difficult for her. The surrounding nurses seemed to sense that something was off, why does she sound like she's giving final instructions? After saying those words, my sister left, looking back three times as she walked away. I stood at the door of the ward, staring blankly, feeling a vague surge of emotions in my heart, will my sister come back? Later on, I would sit at the entrance of the ward every day, waiting, I would sit there for two hours at a time. This guy has been acting strange recently, he hasn't hurt anyone or done anything else, he just sits at the door every day, not knowing what he's thinking, the nurses would gossip. Maybe he's getting over it, what do you care? As long as he doesn't hurt anyone, it's a good thing anyway, many of the caregivers are talking about it. To be honest, in these four years, they were genuinely frightened by me. I was like an indestructible cockroach, no matter what methods they used to deal with me, I would recover the next day as if nothing had happened. Those who used electric shocks, beatings, and other methods to deal with me, I would repay them tenfold unnoticed by anyone, that's why no one dared to trouble me anymore. It was all because I had activated a skill proficiency system when I was seven years old. From childhood to now, I have been finding various ways to improve my skill proficiency, even though I didn't demonstrate many of these skills. Such as playing musical instruments, chess, calligraphy, painting, martial arts, and knife usage, they have all been raised to the highest level. Especially these four years in the mental hospital, I had nothing to do and devoted myself to improving my skill levels every day. Half a year ago, after reaching the pinnacle of my last assassination skill, there was nothing left for me to learn. Previously, my sister would visit every three days, always arriving at 6.30 p.m., never later than 7 p.m., even if something delayed her. But today, it's already 7.20 p.m. and not only has my sister not arrived, but my parents, who visit me once a week, haven't come either. I return to my room with a dark expression, lying on the bed, tossing and turning, unable to sleep, is she just sick? I recalled what my sister had said, that she had a fever and would get better soon, perhaps my parents didn't come to see me because of my sister's illness. That's what I thought in my heart, but it felt as if another soul was tearing me apart, your sister might be in trouble, even though you are mentally ill, your parents haven't given up on you after all these years. Why haven't they visited you all day long, whether it's your dad or your mom? The voice was cold and manic, I got up from the bed and walked past the duty nurses to the entrance of the mental hospital. The two security guards at the entrance frowned when they saw me and were about to stop me when I rushed towards them. Before they could sound the alarm I landed a heavy punch on one of their stomachs. The guard who was hit bent his body, unable to catch his breath, and was in too much pain to speak. 
The other guard tried to rush into the security booth but was hit in the face by a black object, letting out a scream and falling to the ground. The object that was thrown was the keychain from the other guard's shift change, there were at least a dozen keys on it, and it wasn't light. I quickly ran over and kicked the figure at the entrance of the security booth in the chest. Seeing that the person had lost the ability to resist, I finally breathed a sigh of relief. I used the blood-stained keychain to open the iron door in front of me, with a loud thud, the door opened completely. I stood outside the mental hospital, breathing in the air as if I were taking big gulps, feeling incredibly relieved. Even though I knew it was psychological, that feeling of freedom made me tremble with excitement. It had been four years since I last went home, but I still remembered the way back home clearly. After two hours, the familiar streets in front of me made me feel like I had returned to my childhood days. At that time, my family had a storefront, which, although not making us rich, provided enough for our basic needs. But because of my mental issues, not only did we have to buy a large amount of medication every day, but I often caused harm to others, resulting in massive compensations. Eventually, too many people caused trouble, and we were forced to sell the storefront. On the day I was sent to the mental hospital, my parents had already been tormented beyond recognition. Perhaps I truly am a sinner. I stepped on the wall of the alley and climbed into the house through the second floor window. With a furrowed brow, I opened door after door, finding each one empty, dad, mom, and little sister are not at home. I found a hospital bill on the table, payment, 35,861 yuan, and there, right below, is my dad's signature. In another bag, there are several CT scans, the images reveal a frail figure, with multiple fractures in the hands, feet, and ribs, the middle finger of the left hand is even completely shattered. With a furrowed brow, I open door after door, finding each one empty, dad, mom, and little sister. I am all too familiar with this scene, because I am familiar with it, I understand every method and tool used in the crime. The wounds on the hands were caused by a blunt object, possibly a stone, a table that was pushed over, or even a hammer. The rib fractures were caused by falling from a height, and the legs were forcefully broken by someone. In the past, when I saw something like this, I would feel an indescribable excitement, wishing I could personally take action and do it again. But this time, seeing it made me speechless, an indescribable emotion overwhelmed me, leaving me short of breath, just then, I heard a creak from outside, as if the front door was being opened. I quickly put everything back and hid behind the cabinet, soon, the living room lights came on, and a worn-out figure with white hair entered the room. It was my father, the last time we met, he was still fine, with only a few strands of white hair on his head, but now, after just one week, he seemed to have aged decades. He went to the kitchen to get a glass of water and then made several phone calls in succession, yes, brother. Can you lend me another 20,000 yuan? I will definitely pay you back once I have the money. Second uncle, you know my current situation, I plan to sell the house, can you lend me some money first so that I can cover the medical expenses? Big sister, I'm begging you, I know, just 20,000 yuan is enough. He made a total of seven calls, and my father's voice sounded incredibly humble, afraid that if he said something wrong, the other person would hang up. 20,000 yuan may not sound like much, but it is not something our family can come up with easily, although the way they speak is harsh, he eventually managed to borrow the money. Some relatives lent 4 or 5,000 yuan, while others lent 7 or 8,000 yuan, after borrowing from all our relatives and friends, more than 25,000 yuan was transferred to my father's account. Seeing the money finally coming in, the man who had raised and tolerated me since I was a child, who even sold his shop to pay for my treatment, sat paralyzed on the sofa. His slightly emaciated figure resembled that of a gradually aging yet still indomitable hero. Even hidden in the darkness, my eyes couldn't help but get a little moist, but the brief tranquility was quickly shattered by a phone call. A sharp female voice came from the other end, have you considered what I told you before, my daughter is still underage, and she has good grades, even if she does something outrageous, she won't be subject to legal sanctions, you better be smart and not hinder your daughter's treatment by not receiving the money. Upon hearing that woman's voice, my dad fiercely pounded the table, seemingly furious to the extreme, I have already collected the medical expenses, this matter is not over between us. You've got it all together, don't you know what your family's situation is, this time it's only 20,000 yuan 
but what about the subsequent medical expenses, 100,000, 200,000, even 400,000 or 500,000 is not impossible, I advise you not to let your own impulsiveness ruin your daughter. Go fuck yourself, dad shouted hysterically, but on the other end, there was a disdainful laughter, then the phone was hung up. Dad smashed the cup in his hand onto the glass table in front of him, with a loud bang, the table shattered into pieces, his hands were covered in blood. Dad seemed numb to the pain, lying lifelessly on the sofa with empty eyes, he seemed unable to understand how our once happy family had come to this point. But soon, Dad went out again, he must have gone to pay for my sister's medical expenses. I, hiding behind the cabinet, silently emerged from the darkness, and climbed out of the window, as I descended, I heard a sound of something falling nearby. From a distance, I saw a girl in a blue dress with a few boys of similar age. The thing that fell was a can of red spray paint. As I approached, I noticed that the walls outside were covered in various dirty words, or deserves to be a vegetable. I furrowed my brow, then I faintly heard the curses from the girl in the blue dress and the boys. They are lying in the hospital and still causing trouble, these bitches should die in the hospital, what's the point of bringing them to the police station, just don't give them the medical expenses, after speaking, they sprayed a few more words on the wall. When I walked out, they sneered without paying much attention to me, I advise you to pretend you didn't see anything, otherwise, you'll be in trouble later, the girl aimed the spray paint at me. But after seeing my face clearly, she realized that I bore some resemblance to Qin Xiaomei, who was lying in the hospital, she suddenly remembered that Qin Xiaomei had mentioned having a brother, but no one had ever seen him. Now she had been discovered, and it was by Qin Xiaomei's brother, the leading girl was not afraid, but instead taunted me and ran off with the others, they cheered and shouted as they left. One of the boys even flipped me off and called me an idiot. I closed my eyes, took a deep breath, and a cruel smile appeared on my face, silently, I followed them, if it came down to physical strength, how could these boys possibly be my match? But this group was also clever, at a corner, they immediately dispersed. I didn't chase after the boys, instead, I kept my eyes on the girl with the red spray paint, even if I were stupid, I could tell that she was the ringleader. After nearly half an hour, I cornered the girl in an alley. The girl shook the spray paint can in her hand, idiot, if you dare touch me, you're as good as dead, your sister deserves her misfortune, your whole family is a bunch of scum. I didn't get angry at her words, instead, I revealed a joyful smile, my body couldn't stop trembling, and my eyes gradually became crazed, as if I had awakened some unknown genetic chain. I swallowed hard, picked up a stone from the ground and slowly approached. What are you going to do, I'm telling you, bang. A loud thud echoed in the alley, the stone accurately hit the girl's forehead. The girl, who was still retreating, only felt dizzy and fell to the ground, mouth, but still cannot stop the abuse, dog thing, I do not want you to die well, I want to let my friend, killed your sister left the hospital, is not still going to school. No matter what school, I will make him worse than death, is that right? Chen Zhe's voice was flat, it was as if nothing could arouse his interest, the only way his body could feel tremors was at the sight of the bleeding wound on the girl's forehead, and an inexplicable feeling of comfort filled the depths of his heart. He stepped on the girl's sea of wrists, only to hear a click, the bones seeming to be trampled and broken, the girl let out a mournful cry, her eyes showing a hint of fear at that moment, but she still couldn't stop threatening, do you know who my father is? My family runs a company, casually spending some money to die, I want to let my father break your limbs, and then let your family die, the girl's voice was hysterical, the family is in business, very rich, there are always people willing to take risks for money, if the girl's family was willing to pay tens of millions of dollars to find someone who would waste Chen Zhe, then I'm afraid there would be people who would be happy to do it. After all, an ordinary person would not necessarily be able to earn those tens of millions of dollars in a lifetime, the girl even thought that Chen Zhe would be scared and retreat, but what greeted her was still the same cold face to the core, he stepped on the girl's foot at the wrist, almost the whole person is supported, constantly turning, hard, the girl's tears of pain came out, she wanted to pull her hand back, but the back of her hand has long been bloody, until not far away, a panicked voice, pulled him back from the madness, ah Zhe, why are you here? It was his mother's voice. She was holding a lunchbox in her hand, she was standing at the entrance of the alley, staring at the bloody scene in front of her, 
Chen Zhe snapped back to his senses, as if he didn't want his mother to see his morbid side again, but there was a dead end in the distance, so he couldn't leave at all, the mother came in, there was no fear of his crazy side, no matter what, this was her child. Becoming like this today actually didn't have much to do with Chen Zhe, her family lived in a relatively comfortable environment, but Chen Zhe didn't know what was going on and grew up as if he was born evil. His personality was extremely twisted, and whatever methods they used, they couldn't change Chen Zhe's psychology, even the doctors all exclaimed that this was the first time they had seen it, even Chen Zhe himself admitted that his parents had been really good, and that his parents and sister had been really dear, the neighbors were also well aware of how harmonious their family really was, however, it was just such a harmonious family that produced a devil-like person, mother, Chen Zhe's voice. Trembled, he was tempted to cover his face, but he was afraid that if he rushed out, his mother would stop him and he would end up bumping into her. However, the woman outside only had red eyes, and she reached out her hands to hold Chen Zhe's head, Chen Zhe, who was almost sick, came to his senses at that moment, the girl, whose wrists had been stepped on and were even more broken and bloody, took advantage of this opening to climb up and rush outside, I will not let you all die well, the girl's voice was shrill, actually and inside the room, the old man called this woman's voice. There are a few points of overlap, simply a mold carved out. What kind of family, there are what kind of children, the mother also recognized the girl, from the initial pain, turned into anger, followed by reluctantly shed tears. Son, mommy is sorry, and I'm sorry for your sister, it's all mommy's fault for not protecting her, the tearful mother reached out and stroked her son's face, Chen Zhe said not a word, he just cuddled into his mother's arms for ten minutes, the mother seemed to have remembered something. I have to send something to your sister, you go back first, but go back where? The mother obviously thought about this problem, the mother obviously also thought of this problem, seems to call is just now Chen Zhe's madness, let her be afraid of Chen Zhe to do more sick things, hurriedly called a taxi and personally sent Chen Zhe back to the mental hospital. When he went back to the mental hospital and looked at his mother who was outside crying and leaving, he didn't say a word, he just let out a long breath, the nurses around him obviously saw the blood on his shoes and his dejected face and one or two of them didn't dare to speak up, fortunately, Chen Zhe was obedient and returned to the ward, after closing the door behind him, he began to say nothing, outside the glass window. From time to time, the nurses would look in, when the next morning came, outside the mental hospital, many people came, one of them, a man in a suit, pushed aside the doctor in a white coat in front of him, who was holding a pile of documents in his hands and constantly banging them on the table. On the pile of documents was none other than Chen Zhe's case and everything related to it, even that man in the suit came outside Chen Zhe's window, his eyes glaring at Chen Zhe inside, only then did Chen Zhe realize that this man resembled the girl from last night, the man picked up a photo and pointed to the girl on it, confirming his suspicion, I will make your life worse than death, the man's voice could not be heard, however, Chen Zhe could tell the meaning of the words from the other parties. Mouth, facing the man's threat, Instead, Chen Zhe simply climbed up and walked to the edge of the window. Slowly opened his mouth, morphological white teeth, emotionless eyes, paired with that under the light, half white and half black face, it was inexplicably eerie, the man in the suit took a step back, his eyes changing again as if they were shady hooks, grunted, and turned to leave, was it last night, the girl's father. He is furious, but my sister has several broken bones all over her body, and she is still lying in the hospital bed, unsure of life and death, Chen Zhe laughed, laughing happily, like a devil swearing his arrival, the man is gone, but the doctor's desk, but placed several piles of money, as well as a check. The $500,000 in capital letters on top of the check was particularly striking, the doctor in the white coat also seemed to be in a constant struggle between the two, around 8 o'clock in the evening, the doctor got up, put the money in his pocket and the check in his pocket, he turned to the infirmary, grabbed a few things, and went to Chen Zhe's room, inside, Chen Zhe seemed to be sleeping both eyes were closed tightly, his breathing was calm, the lights were also off. The nurses outside did not know what methods they had used and could not see a trace, holding a hanging bottle, the doctor gently opened the room door and looked at Chen Zhe sleeping inside, the complexity in his eyes was obvious, but in the end, he still took the hanging bottle and hung it on the wall. With extraordinary skill, he pulled out the needle, connected the tube, and aimed it at the back of Chen Zhe's hand, in the dimly lit room, the doctor in the white coat took a long look, he was about to be stabbed, in the darkness, a pair of calm, ice-cold eyes suddenly opened, a strange smile appeared on his face, and the doctor, who was about to make a move, noticed the pair of open eyes. An inexplicable feeling of fear surged through his heart, he stood up and was about to back away when a pair of large palms grabbed his collar, 
the immense strength made it impossible for the doctor before him to resist, he wanted to scream for help, but his mouth was covered with a deadly grip and immediately after that, the syringe from earlier was plunged into the doctor's skin. He struggled a few times and then his body began to weaken, symptoms like trembling hands, panic, dizziness, and so on appeared, Chen Zhe looked up, he saw the words insulin written above the glass bottle, wait until the doctor stopped struggling, Chen Zhe picked up the other party's body and quickly returned to the infirmary, perhaps because the other party had arranged it beforehand, whether it was the nurses outside or the cameras, they were no longer visible, he never thought that he had helped. Chen Zhe in disguise, although he originally wanted to kill Chen Zhe, after cleaning up all the traces, Chen Zhe put the syringe back into the doctor's hand, looked at the insulin that hadn't finished dripping, and turned around to return to his own ward, it was around 3 o'clock. A nurse's scream pierced the silent night sky, the dead doctor was found, many people came outside, only Chen Zhe stayed inside, holding a check for half a million dollars and looking it up and down, there was also a note with a phone number and address on it, which he put in his pocket, the dead doctor. His name was Wang Yang, and he used to be the chief doctor of a big hospital, later, because of the operation. The patient received $50,000, but also the person to death, back to. The lawsuit, if not proven that the accident has nothing to do with their own, I'm afraid that now would have squatted in jail, also because of the receipt of the patient's red envelope thing, lost the hospital job, through acquaintances and friends, and then to play a lot of relationships. Only then came to this mental hospital, all of this information was previously learned by Chen Zhe from the nurses, not just Wang Yang, in the entire hospital, he'd memorized everyone's information in his own mind, moreover, thanks to the various types of abilities he had turned on over the years, his memory was far stronger than that of an ordinary person, after the police arrived. They quickly began to investigate the beginning and end of the matter, but because the doctor, Wang Yang, had made the arrangements beforehand, even if the police came, they could not investigate any problems, in the end, things were delayed, after all, this is a mental hospital, so if the other nurses and attendants have no problem, there is only one last reason. Things were done by mental illness, even if they wanted to pursue the matter, it would be difficult, after a whole night of tossing and turning, the person finally left, the next day, the sky had just begun to dawn, a man wearing blue work clothes and carrying food was seen arriving at the hospital entrance on a motorcycle, perhaps it was because his mother had told him about Chen Zhe, coupled with the fact that someone had died in the hospital last night, his father looked a little nervous when he arrived, he vaguely felt that this matter must have something to do with his son, but there was no solid proof, he could only say a few words to the nurse and carried his things inside. Inside the room, Chen Zhe was sitting on the stool by the door as usual, he stared out blankly, it wasn't until his father arrived, only then did his demeanor change slightly, it seemed like it had been more than a week since he had seen Chen Zhe, and when he saw Chen Zhe again, his old father's eyes were slightly moist, the recent changes in the family had caused him to be pining away, and it was even likely that he wouldn't even be able to pay for Chen Zhe's hospital expenses. Ah Zhe, Pop stepped forward, he hugged him with one hand, unconsciously, tears streamed down his wrinkled face, unspeakable sadness, Chen Zhe, who was being hugged, had some hidden waves in his heart, he stretched out his hand and patted his old man's back, and the old man reacted, dumbfounded, he looked at him for several seconds, not expecting that this son of his would also comfort him, ever since Chen Zhe had grown up, he had displayed this almost perverted personality, even though he was terrified in his heart, he had never given up on this child, he even gave up his family's money for Chen Zhe and moved all of his belongings out of his house, he wanted Chen Zhe to lead a normal life, unfortunately, such an idea is just a foolish thought these days. You've been back to your hometown before, right? Chen Zhe nodded his head, dad sighed and continued, did you see what was on the table? Chen Zhe did not say anything, but from the slight change in the center of his gaze, Pops also guessed, this son of his, he definitely saw what was on the table, your sister is still in the hospital, in the intensive care unit, with a comminuted fracture of her ring finger and several blunt object wounds on her body, it's dad who is useless, can't protect you or give you a rich life, but there's only so much dad can do. Ah Zay, I'm sorry. Dad opened what he had brought and took out an apple, peeling it and stuffing it into his hand, Chen Zhe didn't put it in his mouth, but calmly said, last night, a man in a suit came and stared at me outside the window, he looked a lot like the girl I heard, perhaps because Chen Zhe was mentally ill and not very old, even if the police were called, they would not be able to handle it, so the other party decided not to call the police, but instead used money to buy the psychiatric hospital doctor. But the crowd did not expect that Chen Zhe did not have an accident, but instead the doctor died that night, when he heard that there was a man in a suit who looked like the injured girl, he also went to the hospital, and the doctor died that night. 
Chen Yuzheng, who knew his son's character intimately, seemed to understand something and patted him on the shoulder, another glimmer of struggle flashed in his eyes, but he still clenched his fists and said nothing, looking at the son in front of him, he finally sighed deeply, he did not want to hurt Chen Zhe, but compared to the son he once had, the current Chen Zhe had changed a lot, at least, he didn't move around and lose control of his emotions, it was also because of the changes in these. For years that they had renewed hope for their son that he might actually be cured one day, but if they released their son's nature, who knew what would happen? All the things that had happened in the past were like nightmares hanging over their heads, you don't need to worry about your sister's matter, dad will have his own way of dealing with it, Chen Zhe didn't say a word, he didn't say yes, he didn't say no, he just hung his head low, with his entire face buried in the shadows, he seemed to be silently saying something, ah Zhe, alas, Chen Yuzheng let out another sigh. His expression became even more disheveled, he realized that as the head of the family, there was really nothing he could do, a deep sense of powerlessness ran down his spine, that old face looked especially insecure and helpless. If, I mean if, pops, you can't handle it, come and get me, what? Chen Yuzheng seemed to have heard the most incredible thing, pick up his own son. What does he mean? This was a manic psychosis, a man who had no control over his emotions, and once he unleashed his true nature, the consequences would be unpredictable, it was also tantamount to destroying his own son in disguise, I'm afraid it will be impossible to cure him, I know, I know, you want to help dad and your sister, but I can't destroy you, pops went back to the hospital room and stayed with him for half a day. Father and son talked a lot, today, Chen Zhe's mood was extremely stable, not like a mental patient, but like a high school kid, all of that, it was just Chen Zhe trying his best to suppress his emotions, I don't know when this almost perverted personality would consider his old man's feelings, he would be worried that his sister would never come back because of his mania, witnessing his old father's departure, Chen Zhe's face, which had been buried in the shadows, finally revealed itself, the face that was supposed to be calm, the face that was supposed to be calm was gradually distorted, as if some kind of devil was out of control, your old man can't handle it anymore, can he? He is this old, the other party has power and influence, your old man would just be sent to his death if he goes, he can take half a million dollars to buy your life in the hospital, he can take a million ten million dollars to break up your family, to make your sister lying in the hospital have a life worse than death, think about your sister's current situation, will he be able to visit you in the future? The voice of the heart, to break down Chen Zhe's psychological defenses, like the devil's compulsion, from noon to evening, he stared at the outside like a wooden stake, even if the nurse asked, he did not say anything, until the sky completely darkened. He looked behind him at the blankets and stuffed various things into them, the black plastic bag under the bed contained the same white overcoat that was left behind when the sister was beaten unconscious, he had carried it with him since his return, and with the fruit and snacks in his other hand, the nurse and the caretaker hadn't cared, until now, it finally came in handy, they thought, is this going to be okay? They thought my sister, my parents, were easy to bully, they think I can only be slaughtered in a mental hospital, in the darkened room, like a ghostly murmur echoing lazily, he noticed it too, the nurses outside, the janitors, would be changing shifts in half an hour. Time passed slowly, and half an hour had passed, taking advantage of the gap, he put on a white coat, bowed his head, and silently left the room, at the end of the shift, the nurse looked out the window and saw the quilt and the raised figure, and thought that Chen Zhe was still in the room. Chen Zhe did not rush out of the room, but went to the storeroom, put on a security uniform and quietly entered the surveillance room. Inside the surveillance room, there was a security guard playing a mobile phone game. He didn't even pay attention to the surveillance above, the people who work night shift here are either lazy or sleeping, the time to pay attention to the surveillance above can be said to be very little, only when something really happens, only then will they call the surveillance, waiting for the guard in the room to turn around and go out with his cell phone because he had to pee. He entered the surveillance room and deleted the surveillance video of himself leaving the ward, the action was fast, the whole process took only a few tens of seconds, and by the time he left, the guard hadn't even finished using the restroom, Chen Zhe climbed out again from a hidden enclosure outside where there was no surveillance. As he breathed in a clean air again, Chen Zhe smiled, this time, the smile was exceptionally hideous, with a split mouth and white teeth, more like an evil ghost from a cage, he reached into his pocket, he took out the note with the phone number and address, it was clearly marked, the location of a villa area, he followed the location and quickly found the place, this place was worthy of a villa where rich people lived, from afar. It was heavily guarded and opulent, on both sides of the entrance alone, there were several security guards on night duty, he even saw numerous cameras. 
However, they were too insignificant for Chen Zhe to stop him from advancing, he chose an area where there weren't any cameras, and sneaked in silently with an extra silver white scalpel in his hand, when he arrived at the number 8 villa where the address was located, only the window on the second floor was lit, and when he climbed up from the wall to the second floor, he saw two figures inside through the window, a man and a woman sitting on the edge of the bed, the man even patted the girl. On the shoulder, cousin, don't worry, everything will be fine, but cousin, I'm scared, this guy is a maniac, he broke my wrist by stepping on it, thinking back to all the things that happened the night before, Zhou Xuxue got goosebumps. She heard her father say, that person from the mental hospital still seems to be inside the escape, although he has been locked up, but she still felt disturbed, she turned her head, but then said, is not just a little bitch. Other students who were bullied by me, did not say a word, obviously her body bones are too weak, even fell from the second floor, why should be counted on my head? And his brother, what kind of bitch is she, what kind of family is she, I hope my dad will kill her sooner, the cousin next to him, who was wearing a tracksuit, also smiled and nodded his head, and then put his hands on the shoulders of the girl, I can't, my hands are hurt, what's wrong? As long as you don't touch your hands, is it okay? It just so happens that your parents aren't here today, no one will notice, after saying that, a disgusting voice came from inside the room, Chen Zhe frowned, holding his breath, he froze and stood outside on the balcony, waiting for more than an hour, the matter was over, the cousin left the room with a face full of relief and inside, Zhou Xuxue, her face as red as a drunken blush, took out her cell phone and said in a voice to the group, go to the hospital tomorrow and take a look at that. Bitch, it's best if you can pull out the oxygen tube, that bitch's brother hurt me, I can't let her have a good time either, after sending this voice. Zhou Xuxue lay down on the bed with a satisfied smile, that pervert was locked up in the mental hospital again, and they had no more worries, if they don't take revenge, they will really feel sorry for themselves, besides, those two old things have been guarding the hospital, even if the oxygen tube is pulled out, they will come back within 10 minutes and will not cause any death at all, but it is this paragraph, let the outside Chen Zhe, from the fence, climbed up to the balcony, standing, right in front of the balcony, under the dim moonlight, the silver white scalpel, flashing with a suffocating luster, Zhou Xuxue, who was lying in a large form, seemed to have sensed something, dazed and confused, he turned his head, and when he saw Chen Zhe's face, he unconsciously widened his eyes, and then, terrified, he tried to make a sound, but was stunned by Chen Zhe, who violently crashed through the glass and burst in, what are you doing, this is against the law, do you know that? Breaking the law. When you hurt my sister, did you ever think of breaking the law? Chen Zhe took a healthy step forward and stepped on the gauze-wrapped hand, Zhou Xuxue let out a piercing scream of pain and was slapped in the face again, followed by Chen Zhe grabbing his head, he was dragged into the hall like a dead dog, outside, the security guards called out, Miss Zhou, are you okay? Zhou Xuxue wanted to call for help, but the cold scalpel on her neck made her feel cold, no, it's okay, there are rats in the room, outside the security, heard nothing, said a few words something to call for help, then left, see everything back to normal, grab Zhou Xuxue's hair, all the way to the outside, find the bathroom and start filling the bathtub with water, wait until the water is full, hold Zhou Xuxue's head, submerged in the middle of the bathtub, after about half a minute, he pulled Zhou Xuxue out. Choking on several gulps of water, Zhou Xuxue seemed angry, no longer afraid of the moment, but threatening, my cousin will not let you go, my friend will not let my father and mother go, I will make your life worse than death, at this point, still talking big, Zhou Xuxue's barbaric stubbornness from childhood was almost fully manifested, her eyes stared resentfully at Chen Zhe, itching to dismantle him. It was only at this time that Zhou Xuxue remembered that the person in front of her was a psychopath, and the information that his father had brought yesterday was that Chen Zhe was only 15 years old, not much older than her, What's more, the file also recorded that Chen Zhe had done all kinds of perverted things, such as piercing someone's palm with a pencil, using a stone at a moment's notice, and smashing someone's head until it was bleeding, what's more, when he went berserk, he even hurt his mother and father. This kind of person is barely rational to the point of mental illness, and you expect to reason with him and threaten him, isn't that a joke? I'm sorry, please let me off this time, I'll make my parents pay for your sister's medical expenses, I'll make my parents pay for your sister's medical bills, and I'll never find anyone to mess with your family again, as long as you let me off the hook, I can pretend this never happened, like your sister and I have a clean slate, and I'm not the only one who bullied your sister, besides, there are so many people who bullied her, I'm not the only one, why do you have to make things difficult? For me. He looked at Zhou Xuxue's words, Chen Zhe did not say a word, once again, he pushed her head into the water, 
after about a minute. Zhou Shushue struggled desperately in the water, choking on several swallows of water in a row, she peed, the rancid stench filled the middle of the bathroom, and he grabbed the other party's hair and pulled it out violently, Zhou Shushue's eyes widened, but he heard a commotion coming from outside, he could hear the voices of several security guards, it is the inside, right now we heard some strange sounds, always have a vague feeling of not being right, so report to the police, you go in to see. What is happening? Then the sound of the door lock opening came into the ears, Chen Ze did not rush to kill Zhou Xuxua either, because he wanted this girl in front of him to suffer the same pain as his sister, in the end, he would let her see her family destroyed and die in the midst of endless torture. Only to see him raise his right leg and mercilessly trample on Zhou Xuxua's joints, only a click could be heard, the bones at the joints shattered violently, he grabbed Zhou Xuxua's hair again and slammed him against the wall again and again, miserable screams and cries echoed throughout the bathroom when the Zhou Shushue in front of him was covered in blood for a long time. He used the scalpel in his hand again to cut off her hamstring before acting like a demon, he licked his mouth, Zhou. Shushue had been terrorized to the extreme, tears mixed with blood streaming down her face, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, please don't torture me anymore, can I apologize to your sister? I will never call her a bitch again, let me go, Chen Zhe simply took the blood on the scalpel and smeared it on Zhou Shushua's clothes, waiting for the sound of footsteps, he suddenly disappeared outside the hall door, only then did Chen Zhe run to the balcony and jump down, the security guards watching outside immediately sounded the alarm, and for a while, the entire villa area became chaotic. There were even a few tycoons who started to observe the situation outside with binoculars, however. These security guards were somewhat competent, but in front of Chen Zhe, they were simply not enough. However, in just a few minutes, they lost sight of Chen Zhe, the police officers who rushed upstairs broke down the door of the room only to see the bathroom and the miserable Zhou Shushue, and at that time, Zhou Shushue's forehead was crushed into a large piece and her face was covered in blood and water, even the bones in her feet had been stepped on and broken, and there were even two wounds on her feet as if something had been cut open. Zhou Shushue hadn't recovered from her panic yet and she kept mumbling in her mouth, I was wrong, please let me go. I don't dare anymore, I will definitely apologize to your sister. Even the police, who had seen a lot, couldn't help but take a deep breath when they saw this scene, who did this? What kind of grudge was it to torture someone like that? However, there was also a police officer who recognized Zhou Shushue in front of him and remembered a case from not too long ago, the same old father came to report that it was his daughter who had fallen from a building and suffered a general fracture, before she jumped off the building, she had been inhumanly mistreated, they followed the trail and quickly found the suspects, one of them was Zhou Shushue, who was unrepentant at the time and made a big fuss at the station. She cursed her old father, because she is not yet an adult, there is no deeper treatment from the beginning to the end, I didn't expect that Zhou Shushue would be in such a scene again, at first, he thought of that tall, thin, old father who had turned grey overnight, but on second thought, that wasn't right, a figure had just jumped out of the window, clearly young and strong, more like an 18 to 20 year old boy. What they didn't know was that Chen Zhe was only 15 years old, and that was the reason why he was tall and big, it was also because his body was quite special. When they saw that the person had already run away, they could only call for help and more than 10 minutes later, an ambulance arrived at the villa downstairs and took the person down to the hospital, Zhou Xuxue's parents also received the news, they soon arrived at the ward where Zhou Xuxue was, when they looked at their daughter, who was connected to an oxygen tube, her eyes were empty and her face was still vaguely anxious. The man wearing a suit and carrying a briefcase was tapping on. The wall, he seemed to be thinking of something, sourly said, it's him, it's definitely him, there can't be any other person besides him, obviously, he had received some clues from the police. The heart must have guessed who it was, after all, the only person who matched a number of characteristics was Chen in the mental hospital, there was only Chen Ze in the mental hospital, but Chen Zhe's identity was also a minor, what's even more frightening is that this guy has a get out of jail free card on his body, it is a certificate of mental illness, today he's still living in the mental hospital, even the doctor he bribed earlier that night died unexpectedly that night, even though he is a fool, everyone can guess the reason, old Joe, who the hell is it, since the last time my daughter was injured, every time I asked you, you didn't say anything, now that my daughter is in such a state, do you still want to hide it from me? They're all big names in town, even the school buildings were built by them. That's why, her daughter and the school, even as lawless, have never been dealt with, can only be regarded as Chen Xiaomei unlucky, was her daughter to bump into, and her daughter, with the child of a poor family, can be compared. One is a golden lady, 
one is a dead girl from a smelly working family, even if she's really gone, they have the means to send their daughters abroad, by then the emperor will be far away, no one can control them, I don't want you to know this because I don't want you to lose your head over it, recently, the company still needs you to deal with a lot of things, if even you are in chaos, what about the company? But the woman obviously did not buy it, cold snort, inside the company that trivial, is there our daughter is important? Seeing that the woman has already hardened her heart, to ask a clear, old Zhou can only helplessly out of the briefcase, took out a pile of documents, handed to the hands of the woman in front of him, the woman opened the file, looked at the contents inside, also could not help but be alarmed, for years of time, how many people had been injured in total, no matter what means were used. The next day they were able to recover as before, in the entire mental hospital, even with more than two. Dozen guards taking turns to supervise, they couldn't watch over such a child. The above, this is the most basic information, in addition to asking for this information, Old Zhou also spent a large amount of money to carefully interrogate the guards who had been injured by Chen Zhe in the past, a uniform answer was obtained. That teenager, who didn't look like much, was like a nightmare in the eyes of all the guards, if you dared to shoot at him, he would dare to retaliate tenfold, isn't the doctor who died earlier a good example? That kid is evil, and what I've investigated is just the tip of the iceberg, the first time our daughter was injured, he was the one who broke out of the mental hospital, I asked the retired bodyguards around me, and after watching the video, they all said that this kid is extremely difficult to deal with, that's why I didn't tell you, the woman listened, but she was a little unimpressed, since these bodyguards can't do it. Then they spend more money, foreign mercenaries, they shoot all day. Can't they still solve a brat? The woman's words, let old Zhou cover his forehead with his hand, he still has one sentence left to say, those bodyguards under his own hands are actually foreign retired mercenaries, each and every one of them was the best among the mercenaries, even they had said that Chen Zhe was difficult to deal with, this meant that it was useless to invite anyone, what's more, on the streets outside the villa area. He even had a dozen bodyguards, watching every intersection, the result is, the person entered the villa area and went up silently, wasted their daughter, those bodyguards couldn't see a thing. If you think you have a solution, you can find someone yourself, I have to go back to the office, the two are still talking, not far away, a figure in a white coat appeared, pushing a small cart, came over, excuse me, it's time for the anti-inflammatory medicine, otherwise, the wound will become infected and the consequences will be unimaginable, the voice was very old-fashioned, it makes people feel stuffy. The white coat figure just like that, from the front of old Joe and the woman, pushed the cart into the ward, then the syringe was taken out and inserted, under the overhead light, only the forehead, eyes, and nose were visible, but Zhou Shushue was lying on the bed, before she could open her mouth to call for help, a large hand covered her mouth. The liquid from the syringe in the hand was silently injected into her veins, Zhou Shushue struggled for a moment, then her eyes rolled upwards, there was no more movement, as for what Chen Zhe had injected into her, it was actually just a relatively common drug called fluoroquinolone, and there were many types of it that would cause some side effects, insanity was one of them, when he finished injecting the drug and walked out. Old Zhou raised his head and met Chen Zhe's eyes, and the two of them staggered past, he just felt that Chen Zhe looked a little familiar to him, but for a moment, he couldn't remember who he was, until Chen Zhe walked away, he took another look at his daughter in the hospital room, Zhou Shushue had been keeping her eyes open and mumbling from time to time. Now, she lay motionless on the bed like a mummy, old Zhou had been in the mall for many years and had seen countless things, so he immediately noticed his daughter's abnormality, he hastily pushed open the door, and rang the bell next to it, called the doctor to come, after a series of examinations, it was soon clear, it was someone who had injected Zhou Shushue with fluoroquinolone, causing old Zhou next to him to break out in a cold sweat, he understood immediately, why was he looking at that? Familiar figure in the white coat, that pair of extremely cold, almost emotionless eyes. Wasn't it the same pair of eyes he had seen through the window of the mental hospital? To this day, he remembered it, he felt that it was alive in his mind, yes, it was him, the psychopath. But when he said that, he felt a little out of sorts, since the other party was doing things so calmly, it didn't look like a mental illness at all, if the other party was a mental illness, then he felt like he was worse than a mental illness, his wife heard him say the words mental illness, she frowned, I'm afraid it was Chen Zhe, the guy who did this to his daughter in the mansion a few hours ago. Now he dared to pretend to be a doctor, run into the ward, and inject his daughter with fluoroquinolone, he's a madman, oh no, he is a madman himself, 
when he does things, you can't judge by what normal people think, Lao Zhou, this guy is too reckless, there are still police guards outside, he dared to sneak into the hospital and even injected our daughter with drugs, if we continue to let him go, who knows what will happen. Who is his sister compared to our daughter? The dirty blood in her body is not even comparable to my daughter's finger, old Zhou, who was a bit annoyed by what had been said, he shook his wife's hand, what's the point of talking to me? People have the nerve to run to the hospital and look at us face to face. Who knows what will happen next? Tomorrow morning, you and I will go to see her parents, first advance the medical expenses, and see if we can settle this matter with money, when she heard that her husband actually wanted to send money to the family that hurt their daughter, she was immediately unhappy, the woman was immediately unhappy, why should I give them money? I have already told the old thing to go and get the case dismissed and give him a large sum of money for medical expenses when the time comes, but it turns out that they don't agree, even if you go again, what's the point? Old Joe grunted, I just got the news, the tens of thousands of dollars they collected before is only enough to pay for the hospital fee, the next operation, at least another 400,000. Even if they sell the house, their old place in the middle of the desert, they can sell 100 or 200,000 will be fine, it is the time of desperate lack of money, if they don't do the operation, it's a question of whether your daughter will live or not, as long as we go over there and talk about it, I think they will agree, the woman was still a little hesitant, but she looked at her daughter in the hospital room. She also took a deep breath, she made up her mind, when we leave here, we have to find someone to kill that psycho named Chen Ze, as long as he is dead, I can spare my hands to deal with this poor family. Since you've made up your mind, I'll go with you tomorrow, I don't think we can't defeat them with our great wealth, besides, our children aren't the only ones involved, if they dare to stand by and do nothing, even if they blow a hole in the sky, I will never let them have a good time, the couple finished speaking, they left a few more hands behind before walking out together, just as they arrived downstairs, again, they looked into the distance, beside a tree stood a figure wearing a duck, tongued cap, he slowly raised his head, this time, Chen Ze wasn't wearing a mask, and under the flickering dim streetlights, the light and dark face revealed a horrible smile. Revealed a horrible smile, two rows of white teeth paired with this almost distorted face, it made old Zhou, who was walking out, stop in his tracks, heart beating sharply a few times, actually inexplicably feel some legs soft, next to the woman did not notice the scene in the distance, rushed to help the old weak, what's wrong with you, did you not just take the antihypertensive medicine when it came? Old Zhou violently swallowed saliva, once again look at the tree next to the time, people have disappeared, goddess ghostly figure, breathtaking smile, and this twisted face, like a heavy hammer, it hit Lao Zhou's heart. But when he looked at his wife, who was standing next to him, he could only take a deep breath, it's nothing, I just didn't eat dinner, maybe my blood sugar is a little low, Chen Ze, however, when he left at night, has done carefully, but in the end, he was still discovered by the nursing staff in the mental hospital, his bed was full of various things, the ones who received the brunt of the call were their parents. Chen Xiaomei's father was watching over him, he heard that his son had escaped. From the mental hospital, escaped from the mental hospital, he couldn't help but flutter his eyelids a little, are you saying that my son escaped from the hospital unnoticed? Yes, Mr. Chen, it's all our fault for not taking good care of him, your son's ability to escape is really too strong, even our surveillance room can't find out the half of it, so you don't even know where my son is? I'm sorry, Mr. Chen, we didn't mean to, the other side apologized sincerely, even though there were complaints in his heart, Chen Yuzheng was not in the mood to continue, turning his head, he hung up the phone, next to him, Chen Yuzheng's mother asked worriedly, did your son run away again? Chen Yuzheng nodded his head, his heart had a mixture of tastes in general, even Chen mother, her throat rolled a little, and tears fell like beans. Unknown to her, there was a figure outside, calmly watching the situation in the ward, including the sister whose body was full of tubes, now still unconscious, until the sound of footsteps came from outside, a man who wore glasses and looked well-mannered, he pushed open the door of the room and entered, as for Chen Zhe outside, dressed in a white coat, the man with glasses just thought it was a doctor and staggered over as he entered the ward, he could hear his father snorting coldly, hello. Mr. Chen, I am the investigator in charge of this case, I heard that your son ran away from the mental hospital. Dad nodded his head, in fact, he didn't deny it, the investigator took out another document, as you know, according to the current situation, your daughter's injuries, it's the right time to have an operation, just now, a person involved in a case came to us and is willing to provide $600,000 for the medical expenses, as long as you get this money. Your daughter will be able to get through the crisis safely, Pops gritted his teeth, what if I don't agree? The investigator sighed deeply, 
your daughter still has to go to school, these people's identity background unusual, unless you leave Shanghai city, or once you piss people off, the consequences are unimaginable. And because of this time, a reporter has already broadcast the news out, it will easily bring bad influence to us, so please withdraw your lawsuit, and we will do our best to give you as much compensation as possible, and you will have a better life at this time, Chen's mother, who was sitting next to her, thumped the table angrily, it's clear that we are the victims, so why should we be the ones to drop the case? The person who hurt my daughter hasn't even apologized to us yet, so are you going to make it difficult for us, an old couple? The investigator was at a loss for words, there was a brief silence in the room. His expression gradually turned serious, you should know the current situation, the other party is a minor, even if the investigation continues, there won't be any results, but how do I remember that the last time we investigated the people involved, some of them were already adults. Chen Yuzhen glared at the investigator, and his gaze seemed to be capable of emitting fire, the investigator also narrowed his eyes at that moment, he knew that this old couple would not be friendly, with that, he stood up and said in a deep voice, the warning that should have been given to you has already been given, so if you insist on not recognizing it, or if you make a mess that affects our reputation, don't blame us for turning the other cheek, after saying that, the investigator got up and left, actually, he wasn't an investigator at all, but a player the Zhou family had found. It was to use this identity to put pressure on the couple, let them know that things cannot be done, in this way, tomorrow, during the negotiations, they would be able to back out, the investigator had achieved his goal, following the corridor of the hospital, he entered the elevator, when he reached the first floor, Chen Zhe had just finished paying his sister's medical bills with the $500,000 check, earlier, he had also heard the tone of the other party's speech, and, without even listening to the end, he knew what that person was here for, when the formalities were over, the person just happened to walk out the door, Chen Zhe followed him out. He saw the other party get into a black sedan, if he hadn't recognized it correctly, the person driving the car was none other than the driver of the Zhou family, then he started to walk out with big steps, he came to the side of the car window, he knocked on the car window with his hand, a few knocks went by, along with Chen Zhe, who was wearing a white coat, the fake investigator and the driver thought he was up to something, so they lowered the car window, Chen Zhe, however, punched the investigator in the face, the speed was fast, the punch was heavy, the punch made the investigator's eyes bleed and his nose bleed furiously, he quickly opened the car door again. A cold scalpel was pressed against the driver's back, the driver looked in the rearview mirror and saw Chen Zhe's face, although he frowned, he obviously didn't know about Chen Zhe, and said in a low voice, sir, it's against the law for you to do this, do you know that? However, the investigator next to him who had read the information broke out in a cold sweat, the person in front of him is a psychopath, what law, or not, underage, mentally ill, is a violation of the laws of heaven, but also cannot cure his crime, want to remind the driver, but afraid to say mental illness a few words, angry Chen Zhe, do something out of the ordinary. Can only remind you, you hurry according to what he said to do on the line, do not nonsense, the driver looked a little sullen, but, there is no but, go ah, the investigator almost shouted, realizing that something was wrong, the driver could only harden his heart and leave, Chen Zhe raised the window of the car, while his hand tightened around the investigator's neck in a death grip, once again, he pressed the scalpel against the driver's back, half an hour later, an abandoned factory, the two men were tied up by Chen Zhe, although the driver was panicked, he still braced himself and said, this is a law-based society, you should understand the consequences of doing this. Chen Zhe narrowed his eyes, what about my sister? What consequences did she get for being a good student and bullying his people? The driver froze, you're the brother of that girl. As for the fact that Chen Zhe was a psychopath, only the Zhou family and the investigator knew that at present, he only helped Mr. Zhou drive the car on weekdays, and secretly helped him contact some impure characters, so he did not show too much fear, in his opinion, if Chen Zhe wanted to kill someone, he would have done it a long time ago, why wait until now? If he died, Chen Zhe wouldn't be able to live either, our young lady is only 14 years old, she is young and doesn't know any better, so please forgive her, he looked like he was speaking politely, however, there was actually a bit of indifference in his voice, it seemed like the thoughts in his heart were the same as those of the Zhou couple, a little girl from an ordinary family, how could she compare to their young lady? Until Chen Zhe raised the scalpel and narrowed his eyes, so your lady is not wrong at all. Just as he opened his mouth, the scalpel Chen Zhe was holding stabbed out, a thudding sound, without hesitation, it pierced the driver's palm, the investigator beside him looked at the numb scalp, his heart half cold, he said to himself, this driver is really brave, this kid won't have to pay for his life even if he kills. 
He, too, could only choose silence, the driver let out a mournful cry, the tears of pain mixed with snot, tearing his heart and lungs, said, little brother, you still have a great future, why bother? Mr. Zhou is very powerful, you cannot fight him, looking at Chen Zhe, he heard this, the face gradually surged a few points of mania, the investigator's heart trembled, whispered, you look at the floor documents, all this time, but also look at what documents. You look ah, the investigator raised his voice, when he entered, the documents fell to the ground, he could clearly see that it was Chen Zhe's personal page. The driver's gaze swept through it, and his face, which still had a few moments of hardness in it, suddenly turned several shades of white, 15 years old, sent to a mental hospital for four years, injured more than 80 people, this was still information that had not been specifically counted, in the investigator's mind, the people who were really injured were definitely more than that, the driver's body stiffened, and he turned his head mechanically, as if to say, why didn't you warn me? Earlier. Seeing this, Chen Zhe was about to raise the scalpel again, the driver panicked, don't, Mr. Chen, everything is arranged by Chairman Zhou, we're just following orders, Chen Zhe again looked at the investigator beside him, the investigator just felt a chill under his body and froze, scared to death. Even though he had followed Mr. Zhou's side and experienced countless things, he had never been as scared as he was today, in the past, most of the work was done by business means or by planting evidence, but who wouldn't be scared to meet such a person who would sacrifice his life at the first encounter? What's more, if you argue with a psychopath, is it possible that you yourself are mentally ill? Yes, yes, little brother, we're just following orders, so please don't give us a hard time, whether it was the investigator or the driver, they were all scared to death, afraid that Chen Zhe would do something even more out of the ordinary. It would be really cold by then, tell me everything you know, or else, Chen Zhe pulled out the scalpel and stabbed the driver's thigh again, the driver screamed in pain and thought, why me again? I've already been stabbed in the palm once, can't it be someone else? The thigh of the investigator next to him is also sticking out, but he can only think these words in his heart, of course, he does not dare to say it, brother, you say, don't, don't bind it, I'm afraid, the driver only got $20,000, came here for $20,000, cannot even put their life at risk. How many people in total have harmed my sister? Asked here, whether it is the investigator, or the driver, all paused, how many people are there? They heard that there were seven or eight inch but they were not sure, just as they were about to think carefully, they saw Chen Zhe's knife raised again, aiming at the investigator, the investigator's heart pounded, saying, bad, come to me, rushed to shout, seven, more than seven, who else besides Zhou Xuxue? Ah. This time, both men were confused, the investigator's head was even buzzing, he only knew that there were about seven or eight people, but who exactly was beyond his ability to know, when he first entered the office, there were only Zhou Xuxue and another kid named Wang. The rest of the people hadn't even been in the office yet, and things had already been sorted out, I don't know ah, uh, little brother, don't, next to this investigator big brother, he follows General Zhou's side every day, surely clear, seeing that, Chen Zhe will do it to himself again, the driver came with a sigh of relief, Chen Zhe's scalpel, aimed at the investigator next to him. The investigator looked at the driver in disbelief and couldn't stop his teeth from chattering, all I know is that. There is one who seems to be surnamed Wang, the young son of the Wang group, whose power is not inferior to that of the Zhou family, and who is a dignified figure in Shanghai city. As for the rest, they haven't even gone into the office, so I'm not qualified to contact them at all, last name Wang. Wang group. Chen Zhe clenched his jaw, he had been locked up in a mental hospital for all these years, and he had no idea what was going on outside, he didn't know what Wang group was either, after releasing the investigator, he had the other party write down the address and some places the other party frequented, only then did he narrow his eyes and tie her up again, he threw her into the factory. He went out alone and drove the black sedan outside, speeding away, Bar Street, there were many social loafers. Gathered here, they had neither the ability nor the capacity to mingle here, so they brought many uncertainties to this street. As time passed, it became later and later, the whole city gradually became depressed, only this street became more and more lively, Chen Zhe sat on the opposite side of a bar, he was wearing a long blue shirt from an unknown source, jeans, and a duckbill hat on his head, he was staring at a bar called Hazy Moon, looking at the time, with a few murmurs coming out of his mouth from time to time, he didn't know what he was thinking. The time passed slowly, it finally stopped at 2.40 minutes. Past midnight, several drunken figures surrounded the 14 or 15 year old teenager, their mouths were filled with compliments, Wang Xiao is awesome, I saw you beat up that girl at school last time, and you really took care of her. 
That's right, tonight, you even threw away thousands of dollars, even the manager at the bar looked stunned, haha, if I have half of Wang Xiao's strength, I can rest easy for the rest of my life, the teenager who received the compliment, who had a black mole on his left cheek, looked confused, but he also enjoyed the feeling of being complimented, when he thought about the injured student, he didn't feel the slightest bit of guilt, but because he was invited to the police station last time, he even held a grudge against Chen Xiaomei in his heart, if given another chance, he would make that girl's life worse than death, too bad she didn't obey me that day, otherwise she wouldn't be so miserable now. Just the stinking cousin of a poor family, it should be her honor to be played by us, it's good that I didn't dislike her for being dirty, but instead she scratched me, Wang Dong said in his mouth, taking out another box of cigarettes, a few people behind him, one person handing one out, nine to five, normally, they only had the chance to smoke when they drank with Wang Dong, coupled with the fact that Wang Dong was generous. Everyone was willing to be friends with him, however, in the face of the crowd's deadly pursuit, Wang Dong waved his hand impatiently, go away, why are you following me? You still want to go home with me, don't you? If you are not wimps, then I can consider it, the people on the sidelines burst out laughing, immediately after, a yellow hair said Wang Xiao, I know your family has great skills, but just this morning, I heard someone say a message, I don't know if you understand it. Wang Dong frowned, what message is so mysterious? Zhou Shishue is still in the hospital, and they say that when the police came in, his head was broken and his thigh was cut off, speaking of which, yellow hair subconsciously shrank, although they always mix in a bar street. They belong to the fringes of society, but nowadays, social control is getting tighter and tighter, and they don't dare to hurt people so easily, only Wang Xiao's identity and background, a more intimidating group, can be safe, this is because Wang Xiao is still a minor, otherwise, there is no telling how many demons will be created, Zhou Xuxue was suddenly exhausted, moreover, the Zhou family had not moved at all, it would be a lie to say that it was not strange, Wang Dong also frowned, he really had not heard the news, maybe his family already knew, they were afraid that he would be worried, so they did not tell him, even when he came out today, he hid it from his family and came to the bar quietly. If it really is as that yellow hair said, things are really strange, but soon he opened his mouth, nonsense, Zhou family these bodyguards, is it a pose? I have heard, these people, are foreign retired mercenaries, before the whole day shooting, now back to the country, still cannot protect a little girl. Although the heart some panic, but Wang Dong is still hardened, ready to go, he has notified his own bodyguards, he should have almost arrived by now, send the positioning again, he just lifted his head, he saw a tall figure wearing a blue shirt, jeans, and a duck-tailed cap running towards him step by step, a couple of dog legs next to him saw someone approaching Wang Xiao, immediately, they were a bit annoyed. What kind of person would dare to come this way, hurry up and get out of here, yellow hair stepped forward to push Chen Zhe away, but just as he did, he stretched out his hand, he just heard a click, immediately after that hand was grabbed by Chen Zhe, elbow force forward a little, huge force, directly the entire top of the hand was dislocated, yellow hair let out a howl, the next two people looked, turned their heads and ran. Who cares about you Wang Xiao, not Wang Xiao, people are not good at. First glance, meet with the dead hand, even if the two of them continued, it would have no effect, Wang Xiao's throat tightened a bit, and he was so scared that goosebumps rose all over his body. Chen Zhe even pulled out a silver-white scalpel, took a step forward, and swung it at Wang Dong, accompanied by the silver-white sheen, a suffocating feeling of oppression washed over him, Wang Dong was so terrified that his legs went limp and he fell to the ground, the silver-white scalpel grazed the top of his head, cutting off a large piece of flesh with hair, it was accompanied by a continuous gush of blood. Wang Dong let out a gurgling scream of pain, where was the arrogance he had just boasted about his great deeds? Just as Chen Zhe raised the scalpel once again, as Chen Zhe raised the scalpel once again, he intended to do the same thing and waste the Wang Dong in front of him. A black sedan emitted a deafening breaking sound, it crashed directly towards Chen Zhe, Chen Zhe frowned and dodged backwards, he saw three black suited bodyguards protecting Wang Dong behind him, when he saw the bodyguards, Wang Dong almost did not let out a yell, after all, no matter what happened, he was just a 14 year old student, it was fine to bully other people on weekdays, but when he really encountered a tough opponent, he was scared to death, when Chen Zhe saw that the other party had come with three bodyguards, he was not scared, and the three bodyguards were waiting in the wings to break bread with Chen Zhe. After all, as Wang Dong's bodyguard, if he did not have an explanation now that Wang Dong was injured, there was no telling what kind of punishment he would face upon his return, 
just as the crowd was about to make a move, a man with a country face who was pinching the steering wheel happened to look up and saw Chen Zhe, he happened to look up and met Chen Zhe's gaze, at that moment, all he felt was a chill bubbling up from the deepest part of his body, it was as if the person in front of him was not a person at all, but a flood beast, a vague illusion, if they made a move, if they really intertwined, I'm afraid they'd all have to stay here, no matter what, they were all people who had seen many storms. In the end, there is no ability, in fact, a look can be seen, he was already a bit confused, but when he saw Chen Zhe's stance of saving his strength to jump, he took a deep breath, said in a deep voice, get in, brother Zhao, the following three bodyguards turned around in confusion, the one who was the most ruthless and courageous on weekdays was brother Zhao, the one with the best hands was also the one who held the steering wheel, if there was an opportunity to strike, Zhao would often be the first to rush out, and it was only later, because of several injuries, that the boss arranged for Zhao to drive the car, never allowing Zhao Yong to strike until the critical moment. It was Zhao Yong who shouted at them to leave, didn't you hear what I said? I told you all to get in the car, if the young master is killed or injured, you'll be waiting to collect your corpses, seeing that the three bodyguards below were not listening, Zhao Yong could only use Wang Dong to threaten them, gritting their teeth, the three bodyguards took the young master to the car and closed the door, the whole thing was done in a single breath, immediately after that, Zhao Yong stepped on the gas pedal and rushed out of the car, even if Chen Zhe wanted to follow him, it was already too late, sitting in the car, when he saw that Chen Zhe wasn't following him, Zhao Yong's hanging heart was also put down, brother Zhao, this kid doesn't look too old, and he even made the young master look like this, if we don't catch him, how are we going to deliver? But Zhao Yong just laughed coldly in his heart, how can we do that? If you can come back alive, then you should laugh, but he didn't say these things out loud, because just based on his intuition, if he said it out loud, people wouldn't necessarily believe it, I can only say this in passing, if there are any problems, I will bear them alone, go back first, the other three bodyguards saw that Zhao Yong had said that, can only grunt, to express the dissatisfaction in their hearts, as for Wang Dong, after his heart palpitated, as he felt the gusts of pain coming, from the top of his head, he thought that he might go bald in the future, he was so angry that his breath was short, and he spat violently at the outside of the window. Sooner or later, I'm going to kill that kid, after you go back, give me a good investigation, do not let this happen, even though his mouth said it, but when he remembered the scene just now, he still felt his heart pounding, he can also see, the other party is obviously a dead hand, if it weren't for him, he would have been so scared that he would have sat on his butt on the ground, I'm afraid he won't survive now. A few bodyguards beside him saw his worries and comforted him, young master. Don't worry, he only has two legs, even if you wanted to chase after him, he wouldn't have a chance, yes, I've just seen that kid's attack, he does have some skills, but if he really fights, we won't necessarily be afraid of him. Not to mention, whether Chen Zhe can catch up with them or not, even if he catches up, even if he catches up with them, if they are outnumbered, will he be able to defeat them? At that point, it's hard to say who will die, by the way, I just heard that Zhou Xuxue has been sent to the hospital with both of his feet ruined, do you know about that? Some of the bodyguards were stunned, they had also just received the news, besides, Wang Dong had sent them the location beforehand, so they were able to arrive in time, otherwise, there was no telling what might have happened, at around 8 o'clock in the evening, the lady sent us a message, young master, it's better for you to be careful lately. This sentence undoubtedly confirmed it, Zhou Xuxue was indeed in the hospital after having both of her feet amputated, and the Zhou family and their Wang family were considered prominent figures in Shanghai City's high society, to be able to quietly get rid of Zhou Xuxue's legs can be imagined, the person who did this, the ability is definitely not small, but soon his heart dropped, because when they came to the intersection, several black sedans stopped, up one after another, down a dozen. People are all her family bodyguards. With their protection, even if the other party's abilities weren't strong anymore, I'm afraid it wouldn't help, they narrowed their eyes and put Chen Zhe's business behind them, he had lost sight of Wang Dong, Chen Zhe was in no hurry, this was because he still had the address of Wang Dong's family, he did not get it this time, there was the next time, and the next time, and the next time, the other party had escaped on the first day, but not on the 15th, sooner or later, he would have to die at his hands, more importantly, in addition to Zhou Xuxue, Wang Dong, and the remaining five people, he must also know the information, and the one who knows the most, I am afraid that it is only the teacher of his sister's class. Since he could not solve Wang Dong for a while, he planned to go near the school first and squat there for a few days to see, as long as he could find the teacher who was in class that day, with accurate information about the others, it would not be too late to take revenge slowly, 
putting the scalpel down, he walked through a few streets, soon he entered an urban village, this place was a mix of fish and dragons, mostly foreign workers. One could even see some shady alleys, vaguely, there were. A few women dressed in flashy colors who were constantly waving to the outside, on Chen Zhe's body, in addition to the half million dollar check from last time, there were actually several piles of money. All of it was confiscated from the dead doctor, it was probably around $20,000, enough for his daily expenses, elder brother, do you want to come in? My mother is inside, it's cheap, only $200, a girl wearing a washed out school uniform looked at Chen Zhe in front of her and opened her mouth to greet him, Chen Zhe glanced at the other party and also needed a place to rest, even though he was only 15 years old, he was still half a head taller than an ordinary youth, and his physique, which had been different from the norm since he was a child, made him look exceptionally scary. 200 is 200 inch can we stay overnight? Spend the night? Big bro, 500 for the night, so expensive? It's not expensive, everyone else pays 1000 a night, our family is considered cheap, Chen Zhe hadn't been out of the mental hospital since he was a child, he didn't know much about the prices on the outside, he didn't even know that the place the little girl was talking about wasn't as simple as a hotel, rather, it hit some irregular services, but after careful consideration, the time is not early either. After running to so many places in a row, he was also strangely tired now, so he took out $500 bills from his inside pocket, he handed them to the little girl in front of him. When the little girl saw the money, her mouth almost smiled, took Chen Zhe to fly up the stairs, just came upstairs, just saw a woman around 20 years old, looking a bit rushed, but the little girl did not care, stealing and laughing, mother, I brought you the guest you wanted, but this word came out, the woman in her 20s, but opened her mouth and said, why don't you return the money, I still feel some acceptance. The money has been collected, if you do not do tomorrow's rent, how to do? Do we have to sleep in the street? The little girl is used to seeing these things in the urban village, and seems to have no idea. Just like Chen Zhe, she was influenced by certain aspects and felt that making money was like taking a man upstairs, and after a while, the money would come, she had also never seen those dirty things and didn't really know what was going on inside, the woman in her twenties, who was sitting on the edge of the bed crying, looked at the tall Chen Zhe and inexplicably felt some panic in her heart, Chen Zhe, who was also young, couldn't help but frown, he said in his heart, this is not just about finding a place to sleep. How could it look like he was going to kill her? So he turned his head to the girl next to him and asked, where is the place where I live? There are two rooms inside, one is mine and the other is my mother's, if you want to stay here in the hall, you can, Chen Zhe did not hesitate and casually entered a room, immediately after, the door was locked, collapsed and fell asleep, heard the sound of locking the door, the mother and daughter outside froze, not understanding what the other meant, staying in a hotel was only a hundred or so dollars. Chen Zhe spent five hundred dollars and ran to the middle of the village, when they entered the room and fell asleep, they were a bit overwhelmed for a while, mom, why don't you climb up to the windowsill and see what that guy is doing? That's not good, is it? What's wrong with that? Let me do it. The little girl went directly from her mother's room to the balcony outside, where she could just see the bed where Chen Zhe was sleeping, after discovering that the other party was indeed lying on the bed with a duckbill hat covering his eyes, it did not take long for him to start snoring, only then did the little girl climb back into bed with a sigh on her face, mom, does he really seem to be asleep? The woman, who was about 20 years old, froze, this is sleeping. In the top three minutes, falling asleep too fast, and spend $500 to come to such a place, as if she really just wanted to sleep. What a strange person, the woman, who was about 20 years old, scratched her head. She also took her daughter and went back to her room to sleep, but when you thought about it, it wasn't right, the girl was at least 7 or 8 years old, the woman was only in her 20s, so if the girl was really his daughter, wouldn't it mean that she gave birth to a child at the age of 12 or 13? But if you understand this aspect, you can definitely see that a woman in her 20s in no way looks like she has given birth to a child, the next day, the sky was still dark, Chen Zhe woke up, he had slept relatively early last night, so he didn't feel the slightest bit tired when he got up, instead, he was full of energy, he straightened his waist, when he opened the door, the mother and daughter duo still seemed to be awake. Chen Zhe then hurriedly walked out of the door, as for the address of the school, he had actually heard a lot about it during his time with his sister, Shanghai City Second Middle School, which was considered a good school, because Chen Zhe had been sent to the mental hospital back then, his parents always felt guilty, they also used that guilt on his sister's body, at that time, the younger sister's score is not enough, or the parents find people to find connections to send her in, as a result. 
This has become the sister's life-saving charm, now my sister is lying unconscious in the hospital, but those who committed the murder are getting away with it, the school is not heavily guarded, and there is only one guard at the entrance, Chen Zhe wanted to blend in, and there were a hundred ways to do it, but he didn't rush in. Instead, he watched from the outside as the crowd went in and out, his sister hadn't told him much about the people at the school, like the fat chemistry teacher, the very strict math teacher, the language teacher who often got them into trouble on weekdays, Chen Zhe knew some of them more or less and had been waiting for them for a long time, a tall woman wearing a black teacher's uniform appeared in front of the school, woman about 30 years old, face with a few points of sharp, as long as. The passage of students, the dress code is not strict, immediately split her head and face, was a scolding, this situation, when you usually see, just thought that the school requirements are stricter, but from my sister's description, this teacher is her homeroom teacher, that is, language teacher, three days to find my sister's trouble. In the past, when my sister had an accident, she also ran to her home, the most common thing they say to their parents is, why don't they pick on someone else besides your daughter? Besides, is it your daughter's fault? Although the parents had their own shop in the early years, they did business, but after the shop was moved out, the long time of living in the factory had long worn out their fighting spirit, also not a sharp tongue type, more or less will be this classroom teacher to bring prejudice, now think about it, once my sister suffered these aggressions, in front of the eyes of this sharp looking woman. To bear most of the responsibility, after setting his goal, Chen Zhe was not in a hurry, and the sky had just opened, it was the day the students came to class, there were many parents around, so it would be easy to cause a ruckus, it would be better to wait until evening, he was about to turn his head and leave, just then, he saw some figures around the corner staring at him, these people were obviously well trained, they were well camouflaged, however, they were still discovered by Chen Zhe, he just frowned at these people, then he took big steps and walked out, he wanted to see if these people were really following him. As expected, the moment Chen Zhe got up to leave, those people were moving in the direction he was going, confirming the target of the other party, it was himself, Chen Zhe had no reason to hesitate, he led them to a secluded place, the few people who had followed them overtook them, in an instant, they lost sight of Chen Zhe's figure, one of them, a bearded man, walked ahead of them, frowning, he picked up the walkie-talkie. The person had disappeared, and he didn't know where he had gone. Immediately after that, an unpleasant voice came from over there, what's going on? This guy is just a 15-year-old kid, you can't even look after a kid, what's the point of you? The bodyguard manager who was being questioned wanted to reply, but he didn't say much, that was his problem. After all, the other party was just a child, they couldn't even keep up with a child, it was more or less humiliating to say it, just when he wanted to move on, however, he felt a silver-white light flashing in front of his eyes, and he was once considered to be a bodyguard manager who had experienced a lot of life and death, with the perception of danger, he took a step back, narrowly avoided the knife, when he clearly saw what slipped past, actually a sharp scalpel, also cannot help. Forehead emerged a layer of cold sweat, if he had been hit by the scalpel right now, I'm afraid his neck would have to be cut open, even if the surrounding teammates rescued him in time and sent him to the hospital, the chances of saving him were very slim. The important thing was that the other party's blows were tricky and vicious, not at all like what a child should do, it was hard to imagine, a 15-year-old teenager's hands would actually be that good, he was also considered to be one of the best bodyguards, in his early years, he had a small reputation among the foreign mercenary groups and among the many bodyguards of the Wang family. His salary was one of the highest, there were a few million dollars that he could get his hands on. Every year, precisely because he took so much, his skills were also more than twice as strong as ordinary bodyguards, subconsciously, he wanted to strike back, but before he could do so, there was another silver-white reflection that made him jump back, but the sharp blade light came back in succession, so powerful that it was extreme. Even the few bodyguards beside him couldn't help but raise their eyebrows when they saw this scene, they wanted to intervene, but the direction of this kid's knife, dripping with water, while swinging and stabbing at the bodyguard manager, and defended them to death, if they forced their way forward, I'm afraid they would have to fall in a pool of blood in the next second, they tried to close the circle from behind, with their old experience. They surrounded Chen Zhe, however, Chen Zhe suddenly accelerated, he flew past the bodyguard chief who was five meters away, immediately after, the bodyguard manager let out a mournful cry, then they saw that the other party's abdomen had been sliced open by a thin slit, blood could not stop gushing out. 
The bodyguard captain fell to the ground, the few bodyguards who had followed him fell over, scared to death, their scalps went numb, the salary they took was only about 100,000 per year, it wasn't much more than a bodyguard manager, even with professional ethics, they saw the bodyguard manager, who could usually kill four or five of them by himself, fall to the ground, they also scattered immediately. Only Chen Zhe was left, dragging the bodyguard manager, turning his head and getting into a black sedan that was speeding towards the countryside, that black sedan, it was the one with the driver and the investigator, it had been parked at the edge of a bar street earlier, it just so happened that he was on his way to the school, so he drove the car over. By the time Chen Zhe raised his head and left, the bodyguards who had fled had returned to the scene, one by one, they looked at each other, someone took out a walkie-talkie, a man's muffled voice came from over there, are you guys good or not? I spend almost 10 million dollars a year to raise you, and you can't even handle a small child, so what's the point of having you? But the long silence over there made the cursing man unconsciously frown, a long time to calm down, finally, the bodyguard's voice came from over there, chairman, people lost, the bodyguard chief was put down by a photo that was also taken by that person. Hearing that, the man over there couldn't help but take in a breath of cool air, although he couldn't stop cursing right now, however, he was well aware of the bodyguard manager's fighting prowess, back then, the rival company had bribed a group of punks to take a shot at him, it was the bodyguard manager who, with the power of a man in his bare hands, beat those dozen or so punks to the point where they were crying, since then, he gave the bodyguard manager a few million dollars a year, later. Proved that the bodyguard manager is very good, did not deserve this money, even the newly recruited bodyguards, four or five are not necessarily able to beat the bodyguard manager. The result, such a person, who was extremely favored by him, was dissolved by this kid in a single shot, think about last night, that group of bodyguards came back to report to him, he was still wondering why he didn't bring back that boy as well, now think about it, if it has really started, not only his own bodyguards will have to stay, even his own son will not be able to go, just thinking about it makes me feel scared, should not ah, this boy has been living in the mental hospital, where to come such good hands. No wonder the other side is not suspicious, your Wang family, as well as the Zhou family, is more than 10 years of business partners, made a number of enemies, those years of wanton expansion have offended a lot of powerful families in Shanghai city. Could it be that these people were behind the scenes? But when he thought about the other five people who had hurt that little girl, he was once again confused, could it be that all those powerful families were so bold that they even dared to not show their faces to those five people? He could not figure out how to think, he could only harden his mind and give orders, no matter how, investigate the situation of this boy, for people cannot, then 10, 20, or even 50, I have a lot of money, and the Zhou family people are also looking for his whereabouts, I do not believe that the boy, can escape from this dragnet, originally, I thought it was just a small case of harassment, so they would be able to suppress it by arresting some people and making some noise. As a result, Chen Zhe appeared as a variable, so as the head of the Wang family, he vaguely felt a sense of unease, it was quite an illusion that a mountain rain was coming, and the wind was filling the building, those outsiders have also been acting foolishly lately, and there's no point in continuing, it seems we have to go to find those people, we'll have a meeting, do they really think that this is our Wang family and Zhou family, their own things? They do not have a share. The man on the other end of the intercom snorted coldly, then came the sound of the door slamming, restoring calm, on the other side, Zhao Yong, who was driving a black Buick parked on the street, also received the news from the other bodyguards, has something happened to Sun Yao Yang. That guy's hands are second only to mine, his strength should not be underestimated if he really was hit by a single shot. That kid, is his strength not more terrifying than I thought? Zhao Yong was the driver of the car in the bar street last night, and it was because of his order that the other bodyguards would not hesitate to take their own young master away first, and Zhao Yong's personal fighting ability within the entire Wang family bodyguard group was a more perverse type, although Zhao Yong hadn't fought with Sun Yao Yang. Sun Yao Yang had repeatedly said on explicit occasions that he had absolutely no power to fight back when facing Zhao Yong, more importantly, behind. Zhao Yong, it wasn't as simple as a bodyguard. It was said that there was an ancient martial arts family that had fallen behind Zhao Yong, and now there were only four people left, now there are only four, but each of them is a famous martial arts instructor in the country, and there is also one who was the Eagle Kingdom's presidential bodyguard, just later, the heart of the country, and finally resigned from the position of bodyguard, into the army, specializing in hand-to-hand -hand combat training, and is now also considered a prestigious 
Ruthless, as for Xiao Yong, in his early years, he did not study and did not learn all the skills, and was often spurned by several brothers, in the end, he was reduced to working as a bodyguard for some rich families, begging for a few minutes of food and clothing. But even in this case, Zhao Yong is still far better than other bodyguards, this ancient martial arts heritage, in the end, how terrible, can be imagined, forget it, I'm only responsible for the security of the Wang family, and this thing at first really is the Wang family did not do right, only behind the involvement of too many people, I'm afraid that the boy, also do not see, can really put the revenge to the revenge. He did not see Chen Zhe personally, but for Chen Zhe, he dared to use the power of one person to fight against the Wang and Zhou families, but also to avenge his sister's character, still very favorable, as for whether Chen Zhe was mentally ill or not, it was not in his mind. As for those who practiced martial arts, I'm afraid that most of their personalities were more radical, for their own determined things, it is difficult to change, also because of this, said that mental illness, seems not impossible, this boy is not very old, but his hands are so good, if there is my elder brother in their teaching, I am afraid that he can be even more advanced, if he can escape the pursuit of the Wang and Zhou families and survive in the end, he might be able to contact my elder brother and the others, he sighed quietly, for the entire day, Zhao Yong was out of work, after all, the commission he received was money to watch over the family. If the Wang family really wanted him to hunt someone else, it would be a different price, the black sedan, Chen Zhe stopped at a roadside stall and bought some food, then, he arrived at the outskirts of the abandoned factory, when he saw the two people who were still tied up, he threw the food on the ground, then he dragged the bodyguard manager down from the car again, as for the wound on his stomach, he had just bought stitches and alcohol, he needed to get more useful information from these people, so of course he wouldn't let them die so easily, furthermore, even if they were to be killed, it would still be hard to get rid of Chen Zhe's deep-seated hatred for them. As he tied the person up, he also undressed the bodyguard chief, and with the needle and thread in his hand, he forcefully sewed up the wound on his abdomen, alcohol was poured on the wound without any treatment, and that sharp stinging pain, it made the bodyguard manager cry out in pain, he awoke from his coma, gasping for air in big gulps, as he looked up at the person in front of him. But he was met with a pair of eyes that were cold to the core, in those eyes, as if they hit another beast. Vaguely flashing through brutality, madness, viciousness, all kinds of waves, especially when he saw the wound that opened in his abdomen, this kind of berserker, like bloodlust, could hardly be suppressed, it couldn't help but make him shiver. Finally he realized, why the information given to them by the chairman was labeled, Chen Zhe was a psychopath, this kind of eyes, this kind of insanity, an almost pathological look, shouldn't be something that a normal person should possess, it was no wonder, the chairman would be so nervous, who wouldn't be scared in front of such a psychopathic patient with great skill. Little, little brother, go back, go back to the shore, sew up the wound, Sun Yao Yang, the security chief, couldn't help but remember, the two people next to him obviously recognized Sun Yao Yang's identity as well, they all showed a terrified expression, who doesn't know that within the Wang family, who doesn't know that the Wang family has five bodyguards who are very skilled and ruthless? These five people, in normal times, no less, to help the Wang family to do some unseemly deeds, among them, Sun Yao Yang is even more famous, he is the right arm of the Wang group and has helped the chairman of the Wang group escape death many times, he was such a terrifying character, yet he was cut open by Chen Zhe and brought back to this abandoned factory, just thinking about it, the two of them felt their scalps tingle. Their limbs went limp, and their teeth couldn't stop chattering. Originally, I did not want to use chains, but after thinking about it, it is better to use them, Chen Zhe went back to the car. Took out some more chains to tie up the dogs, tied up the three people again, the investigator and the driver were nothing, Sun Yao Yang, who was quite proud in his heart, was so angry that he trembled and felt humiliated, in addition to these things, Chen Zhe also bought some rabbits and put them all in the car, it had been a while since he left the mental hospital the sedatives on his body were gradually wearing off. It had been a while since he had taken the medicine, the volume of the other. Voice in his head was getting louder and louder, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to control the other evil thought and would turn into a complete madman, if he wanted to release this feeling, there had to be a channel for catharsis. These rabbits were undoubtedly the best choice, he didn't care about the three people present, and put all the rabbits in the car down, looking at the rabbits, he subconsciously swallowed, the almost maniacal expression in his eyes could no longer be contained, immediately after that, all kinds of chilling actions, means, so that the driver and investigator next to them, can't help it, stomach rolled, immediately after, they dry heaved into the ground, Sun Yao Yang's eyebrows raised, at first. He thought that Chen Zhe was using this method to threaten them, 
but gradually, he realized that something was wrong. Because of the change in Chen Zhe's eyes, he realized it, this madman wasn't threatening them at all, rather, he was venting his emotions, he was releasing the madness that was bottled up inside his heart, if these means, as well as the way of venting, fell on their bodies, Sun Yao Sunshine couldn't help but get goosebumps just thinking about it, originally also wanted to speak the mouth, immediately gave up closed, realizing that with a mental illness, no matter what you say, the other party will not necessarily be able to listen, in fact, it's very likely that you'll get involved yourself, what a crazy person, Sun Yao Yang muttered in his heart, he was even more afraid of Chen Zhe. Chen Zhe arrested Sun Yao Yang, the place where the hospital was, however, a large group of people were being led in, the one leading the way was none other than Zhou Bu Wei, the head of the Zhou family, as one of the most famous and powerful people in Shanghai city, Zhou Bu Wei's name was definitely not to be underestimated, after all, with Zhou Bu Wei's name, he was able to smooth a lot of things over, but it was such a Zhou Bu Wei, now that he has been pushed into a corner by a 15-year-old kid, all he can do is go to the hospital, you should have heard about the Wang family, when you go in later, tone it down a bit, never push people too hard, or it will backfire. Zhou Bu Wei walked forward with an imposing presence, combined with the black suit, it created an extremely dull illusion, next to him was none other than his wife, she was also Zhou Xuxiu's mother, originally, as for the negotiations, they wanted to wait a few more days, wait until the date of the operation was near, and then come over to have a good talk, but just last night, an old friend who was in the hospital called to tell them, someone in the Chin family's account within the five hundred thousand medical expenses, now people do not lack this money, coupled with the news of the Wang family is more let Zhou Bu Wei feel alarmed. I vaguely perceive a kind of mountain rain is about to come suffocating feeling, in addition, I heard that Sun Yao Yang has also disappeared, this person is the right arm of the Wang family, but also the surname Wang, the hand of the competent generals, I don't know how many things he has done for the Wang family during the week, and his methods are obvious, but now even this person has disappeared, but everyone with the ass think, know what happened, if the whole thing happens again, the consequences are unimaginable, followed by his wife, still a little reluctant, Shushu a thing is not just let it go. Your daughter in their own mansion, was wasted, you can swallow this breath. Zhou Bu Wei, who was walking in front of them, had his figure swaying, his face was particularly ugly, it would be okay if it were normal, if their Zhou and Wang families joined forces, even if Chen Zhe had three heads and six arms, they would have plenty of ways to clean him up, on the contrary, these outsiders had recently caused a great deal of trouble in the city. And if there was one more hidden danger in their hearts at this time, it was this, the impact on them, the local forces, was simply too great, only to see Zhou Bu Wei violently turn around and coldly look at his wife, recognize your own identity, when you were with me, I already made it clear to you. Although you are my wife on the surface, but eat my with me, these years live villa open luxury car, card inside the money want how to use how to use, how do you think you got this? Think about your identity, but a common, even looking for a job are all around the wall of college students when it is your turn in front of me to tell me what to do, Zhou Bu Wei's words made the woman next to him, heart a shock, she remembered the sword that was hanging over her head, the reason why she and Zhou Bu Wei were able to be together, able to enjoy the scenery today, was because she was obedient enough, no matter what Zhou Bu Wei did outside, she would not interfere, it was for this reason that they had gotten along for more than 20 years, Zhou Bu Wei was also very gentle with her. However, it is this kindness that is slowly turning her into a bully, and she seems to have forgotten the promise she made that year, when Zhou Bu Wei mentioned it again, all she could feel was her heart pounding, and she immediately panicked, I don't mean that, I also know that you have other women outside, Xu Xu e is not your only daughter, you still have several sons, but, but I only have her, so one daughter ah, uh, at this. The woman could not help but feel sad, she cried mournfully, Zhou. Bu Wei remembered their twenty years together, all right, there is something to wait for, those outsiders say the mountain is high and far away, the future days are still long. Even if there are ten thousand reluctances in his heart, the woman following beside him can only nod her head in humiliation, after all, she still had to rely on Zhou Bu Wei, had no business talent, and could only spend money all these years, besides being pretty, she also seemed to be useless, in her early years, she had majored in design. But more than twenty years of wasted time had long since made her forget the things she had learned in the past, besides, her parents were getting older. There were many places where money needed to be spent, if Zhou Bu Wei cut off their financial resources, in the future, not to mention her parents, she wouldn't be able to hold her head up in front of her relatives and friends. The thought of losing Zhou Bu Wei would make her as terrified as a lost dog, 
the woman could only suppress the indignation in her heart, after all, her daughter was not dead today, even if she had fallen into a coma, even if she had been injected with drugs by Chen Zhe earlier, resulting in some mental disorder, but everything, everything can be saved in time, it is that when she is discharged from the hospital in the future, more or less will leave some after effects, but he believes that as long as she is still Zhou Buwei's wife on the surface, Zhou Shushue is still his daughter, in the future will still be able to enjoy the fame and fortune, rest and glory, leave all thoughts behind. The two of them entered the hospital, together, they reached the seventh floor of the hospital, the intensive care ward, all the bodyguards were guarding the outside, Zhou Buwei and his wife also pushed the door into the ward, inside were two old men who were only in their forties, but already had grey hair, they remembered that Qin Yuzheng had only a few strands of white hair on his head the last time they saw him there, but today, this slightly thin-looking figure seemed to have aged a dozen or twenty years, he was stooped and old, Zhou Buwei sighed softly, had a stool brought in, and slowly sat down in front of the two old men before opening his mouth, he saw Qin Yuzheng glaring at him and angrily rebuking him, get out of here, you are not welcome here. Of course, Qin Yuzheng knew why the other party had come, from the moment his son left the mental hospital, he could guess what his son would do, in fact, his mind was torn, if you want to find it, according to his understanding of his son, he could definitely find or contact his son from the clues, however, in the past two days, he had stayed by his daughter's side and had not gone out to look for Chen Zhe's tracks, seems to be letting go, seems to have a touch of pain in his heart as well. Especially from the news, he learned that Zhou Buwei's daughter is now also in the hospital. With his own daughter in that state, that kind of almost twisted madness and pain could spill over into words, he knew it was not right, even many times in the middle of the night when he washed his face with tears, he also knew, if he was willing, he could definitely take his son back to the mental hospital, but then what? Thinking about the death of the doctor in the mental hospital, along with his son's testimony that he had seen Zhou Buwei in the hospital, it was already clear to him, even if he took his son back to the psychiatric hospital, he would still face the same target, instead, it might be safer for him to put his son outside. Even though Qin Yuzheng was pedantic, he knew that bringing his son back would serve no purpose, it might even harm his son, at the same time, he hated his own incompetence, and he could only let his son, in the midst of the blood and rain outside, gradually wear down the sanity in his heart, you can say that, at that time, he was more tormented than anyone else, Qin Yuzheng's angry voice was loud. Even the bodyguards outside could hear it, but when he entered, the chairman had already explained that no one was allowed to enter without his order, Seeing Qin Yuzheng with such a crazy attitude, Zhou Buwei seemed to understand, because when he saw his own daughter in the hospital, she was in the same crazy state, it was just that he was a businessman, most of all a profit-seeking businessman, and he knew how to avoid harm. If there was a way, he would never have compromised, similarly, he also had a way to make Qin Yuzheng forgive him because the murderer who had victimized their daughter was not a member of their Zhou family, I know that you are in pain, when my daughter was lying on the hospital bed, I was just as tough as you, but what is the situation of my daughter, I know best, although she is in school, even with other people will gang up, but has never done to beat people to the hospital thing, I'm willing to pay for all of your daughter's medical bills, and in addition, I heard that you used to have a business, so I can help you get it back, and then give you a sum of money as compensation. How about we just forget about those two families? After saying that, he also took out his daughter's video and put it in front of them, the mother and father watched the video inside, with a figure similar to their daughter's age, the body is also full of tubes, the appearance is even worse than their daughter, there were also a few moments of intolerance gradually revealed in their eyes, but soon they become firm again, this is all because of your daughter. Zhou Buwei opened his mouth as if something was blocking his throat, originally, he did not want to show this video, however, when he saw those two parents, it seemed like they were not going to fight forever and forget about it, he could only sigh in relief, because this video had a lot to do with those five people, even though he was suffering from a great injustice, he could only bear it with his head. Although his daughter's mouth was hard at that time, she also admitted that she had done it all by herself, but secretly, who did it in the end? Who taught his daughter to say that? Could Zhou Buwei not be clear? After all, one of them could easily wipe out their Zhou family with their current abilities if they were to take on those five people, it was as simple as swatting an ant, the hatred in your hearts, the pain, I understand, but my daughter is carrying an injustice, wouldn't it be more difficult for me? After much hesitation, Zhou Buwei picked up his phone again, he played another video, this video was not shot by Zhou Shushua himself, it was another boy with a slightly cold, sharp voice, as if he was born with a voice problem. From the cell phone, it was even more feminine, like a girl, 
but still, anyone who heard the voice could tell that it was definitely a boy, you have seen this video, and you know that my daughter is being falsely accused, the couple was a little suspicious, but they still watched the video on the cell phone, Zhou Shushue and the video quickly appeared in front of them, throughout the trial, Zhou Shushue stood beside, also belongs to the state of confusion, looking at the scene in front of her, her eyes could not help but have a few more moments of panic in them, next to him was the back of a boy in a white shirt, who was constantly pushing Zhou Shushue, the mouth mumbled, what are you waiting for? Hurry up and do it, huh? Doesn't your family want this business anymore? You're just a toy to keep us company, do you really think you're more noble than them? If you don't do it, go back and take off your clothes, we'll call some more people and let you taste the power, Zhou Shushue trembled, and her eyes couldn't help but turn red, obviously, she hadn't taken the blame for this, even the back of the boy in the white shirt saw that she was hesitating to make a move, spitting on the ground, he pushed Zhou Shushue aside and didn't know what happened, in any case, Zhou Shushue's voice was a bit choked and pleasant, and she gradually became motionless, bye. The time the camera fell on Zhou Shushue again, she had already hurriedly left with her backpack. Just her clothes a bit messy, she looked back at Chen Xiaomei lying on the floor, then she walked out of the classroom step by step, such a scene, it made Chen Yuzheng and his mother feel very shocked, in their hearts, Zhou Buwei was already considered a dignified figure in Shanghai City, however, they did not expect this, even a person like Zhou Buwei, whose daughter he gave birth to, had to be humiliated and take the blame for someone so undignified, on the contrary, Zhou Buwei still didn't dare to say anything and never made a sound, this can be seen from this video, as well as from the confessions of the past, although Zhou Shushue was the one who asked his daughter into the classroom, he had also beaten and kicked his daughter once, but these were not fatal injuries, behind the video, Zhou Shushue left, the real violence began. Zhou Shushue in the video was certainly hateful, but the ones who really deserved to die were the others, just as the two finished watching the content of the video, Zhou Bui's hand quickly scrolled back to the video of his own daughter lying in a hospital bed with tubes attached, using this contrast and the sadness in his voice, he said the person who really hurt your Chen Xiaomei is not my daughter at all, it's true, my daughter was indeed the helper, and it was she who made Chen Xiaomei go to the classroom. Again, it was she who had a conflict with Chen Xiaomei and ended up in this conflict, but my daughter has also learned her lesson, as for those people who used violence, I can't tell you who they are, if I tell you, not only our Zhou family, including your son and daughter, will be caught up in this storm, you can imagine the power of the person who can destroy our Zhou family with a single word. Don't wait for disaster to strike before you repent, now that you quit, not only can you get a large amount of money for medical expenses, you can also close down the previous business, I will give you another large check, so live well, is it not good? Hearing this, the two old men also froze, for a long time unable to speak, finally, he sighed softly, and something in his heart seemed to be shaken, Zhou Buwei did not speak either, but instead wrote a check for three million dollars, he placed it on the table next to them, tapped it lightly, and turned to leave, they waited for Zhou Buwei to leave, the two parents rattled the check and looked at each other without saying a word, however, as they walked out, the woman who had been following beside them suddenly became breathless, suddenly, she stepped forward and grabbed Zhou Buwei, what was shown on the video just now, was it all true? Earlier, when she was in the room, when she saw the video, she was shocked beyond words, it was only when she came out that she came to her senses, but when she saw his wife's expression, Zhou Buwei just opened his mouth, what is thinking inside the brain? Just now, the video inside, was caught in the corner, the girl was wantonly toyed with, there is a large piece of birthmark on her feet, your daughter's feet are birthmarked. No, no, what you mean is that the video was specially synthesized by someone I found, with a lot of editing, and although our daughter took the blame, she was not reduced to that, after all, no matter how strong those five people are, they still have to rely on our Zhou family to do things for them, so they will definitely not lay a hand on our Zhou family. I thought of the girl who was humiliated in the video, there was indeed a birthmark on her foot, and the woman who followed finally took a deep breath, her own husband's words finally brought her to her senses, she turned around and continued to ask, then did our daughter take part in the final atrocity, the brutalization of Chen Xiaomei. Zhou Buwei opened his mouth, then shook his head, behind our daughter left, the video inside Chen Xiaomei is not good. Although the content is edited, it is the real situation inside the video, the words I said were also true or false otherwise these two old things would not be easy to believe. Our daughter's tragic encounter is fake, but the conflict with Chen Xiaomei is real, 
it was our daughter who lured Chen Xiaomei into the classroom, and although she left in the end, she was one of the main culprits for Chen Xiaomei's current situation, so for the time being, you don't want to think about these retaliation things, falling into the current situation is also her deserved, also because of your leniency, said Zhou Bue, coldly snorting, on a black car, as for the back of the woman, not yet on the car it, has long been gone, his paragraph, the same is to warn his wife, never go and do something stupid, your Zhou family's situation today is no better than it was back then, just like a small boat rocking in the storm, they would be drowned by the monstrous waves at any moment. In front of the second middle school, the sky was gradually darkening, one by one inch many students left the school gate, some stayed at school, some were picked up by their parents, some went home on their own, Chen Zhe sat in front of a kiosk, his hands on his legs, his fingertips crossed, his duckbill hat almost blocked his eyes, but he could vaguely see the situation outside, since the abandoned factory on the outskirts of town. After taking a few rabbits to vent, he was much more emotionally. Stable now, top priority, is to get more important information from this teacher's body, getting more important information, although he also interrogated Sun Yao Yang. The other party didn't hesitate for half a second and said everything he wanted to know, but it was still too little, too little, there were only two pieces of information that had been obtained from the other thugs, one, Wang Dong and Zhou Xuxue were among the torturers, and even if they were not the ultimate culprits that led to his sister's current misery, they could not be separated from each other, the second, second, there are a total of seven culprits, besides Wang Dong and Zhou Xuxue. The status of the remaining five people seems to be much higher than he imagined. More importantly, these five people were not students at second middle school, on the day they entered second middle school, all the video recordings had been erased, even some of the staff who had seen those five people had either traveled far away or their whereabouts were unknown, so trying to find those people was undoubtedly like looking for a needle in a haystack, if one wanted to know the situation of these people, one could only integrate all the valuable clues, not letting go of even. The slightest possibility, he waited until it was completely dark, there was no waiting for the teacher to appear. Chen Zhe frowned, he thought to himself, could it be that she left in the middle of the day? Chen Zhe had guessed right, the teacher had taken a leave of absence at noon for some reason, in the afternoon, she didn't come to school at all, looking at the time, it was almost 8 o'clock, if you keep waiting, there will be no result, so he frowned and came to the intersection and drove the black Buick away. At the same time, at the exit of the hospital, Chen Zhe's mother, Li Yuefen, was carrying a lunchbox and a change of clothes, she got on an old black lady's motorcycle, it looked like she was going to go home, eat something, and prepare the next change of clothes, but at the same time as Li Yuefen was leaving, at the entrance of the hospital, more than ten men with tattoos on their arms were also staring at the exit of the hospital parking lot, when they saw Li Yuefen come out, they took out a photo from their pockets and compared it, the inch-headed man in front immediately narrowed his eyes and winked at the others, he soon followed them, on the way back, Li Yuefen also bumped into some acquaintances, and since they were all on good terms, they could be said to be talking and laughing. At the same time, on the street corner, she also met her daughter's classmate, called Zhao Minor, looks white and clean, not very tall, however, she gave off a sense of beauty of being petite and shy, after seeing Li Yuefen, she hesitated for a long time, finally, she took out a small tin of paper cranes from her school bag, Auntie, how is Xiao Mei? Seeing this familiar girl, Li Yuefen couldn't help but blush as she remembered the scene before when Zhao Minor would often run into the house to play, occasionally, she would also follow Chen Xiaomei to the mental hospital to visit Chen Zhe, although Chen Zhe might not have a deep impression of this young girl. But if he saw her, he would also recognize her, why did you come here? Isn't your home in the south of the city? Auntie, I deliberately took the car to come here, I did not dare to go to the hospital, I was afraid to see Xiao Mei in that state, so she hesitated and continued, my mother said that a thousand paper cranes representing happiness and goodness can pray for blessings, so I folded a lot of them in the hope that Xiao Mei will get well soon, can you help me bring them to Xiao Mei? Zhao Minor was full of truth and regretted that she didn't wait for Qin Xiaomei when she returned that day, she has a car at home, and if she waited for Qin Xiaomei that day and went back together, the other party would not be hurt. Everything could still be undone, and whenever she thought of that incident, she felt incomparable remorse and pain, upon hearing her words, Li Yuefen's eyes turned even redder, and she received the thousand paper cranes in a transparent jar, relieved, she said good boy, Xiao Mei has a friend like you, I am happy for her, by the way, auntie, I also brought a prayer bracelet, can I personally put it under Xiao Mei's pillow? Of course you can, auntie's house is right over there, let's go back together, she said, Li Yuefen also got off the motorcycle, after all, it was only less than a hundred meters. She was happy to accompany this little girl and walk the street together, 
but just as they entered the mouth of the alley, there was a commotion behind them, immediately, seven or eight men with tattoos covering their arms and above blocked the entrance to the alley behind them, at the same time, at the exit in front of them, the same seven or eight bad-looking men appeared, some of them were holding water pipes in their hands, others were holding an iron handle wrapped in newspaper, to see. Such a scene, whether it was the mother, Li Yuefen, or the young girl next to her, Zhao Miner, they were all terrified, a single carelessness, the heavy motorcycle fell to the ground. The lunchboxes, spoons, chopsticks, and many clothes that were hanging on the motorcycle were scattered on the ground, Li Yuefen seemed to have realized something and hurriedly shouted, No, don't come over, this little girl is innocent, she's not a member of our family, will you let her go back? But the dozen or so men who came over from the entrance and the exit but there was no half-hearted change of expression, the inch-headed man wearing a cloak and a pair of black pants pushed the surrounding men away, he coldly looked at Li Yuefen and Zhao Minor and bowed politely and respectfully, I'm sorry, big sister, take someone's money and do something for them, if you were the only one here just now, there would definitely be no problem, but now that she has seen it, we have no choice. Even the other people who had gathered around all nodded to Li Yuefen, without the appearance of a street gangster, they spoke in an organized manner, but they all had weapons in their hands again, they were polite, their gaze was also icy cold, it was this politeness and coldness that made Li Yuefen's heart pound, for he knew that this was no ordinary street thug. I received $10 million from someone to buy the lives of your entire family, the power of the other side is very strong, we can't resist, I know your son is still missing, I've seen his video, he's very good with his hands, and his methods are extremely cruel. If one day your son really finds me, I'm willing to pay for your lives, the world is like that, there are times when everyone is forced to do nothing, the man carries a knife, the distance between them is getting closer and closer, 100 steps, 80 steps, 60 steps, more than 40 steps can be felt, a feeling of oppression coming from the face, making Li Yuefen, Xiao Minor, who had fallen to the ground, couldn't help but let her voice tremble, what is there to get over? You are all innocent, so why do you have to get involved in this? She faced Li Yuefen's questioning, the man wearing a cloak, his arms covered with tattoos, and his head an inch high, the body paused for a moment, my wife owes a gambling debt, a couple of children, their whereabouts are still unknown, they asked me to settle this 7 million gambling debt. If this thing is done, I can not only finish the money, will bring back their children's wives, but also take a large sum of money, far away, they gave me a good passport, a few million, in some backward countries, enough to feed and clothe me for life, my brothers are also safe, they all have their own helplessness, the inch man looked up at the dark night sky, the voice said in a low voice, I don't want to kill your husband, let alone the girl in the hospital, but there is a great invisible hand behind me, pushing me here step by step, still, if one day your son comes looking for her. Not only me, but also my group of brothers, as long as he can fight, we are willing to pay with our lives, after saying that, the distance between the two men had reached a stone's throw, the knife in the man's hand was slowly raised, the guilt in his eyes remained, he turned his head away and took a deep breath, the eyes were unconsciously a little more complicated, if there had been a choice, why had he chosen this path? Just as his blade was about to fall, together with the silver moon, covered by dark clouds, not far away, but there was a sound of air breaking, immediately after that, a fist-sized stone crashed onto his head with a swift and powerful force, only a booming sound could be heard, the inch-haired man's body swayed, and a strong feeling of dizziness washed over him, his eyes seemed to be blinded by blood. Even his vision turned red as he looked out, the other men around him also turned their heads to look at this moment, and saw, under the moonlight, a tall figure with a duck-tailed cap, wearing a white shirt and blue jeans, appeared not far away, in his hand was a scalpel with a silver sheen, his head was raised slightly, the flash of brutality showed in his eyes, it made everyone present unable to stop their eyelids from jumping. It wasn't like a human gaze at all, it was more like a wild beast, it had been locked in a cage for years, it had already gone mad with hunger, a trapped beast that had no other emotions than fighting and killing, even the inch-haired man who was hit in the head couldn't help but tremble a little with his hand holding the knife. After stabilizing himself, his gaze turned icy cold again, just like before, he pushed through the crowd, holding the long knife in his hand, he stepped across the crowd, the many men around him wanted to help, but they were stopped by the man, no need, remember the picture you saw. He is the son of this woman, I said that if he came looking for me and really stood up to me, my life could be given to him, since he's here, I don't want to take advantage of the people's danger, little brother, do you dare to fight with your bare hands? The inch-headed man threw his long knife to the ground, he twisted his neck, Chen Zhe also pinned the scalpel to his waist, like a swift cheetah, he darted over with his padded feet. 
The inch-haired man didn't hesitate and ripped off the cloak on his body with his back, revealing a body full of sinewy flesh, it was like an Australian kangaroo, which made a very powerful impression, Li Yuefen, who was surrounded by the crowd inside, felt the sense of oppression emanating from the fist man, even the numerous henchmen around her exhaled at that moment, they all had no thoughts. Chen Zhe was the opponent of their boss, Zhao Miner, who was leaning against the wall, also realized that it was her classmate's brother, she couldn't help but let her eyes redden, Auntie, hasn't he been locked up in a mental hospital? Can he really be beaten? Li Yuefen gritted her teeth as a strong worry rose in her heart, along with their conversation, in the distance, two people rubbed shoulders. Both sides exchanged moves, it was as if many punches were thrown in that one second, but it was also that momentary brush, it made the inch-haired man's hands tremble a little, a few moments of exuberance were revealed in his expression, this power, this kind of speed, as well as the martial arts skills, did he really come from a mental institution? In his impression, in a mental hospital, you would either be injected with all kinds of sedatives, or you would be lying in bed, on weekdays, there are opportunities to go out, but with the prisoners in a cage, there is really not much difference, the supervision was even stricter, where did such a person learn this skill? Once again, the inch-haired man turned around, and his fist was like wind and thunder, accompanied by a deafening roar. Chen Zhe's head tilted to the left easily dodging the punch, lifting his own leg and using his knee to ruthlessly press against the man's abdomen, the man ate the pain, his step staggered a little, Chen Zhe bulldozed up, the other party's speed, the reaction was very fast raised his arms and started to wave, immediately down a flip, continuously rolled out more than two meters, fixed the body, and once again rushed over. Two people in this narrow alley, you and me, fists hit from the speed in. The night under the addition of the color of the night, was almost invisible, but it was undeniable, whether the two were fighting in close quarters, or the force of their blows against each other, they were beyond anyone's expectations, even the man's henchmen in the distance hadn't expected their boss to be somewhat incapacitated in front of this teenager. One of the henchmen, looking at Li Yuef and Zhao Miner on the ground, was about to raise his own steel pipe to threaten Chen Zhe, he heard the inch-haired man roar angrily in the middle of the battle, stop it, I, Sun Long, even if I am a river dragon, if I want this money, I will take it in a positive way, if I die, it is because my skill is not as good as others, if you use this kind of means. It is simply insulting old me, after saying that, he struck out again, this time with great force. Hitting Chen Zhe's shoulder, Chen Zhe's arm was numb and in pain from the blow, and even began to hang down weakly, however, he did not feel the slightest bit of fear or anxiety from the injury, instead, the pain made him even more agitated, even more desperate, and the speed of his punches became faster and faster. Sun Long in front of him gritted his teeth, in the midst of the exchange of blows, both of them were battered and bruised, until Sun Long's head was hit, clanging and clanking, he took several steps back, it was only at this moment that the battle between the two sides was considered to have come to a standstill, Sun Long panted heavily, the close combat he had just experienced had exhausted the power in his body, after all, if it was ten years ago, he would not necessarily be afraid of them. Teenager in front of him because he was a bit old and his strength was not enough, likewise, if that teenager was ten years older, perhaps the peak of him, he would still be defeated by the other party, boss, no matter what happens, we are all together, even if he wins the battle, it does not mean that he can take the people from here, after saying that, the remaining dozen or so people rushed over in a swarm. Unlike their own bosses, they each had a weapon in their hands, Chen Zhe also fished out the silver-white scalpel from his waist, his waist was slightly bent, as if he was a tiger standing in the dark, at that moment, the crowd appeared in front of him, the scalpel also disappeared, the ethereal silver-white lines were like fluttering butterflies, under the many sieges, it was also like a woman dancing on the tip of a knife. One couldn't help but fall in love with her for a few moments and look deeply at her, each time, he would raise his hand and drop his sword, it was always accompanied by a bloody red color, it was imprinted in the hearts of everyone, his movements did not stop for even half a second, moving clouds and flowing water. Sometimes when he was confronted with a broken pipe or a long knife, as long as it wasn't a fatal injury, he would always use his judgment to catch it hard, but it was this method, under the siege of a dozen people, surprisingly, he was able to kill them with ease, when he came to the opposite side of those dozen people, Sun Long's face, the scalpel still dripping with blood, but there were already people who couldn't stand the pain. They covered their bodies and began to fall to the ground. Convulsing, the scalpel was even lifted slightly, it was pressed against Sun Long's neck, and it seemed that as long as he exerted a little force. Sun Long would have to die, 
he also did not hesitate, just like his cold heart, just like the Hanyu red that had just blossomed, like a demon unsealed, those eyes were filled with blood, madness, and sickly distortion, just like that scalpel was about to cut the other's throat, but first a voice rose in the alley, son, don't, after the man had rushed over, blocked his son and grabbed his hand, a brief reminder, to stop him from killing, when he came to, his mother's voice was ringing in his ears, son, I know that you have no way to control yourself, this son Long is not a bad person, he only came over because his own wife and children are in the hands of others, have you ever thought that you are alone, your power is ultimately limited, this period of time mother has also understood, the Wang and Zhou families are equally damned, but the five people behind them are even more damned, you want to kill them all easily, there must be someone to help you your mother is getting old, when she really dies one day, I hope you can think more of yourself, Chen Zhe's body trembled, and he didn't seem to understand his mother's words very well, perhaps it was in his perception, only when all the dangers were taken care of. Only then would they be safe, it seemed that the only way to do that was to be even more insane, to make the enemy feel intimidated, scared, cold, like in a mental hospital, those nurses and doctors, all kinds of means were used on him, he will come back several times or even a dozen times, the end result, no one dared to mess with him anymore. When he looked up, the fierce light on his face had disappeared without a trace. But still with a few moments of bewilderment, frowning, he looked at the silver-white scalpel at Sun Long's head, another glance, not far from the dozen or so people who fell into a pool of blood, in his heart, he did not take his mother's words to heart, in fact, what he wanted more was to kill all those people, then he would go and find the mastermind behind the scenes who created this matter. But he couldn't go against his mother's words, because before he went to the mental hospital, or while he was in the mental hospital, his mother had given him a lot of comfort and care, and if there was any rope in his heart that could bind him, I'm afraid it was only his parents and his sister, it was also because of their existence that Chen Zhe did not go completely insane. His mother didn't wait for him to open his mouth, but reached out and gently held his knife, she said to Sun Long beside him, have you ever thought that this is a trap set up for you by someone else? Your wife and children, for no reason, owed so many gambling debts, and for no reason, to immediately find someone to do these things, in fact, Sun Long already had the predestination of certain death. But when he heard Li Yuefen's words, he couldn't help but be stunned, before, he hadn't given it much thought, but now, after calming down, he also felt that there was some truth in what the other party said, his wife was not a bad player, although his wife's best friend liked to play mahjong, also, often take his wife in and out of some casinos, but his wife at most play a few thousand tens of thousands. This amount of money is nothing to him, suddenly lost seven or eight million, but all. Individuals will feel wrong, but even so, my wife and children, are in the hands of the other party, I still do not have the ability to resist. Sun Long clenched his fists and recklessly smashed them on the wall beside him, hating himself for not having the ability, Li Yuefen continued, with your hands, as long as you are willing to investigate, follow the melon, you will always find the information of your wife and children, furthermore, even if you really do complete the task they gave you, do you dare to make sure that they will definitely let you out alive? Instead of sending you to the outer sea? After all, once such a thing gets out, the consequences are unimaginable, your wife and children are going back, if there's really a problem, said with your character, I'm afraid you won't let each other go. Then your life is a problem, an uncertainty, why don't they kill you? Why don't they just kill you, feed you to the fish, and spend a lot of money to let you go? Li Yuefen spoke with reason, even Sun Long froze in front of him, according to his character, if his wife and children told him what had happened, that he was really being set up, I'm afraid that he would really bring back people to kill, but according to the current situation, if there is no setup, his wife will never lose seven or eight million dollars, because his wife is not that kind of person, more likely to bring his two children to the casino. From here it is clear that there is definitely something going on in there, the fact that the two of them are involved with each other proves that there is no way he could have made it alive to the foreign country he is talking about, maybe the other side, it hadn't even occurred to him to give him the money or let his wife and children go, the moment he thought of this, it was almost impossible to veto it. Sun Long couldn't help but take in a breath of cool air, his voice trembled a little. What should we do now? It was as if he had also begun to make mistakes, in the end, it was Li Yuefen who said you should have seen my son's skills, Sun Long nodded, very strong, at least stronger than me. If the two of you join forces, do you think it will be possible to get your wife and children back after finding clues? Sun Long scratched his head, he looked at Chen Zhe next to him in disbelief, this guy didn't seem like a normal person, could he possibly help himself? If Li Yuefen hadn't stopped him, he had no doubt that this guy would have killed them all, even Chen Zhe couldn't help but frown, 
the scalpel he was holding was slightly tilted upwards, because he felt that it was too inconvenient, killing these people directly, it was only the best result, however, Li Yuefen smiled and shook his head, he listens to me, right? Son. The mother looked at him, Chen Zhe fell silent, and for a moment, a pin dropped in the whole alley, without denying it, it was an agreement, he would indeed listen to his mother, if his mother had to force him to do this, he wouldn't have killed Sun Long in front of him, but whether or not he would help him save his wife and children was impossible to say, to leave his mother's sight when the time comes to help or not to help, is that still not a thought? Son, I know that you are not happy in your heart, you have seen today's situation, your mother and father do not have your ability, and your sister is still in the hospital. If this happens a few more times, can you guarantee that mom and dad and your sister won't be in trouble next time? Can you guarantee that you'll come in time to save us each time? Chen Zhe was silent, he really couldn't, there was also a lack of separation, but if you had a group of like-minded friends, would they stand by and do nothing? Li Yuefen did not directly force her son to agree, instead, she channeled him little by little, she knew this son's paranoia, and she also knew that he was often unable to control his temper, just one lapse, it would affect the others, only by allowing this son to accept these people from the bottom of his heart would it be possible to change the ending, even if one day she and her own old partner passed away because of certain people. His son would be able to rely on this group of like-minded friends to protect his sister and even himself, Chen Zhe still didn't say anything but his mother had already sensed the change in his eyes, he has agreed, don't worry, as long as you can investigate the situation of your wife and children, I believe he will help you, the corners of Sun Long's mouth twitched, still a bit unbelievable, after all, being able to convince a mental illness was already an extremely bizarre thing, but he did. It now, there seemed to be no other choice, Auntie, don't worry, it just so happens that this group of my men are injured, let them go to the hospital where you are to heal their wounds, with them, even if they can't block the other side, they can still delay them for a moment or two, they can also send us a message the first time. They can definitely protect your safety, with these words, Li Yuefen was also relieved, in fact, she was more concerned about her own son, whom she owed too much, even if they died, they did not want anything to happen to their son, if only there were more friends like Sun Long, even if Chen Zhe's character was no longer paranoid, there would still be some protection, I'm relieved to hear your words. The two of you definitely need to get together, Li Yuefen did not say anything else, but. Instead pulled up Zhao Miner who was still sitting on the ground, Zhao Miner looked deeply at Chen Zhe, she politely said, thank you, Xiao Mei's brother, thank you for saving me, after that, led by Li Yuefen and the others, they all returned to the room and bandaged the injured. When they saw that it was almost time, the crowd sat in the middle of the hall and looked at each other, among them, Chen Zhe pulled down his duckbill hat to cover his eyes, it seemed like he did not want to communicate with these people either, it was Sun Long who took the lead to break the awkward atmosphere, chatting with the crowd, until Li Yuefen was ready to go, Sun Long arranged for his men to follow him to the hospital, he would report the situation to them at any time, and only then. Would he lay down his heart, the hospital entrance, Sun Long turned his head and looked at Chen Zhe, aren't you going up to see your sister? Chen Zhe said nothing, a black Buick pulled up on the street. Sun Long was quick on his feet, opened the passenger door and got in, Chen Zhe clenched his hand, suppressed the thought of killing Sun Long, and rushed out with a kick of the accelerator, at the same time, however, a group of people arrived, and the group fought furiously into the alley, they examined the traces of the battle around them, the leader was a middle-aged man who looked to be around 40 and looked calm, with a few sharp points, he waited until the inspection of the surroundings was over, a few of his men also came over to report, Master Lu, after the inspection and the report from our scouts who were watching, it should be the boy who came out of the mental hospital who won the fight, he heard the words of the onlookers, the middle-aged man named Master Lu, who was around 40 years old, couldn't help but narrow his eyes. The group of people who made the move should be Sun Long, right? The person standing beside him nodded, it was indeed Sun Long, he should have been used as a weapon as well, that idiot, he doesn't even know who captured his wife and children, he believes whatever others say, he's just embarrassing us outsiders, but this kid has some skills, he is actually able to beat Sun Long single-handedly, if I remember correctly, just now our men sent a photo, it was Sun Long and this kid got into the same car, the others were also a bit emotional, but they didn't dare say much, only the man known as Master Lu narrowed his eyes and stood up, looking into the distance. 
only to see a woman in a red evening gown walk over with a smile on her face, the woman was very beautiful, probably about 24 or 25 years old, with a small powdered face so exquisite that it was a bit suffocating, combined with that perfect figure, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that she was a special object, but any man who saw her would be unable to suppress the evil thoughts in his heart. I'm afraid, Miss Sue, how can I trouble you to come here in person? The woman surnamed Sue, but only after walking in to the side of the wall with a smashed fist stretching out a luxurious jade finger touched a bit, it seems that the fight just now was very intense, after all, it was Sun Long himself who struck out, aren't you going to help Sun Long and the kid? Recently, the whole city of Shanghai, Stormy, seems to be related to that kid, Master Lu nodded, indeed related, according to our investigation, this kid has been living in the mental hospital before, do not know where to learn this skill, I guess he may have a master behind, his sister, should be someone, thrown down from the stairs, specifically who did it, we cannot find out any traces, but certainly related to the Wang family, Zhou family, the woman in the red evening dress, but just smiled and shook her head, you should know that this is not what I am asking, this boy may be a breakthrough. Master Lu waved his hand, is not a breakthrough is still hard to say, now our main force cannot be exposed too early, behind the Shanghai city, there is the Tang family group, is not good to deal with, then your idea is to pretend not to see. Not exactly, Master Lu cupped his chin, Sun Long in the north, although only a local snake, but his boxing is very good, known as one of the four tigers of Beichuan, this name alone should not be underestimated, but if you want us to help you, you still need them to make a few more achievements, and on the other hand, if even the Wang family, the Zhou family, they are exhausted, there is no need to help. Master Lu finished and took out a black and gold card, recently opened a shopping mall in Shanghai City, if Miss Su is free, you can go over to take a stroll, take this card, all consumption by me to pay the bill, then thank you, Master Lu, I'll take the card, but I'll pay as usual, Miss Su is too kind, we're not family, it's better to be clear, Master Lu smiled, but didn't say much, instead, he took his men and left. As for Miss Su, she stared at the several fist prints on the wall and didn't say anything for a long time, it was just an unknown how much of a storm these two could cause in the city of Shanghai, if they could force this group of people to leave, that would be the best thing. Unfortunately, there were too many outsiders, a scattered sand, difficult to coalesce, otherwise, this group of people in Shanghai city, could not be arrogant for long, she shook her head, her delicate and colorful little waist, gently turned around, bringing her own men with her, disappeared in the middle of the night, silver white moonlight, it was like a thin veil that covered the sky over this brightly lit city. It was also like a masked maiden, between the hidden and the revealed, with a few points that made people want to look deeper into the mood, on the way to the factory on the outskirts of the city, the road was covered with moonlight, and the black car slowly stopped at the entrance of the dilapidated factory, inside, two people walked down, one was wearing a duckbill hat, a white shirt, and blue jeans, the other wore a black cape and was very tall. About 34 or 35 years old, with a steady pace and a distant air, together, they entered the factory in front of them, the three people trapped inside were chained to a pillar, if they had been chained before, they would have had a chance to escape, but now, that chance is slim, originally still dozing Sun Yao Yang, heard footsteps coming from outside, pupils slightly contracted, before Chen Ze take rabbit vent scene, now also feel vivid, thinking of that almost sickly brat. Coming back, he couldn't help but feel his heart sink, even the other two, after sensing the commotion outside, quickly dropped their gaze to the entrance of the factory. However, they found that the person who came over this time was not only Chen Ze, but also a 35 or 36-year-old man, whose body sinews were clearly visible, and with every step he took, he made people feel heavy and powerful, at first glance, he was a practicing man, and Sun Yao Yang, who had read countless people, was not weak himself, otherwise, he would not be able to become the right hand of the Wang family. When he saw the thirty-something man coming in, his eyebrows unconsciously trembled for a moment, then his throat tightened, he swallowed his saliva, another expert who was no inferior to Chen Zhe, and a couple of horrible knife scars could be seen running from his left arm to his chest, even though they were covered by the tattoos. But still, at a glance, he found that in addition to being an expert, he had also experienced a lot of life and death training, such a person, even if it was not comparable to Chen Zhe, but made a person feel like a mountain of pressure, this kid, where did he find another person? Should not be ah, this guy is a mental illness, locked up in the hospital for four years, how do you feel things are getting tricky? A small thing, it is hard for them to imagine that it has come to this, after all, Chen Xiaomei was just a child from a poor family, with the resources of her Wang and Zhou families, it was simply not too easy to pin her down. 
Based on the previous situation, they would have gotten rid of her many times over, however, this time, what they thought was a sure thing had become a big deal, it seems like there are other forces involved, Chairman Wang, I'm afraid I miscalculated, a sentence murmured in his heart, Sun Yaoyang closed his eyes and no longer looked at the two men approaching him, but Sun Long next to him clearly had no intention of letting him go, and after entering, he realized that Sun Yaoyang was not easy. At the very least, he was a capable person who knew something, he glanced at Chen Zhe beside him and said with itchy hands, Give me the key, I want to fight him, haven't you fought enough in the alley earlier? Sun Long was a bit stunned for a while, but still hummed, You are not the same as him, I can fight with you, although there are skills, but the chapter is too brutal, and there is no way, just like the street punks fighting, I really do not know why I will lose to you, for him, fighting against Chen Zhe, this feeling was too suffocating, first of all, his strength was no match for the other person. Second, the moves that the other party used were indecipherable, so you couldn't feel or see. Through them, the more you fight, the more you feel that your hands are tied, on the contrary, the other party fights harder and harder, hitting faster and faster. Their movements are still chaotic, they cannot see half of the doorway, but they are able to hit you in the heart, as for Sun Yao Yang in front of him, it became his punching bag, after all, just now in the alleyway suffered that suffocating, do not let it out, always feel a little difficult, the good thing was, Although Chen Zhe replied, he still threw the key to Sun Long, even if in his heart. He did not think that Sun Long could help much, but because of his mother's words, he took it even. More to heart, after getting the key, without half a hesitation, Sun Long opened the lock behind Sun Yao Yang and immediately pulled the person out, tied up is tied up, how about it? Fight, win the next to make you feel better, what do you want to eat, I will buy for you, Sun Yao Yang is not a coward otherwise he could not be the right hand of the Wang family just to see him spit on the ground, twist his neck, and rush over without hesitation, the speed of the two men's strikes was the same, but compared to Chen Zhe, it was still too slow, therefore, Chen Zhe only looked at them for a few moments before turning his back on them and walking over to the investigator and the driver, he pulled their cell phones out of their pockets, in your cell phones, you should have the Zhou family's internal group chat, open it for me, I want to see what has been said within your Zhou family in the past few days, how dare they resist, he unlocked the phone's fingerprint lock and opened the Zhou family's group chat to find two groups that had been kicked out, obviously, people also realized that the investigator and the driver were probably caught, and did a double take, however, he still found clues in some of the chats, people from the Zhou family went to the hospital to find my parents, could it be them? He had a suspicion that it was the Zhou family that was behind his mother being ambushed in the alley, if it really was the Zhou family, then they would have to go to the hospital where Zhou Xuxue was and tell her what the consequences would be. Of course, the Wang family was also under his suspicion, after all, the other party was highly suspected as well, after thinking for a few minutes, he cupped his chin, only a bang was heard, Sun Yao Yang was knocked to the ground, and the left side of his face was swollen, and he sucked in a mouthful of cool air, he could not get up for half a day, in his heart, he felt an incomparable shock, the man in front of him who was in his early thirties and wearing a cloak, was much more terrifying. Then he had imagined, really fighting, the entire bodyguard team of the Wang family inside, it is estimated that only Zhao Yong can break hands with it, the rest can be said to be whoever comes dies. At the same time, he turned his gaze to the side and frowned at Chen Zhe in deep thought, surprised that this kid, actually found a boxing expert, bare hands, I'm afraid that the entire city of Shanghai can beat Sun Long only a few, it seems that Shanghai city will change the sky, a small matter in the eyes of a big man, but in the eyes of this teenager from the mental hospital, it is a big matter, like the sky is falling. If it cannot be solved, Zhou Wang two families, there will be no peace. Even behind those people, can be involved, fixed his mind, Sun Yao Yang did not resist, stretched out his hand was once again tied to the pillar, walked up Sun Long, but patted his shoulder. You kid is a little capable, see the way you strike, should be the Xiang Sun family, but unfortunately, less a few points of God, otherwise, if you can still have two more moves with me, of course, also related to your abdominal injury, but even if your injury is healed, the same, in my hands cannot pass ten moves, finished, Sun Long sat down next to him with satisfaction. The previous depression in the alley was swept away at this time, in the second half of the night, he went out again and got some firewood, and built a fire prairie inside the factory to keep warm, and just leaned against the fire and unconsciously fell asleep, the night passed quickly, and Chen Zhe got up early, he sat down next to the fire and added a few logs, he waited for Sun Long to shiver from the cold, only then did he open his mouth. It's time to get up, Sun Long, who was lying on the ground, froze and took out his cell phone to look at it, 
it's only 4 o'clock, the sky isn't light yet, get up for what? Even if you go out to eat breakfast, I'm afraid the breakfast vendor hasn't even put it out, last night, when you went to find my mother, who contacted and where, it is time to go to these people to settle this account, hearing this, it was only then that Sun Long came to his senses, he had to go to those people as well and find out the information about his wife and children, he immediately forced himself to get up and followed Chen Zhe to the car, half an hour later, a remote village. At the far end, there was a small villa with quite luxurious decorations, a middle-aged man in his forties stood in the middle of the study with a yellowish light on, in front of him was a laptop computer, there were also several cell phones, there were many messages coming from the cell phones one after the other, but the man just rubbed his temples tiredly with his hands, feeling like his brain was about to explode. Then a woman came in with a cup of coffee from outside, Brother Lu, why are you up so early? Is it because this family's matter is still unresolved? They are just a few ants at the bottom of society, are they really not afraid of death? There was confusion in the woman's expression, she really couldn't understand it, why would a small problem get to this point? As for the middle-aged man who was called Brother Lu, a hint of bitterness appeared on his face because the place where the alley fight took place last night, not only did their people appear, the figures of outsiders also appeared, this matter was delayed, in his opinion, it most likely had something to do with the outsiders, this time, they also only used Sun Long, but in reality, Sun Long's wife and children were not captured by them. As for where exactly, they were not sure. But since the one above had already given the order, he can only complete the mission to the end, Sun Long has disappeared, his group of men are now in the middle of the hospital, and didn't carry out our orders, I'm afraid there's been an accident inside, the woman placed her coffee in front of the computer table, she glanced at the several cell phones that kept flashing, the stunned look on her face is even more, no way, this guy is known as the four tigers of Beichuan, he is the most righteous person, to his wife and children, is also famously good, this time to Shanghai City, if I remember correctly, is that someone promised him an official identity, in order to be able to let his wife and children out of the identity of the black background, just a long way to come over. Otherwise, with the money he earned, it is enough for their family to live high on the pig, Lu, who was in front of the computer desk, just snorted, no worries. With the money he earned, his standard of living was just a little better than the average person, in the eyes of the truly great, not even a fart, maybe it was because of the internal structure of Shanghai City, there is no small amount of understanding, every time Lu mentioned this person, he was always filled with awe, just as he was about to pick up one of the cell phones, check the information inside. A commotion could be heard from outside, followed by curses, and the sound of things. Being knocked over, Lu punched the table hard, those guys, they can't clash with the villagers again, right? I told them to keep a low profile a long time ago, we can't be exposed for this operation, the woman next to him frowned her pretty eyebrows, should not be ah, this time of day, has not yet arrived at the time of rotation, they have long been sleepy, where there is still energy, and the villagers have a conflict, besides, they were quite peaceful recently, the villagers didn't get up either, but before she could finish her words, there were several more bangs, there were several screams from, Below, the door of the room they were in was even kicked open by someone, a huge force, the kick was the cause of the shaking of the entire door, the moment it hit the wall, even the door cracked. A person holding a silver-white scalpel, a figure wearing a duck-tailed cap, a white shirt, and blue jeans, coldly looking at them inside, what was even more terrifying, he was also dragging a corpse in his hands, from the corridor outside, one could see the bloodstains left all the way down the slope, it was as if a god of death had emerged from the underworld, the hostile aura emanating from him made their hearts tremble. After this person appeared, another loud bang was heard from below, it was accompanied by the sound of breaking glass, another person quickly walked up the stairs, spitting a mouthful of bloody saliva onto the floor, holding a large knife in his hand, his gaze was dark as he looked at them, Sun, Sun Long, saw the incoming person, Lu couldn't help but swallow his saliva, he was scared to death, how could he not believe that his hideout had actually been discovered? In fact, it was also true that Sun Long had been uneasy before, after the meeting with the other party, he had his men follow him, only then did he learn that the other party lived in a village on the outskirts of the city, although he usually didn't go out much and didn't have too many conflicts with the villagers, but it was still marked on the map by Sun Long. Therefore, when he came over, he had already made an easy job of it, it's the one with the surname Lu, he came with me, Lu's eyebrows trembled a little as he wanted to pick up one of the cell phones and vent, and he couldn't stop himself from saying, you guys, you know, bang, the words were not even finished, Chen Zhe had already lunged forward, grabbed the other party's hair, and slammed it mercilessly on the table. 
only a click could be heard, the table froze and shattered with a crack. Brother Lu was confused as well, without even the strength to fight back, he was carried to the wall like a chicken, right after that, Chen Zhe grabbed his hair. One after the other he slammed into the wall, the muffled sound of thumping, echoed in the still morning, the sky was not yet light, the people outside had settled down again, bloodstains were everywhere, the woman who brought the coffee let out a scream of fear and went limp on the ground, she knew that Lu's business hadn't seen the light of day yet, but she hadn't expected it to be so dangerous, people were obviously coming to take revenge. As far as she knew, there were more than twenty fighters in this villa alone, but all of them were killed in a short time, the other party even dragged the bodies of the fighters upstairs. The middle of the road without a bit of obstruction to be able to do all this, the body of how good it is self-evident, even brother Lu's eyes were smashed, his forehead was bloody, and the walls were scarlet, Sun Long, who had been standing in the back, saw that people were about to be crushed to death, he rushed forward to stop Chen Zhe, brother, stop, stop, aren't we here to investigate the mastermind behind the scene? If you kill someone, who are we looking for? Chen Zhe, who had been grabbing Lu's head, finally stopped, and the hostility in his eyes was forcibly swallowed, another glance back, not far from the woman, since this person can't be killed, this woman will be killed first, the woman was also afraid. This is your mother, just a madman, from the time he rushed up until now, he didn't say a word, all he could think about was killing people, even Lu could see that, Chen Zhe's brain was definitely not normal, when he thought about the information he had received earlier, he realized that this person was afraid that he was the mental patient described in the information, a pervert who couldn't control his emotions, tyrannical to the extreme, and who had pierced his palm at the age of seven or eight inch I'm afraid you won't die fast enough if you mess with a psychopath, as for the woman next to him, Lu could care less, Chen Zhe walked over and grabbed the other person's hair. The woman also panicked, without even waiting for Lu to open his mouth, he hurriedly said, he, he doesn't want to say, doesn't dare to say, all his life, all in this person's body, said, his whole family must die, if not, at most he died alone, even if you open your mouth, you will not have a word of truth, brother Lu listened to this bitch, of people a look, afraid to betray him, immediately, he climbed up angrily and wanted to give this bitch two slaps, but the result was that he had not, yet rushed over, a silver white gleam cut through his throat, blood spurted out, brother Lu covered his neck and looked at Chen Zhe in disbelief, the person who was calm just now would suddenly strike and kill him with a single blow, blood stained the entire face of the woman in front of him, feeling the hot blood and the suffocating feeling of fear, the woman even chattered her teeth, Sun Long's eyes widened even more, and he thought to himself, buddy, there are some things that are really hard to communicate with you, if this woman is not telling the truth, what should they do? But Chen Zhe didn't care, instead, he took a step towards the woman, and the woman lost her voice, I don't know much, but all his secrets are in those three cell phones, and I know what the password is. Usually I see him open the lock a lot, there will be no mistake, you can contact the person on the cell phone and ask him out, whether it is true or not, you will have a clue, please don't kill me, I'm just his paid mistress, struggling at the bottom to make some money for a better life, I cannot be a part of this, the woman knelt on the ground and couldn't stop kowtowing. The blood seeping in from the surroundings broke down all the defenses in her heart, Sun Long was afraid that Chen Zhe'an impulse even the woman are 2 ga and quickly pulled the person, pulled to the table, let her enter the password, after opening the cell phone, several messages immediately appeared inside, three cell phones. One was responsible for contacting the person above, one was for normal life, there was also one for contacting the people below the hands, in addition to Sun Long, the one with the surname of Lu had also contacted several gold medalists and promised them many benefits, two of them were moved. If all these people were to go out, I'm afraid Sun Long's men wouldn't necessarily be able to stop them. Then they opened the cell phone used to contact that person, inside there is a communication. Software, software, there is only a person's avatar, there is only such a friend, there is also usually communication left behind the record, after looking at it for a while, Sun Long slammed his fist on the table, Sun Long pounded his fist on the table. Sure enough, just like your mother said, they don't even want to let me go, if I really get my hands on it, after I sneak out to the outer sea, they'll throw me down to feed the fish, even my wife and children, even they did not catch, now in whose hands in the end, they are not clear, immediately after that they tried again to contact the person in the cell phone, the answer was, well, tomorrow night, 8.20, meet at the mouth of the South River, a short sentence, but the woman next to them, couldn't help but widen her eyes and reminded, 
Don't, don't believe that person's words, I followed that surnamed Lou, at least more than two years, that person has never specified a meeting place, I'm afraid that there are still surveillance people around, the information here has long been the first time, was leaked, the woman's memory, but only to save her life, after all, according to the ruthlessness of these two people, probably got the information they wanted, turned her head and would have killed her, if you don't believe me, you can wait until tomorrow after 8 o'clock and look around the mouth of the South River, there will definitely be an ambush, I just want to live, this is also to help you, you can take me back first, if what I say is true, just beg you to spare my life. When he heard the woman's words, it also made Sun Long beside him become a bit cautious, he wasn't as bold as Chen Ze, he also did not have Chen Ze's divine, breathtaking means, especially when he had just sneaked in, then he realized, he and Chen Ze were simply not at the same level, this guy was able to figure out the route and the hidden cameras just by looking at them, he silently touched the janitor's back. With this tactic alone, he was far superior to him by several times, or even more. Then a dozen times, the best he could do was boxing. He can't say that he doesn't know anything about assassination, but he only knows a little, brother, I think this woman is still somewhat useful, so why don't we take her back to the abandoned factory first? Anyway, there are already three people inside the factory, one more is not much, and one less is not much, of course, Chen Zhe also wanted to get more information, after some hesitation, he agreed, the woman was tied up and put back into the car, after taking a look at the villa behind them and cleaning up the scene, they also returned to the car, as for the situation inside the mansion, they weren't worried at all, because this person surnamed Lu was involved in too much, there are countless secrets hidden inside, and I'm afraid that the black hand behind it doesn't want the secrets inside to be revealed. Because once the trail leads to the melon, with the official background, the cat will soon be discovered, as expected, once they were gone, a huge fire soon broke out in the villa, burning the place to ashes, several people could even be seen moving in and out of the area, not knowing what they were doing, at that time, Shanghai City, in the middle of a mysterious mansion, sitting there was a man with a dark face, there was also a large black birthmark on the left side of his face, looking at the real-time surveillance that appeared on the computer, his eyes narrowed to a slit, it seems that Sun Long has teamed up with this kid, surname Lu doesn't dare to expose my business, but that woman is a scourge, there's a chance, I have to make this woman disappear along with the secret of the villa. It's a pity, tomorrow we can try, in Nanjianku, can squat these two people, after saying that, his face had a few more points of grimness, turned his head to look outside, and made a phone call, after this operation, everything passed, gradually returned to calm, the woman who was caught, just thrown behind the car seat, Chen Zhe drove the car all the way wild, in the middle, several cars also tried to follow, but in a split second, they were thrown out of most of the street, Sun Long, who was sitting in the passenger seat, looked stunned, he had not expected this, Chen Zhe, who fought so fiercely, even drove so well, if he was put on the field, he could more or less win a ranking, right? The person following behind froze a few blocks later before he was unceremoniously thrown off, boss, we lost them. After a while, a black car in the back stopped, said the other end of the phone, immediately followed by a foul scolding, causing a few moments of bitterness to appear on the tracker's face, on the other side, Chen Zhe parked his car under an overpass, he got out of the car, he didn't want to return so quickly, as for the teacher at the school, he still had to make one more trip, last time, it was okay to let the other party get away with it, it wouldn't be that easy this time, you drive the car. Back first, I still have some things to do, if I need to use the car, I will send you a message, done, he left by himself, leaving Sun Long with a confused face, but he still came to the driver's seat and scratched his head, this guy, isn't he going to go back and interrogate this woman? Even though he knew that he could not get much information from this woman's body, but Sun Long still has a glimmer of hope, as long as he can find his wife and children, now he can do whatever he wants, with this thought, he drove his car to the dilapidated factory on the outskirts of the city, the day had just begun to lighten, but the street still seemed incomparably cold, Chen Zhe jogged in the direction of the school, as he ran until he was drenched in sweat, he dispelled the last trace of cold from his body, it was then that he saw a young girl, about the same age as his sister, standing at the entrance to the street, selling breakfast. Apparently because the weather had turned a bit cold, the young girl rubbed her hands together and put them back in front of her, next to the cage selling breakfast, to warm them up, the moment her hand was stretched out, Chen Zhe saw the circular scar running across her entire palm, it was as if something had pierced it, seeing this scar the size of a ballpoint pen, he couldn't help but frown as well, if that was before, he definitely didn't feel anything about it, but since he found out what happened to his sister, vaguely, it was about hurting others, it seemed like there was a certain bottom line as well. 
It's as if he could feel those emotions, when his parents taught him, when the doctor at the mental hospital said it, he didn't even take it to heart, or rather, he had no fluctuation for such emotions, moreover, it was as if he was born to be doomed, just like a stubborn ox on that road, unable to turn back, now that he thought about it. He inexplicably felt that there was a strange emotion spreading at the bottom of his heart, unable to express this emotion either, he just frowned, remained silent for a long time, and then looked up at the young girl who was similar in age to his sister, who had also noticed him. When she saw Chen Zhe's face, she couldn't help but tremble, she grabbed the breakfast cart and started to run towards the alley, but the next second, just because the movement was too big and the hands were too busy, the things on the cart scattered all over the place, accompanied by clattering noises, the young girl also collapsed in front of him, Chen Zhe didn't know what to say or do, he just didn't want to stay here. The strange feeling that kept spreading in his heart made him a little fidgety, so he put on his ducktail hat, silently, he disappeared into the street, the young girl froze and looked at his disappearing back. And then she looked at the scattered things, the fear in her eyes was still there, if she remembered correctly, when she was a child, it was this man who used a pencil to pierce her palm, her hand was permanently damaged, even though she couldn't even hold a pen all these years, because of the damage to her right hand, she didn't know how many blank stares she had to endure, now think about it, as she felt hurt, tears could not stop falling. Finally, she silently cleaned up the mess, pulled back the breakfast cart, but when she returned to the alley, she heard the sound of bottles breaking. Accompanied by the man's curses and the woman's pleas for mercy, the young girl went out again in a huff, the top of the breakfast cart had been replaced with a new one, then she stood on the street corner with a tired face and shivering body to continue selling breakfast, only the cold wind blew against her thin dress, making the young girl's face a few points whiter, the school entrance. Chen Zhe squatted for a day and didn't know if the teacher got the message, he did not come to school. After all, when he came to school that day to squat, he was ambushed by Sun Yao Yang and the others, his purpose wasn't too hard to guess, it seemed that this class teacher must know something otherwise everyone else would still be in class, and she would be the only one whose whereabouts were unknown. Chen Zhe frowned, the sky around him darkened, around 8 o'clock, even he was a bit unable to sit still, however, he still wanted to wait for the end of the evening study hall and wait for a while, if the person wasn't found, then he would have to start somewhere else, time passed slowly, accompanied by the ding 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 of the dismissal bell, students were being dismissed from school, some stayed inside the school, some were picked up by their parents, and some teachers could even be seen. Leaving the school, the only one he didn't see was his sister's teacher, it seemed that he had indeed gotten the news and was not expected back any time soon. He got up from the bench, with his head bowed, he left the school, now that it was late, after 10 o'clock, he was too lazy to walk back to the dilapidated factory, he decided to follow the side road to the village in the city to find the mother and daughter and get a good night's rest, his footsteps were steady, and there was a bar street in the neighborhood of the city village, which he crossed, slowly walked into the peace. Slightly a few chaotic places, as a result, the front foot had just come in, and then ran into the young girl who sold breakfast on the street corner in the morning, the young girl was holding some plates and chopsticks, she was coming out of a restaurant, both of her hands were full of them, and her right hand, which had been pierced, couldn't help but tremble slightly as she held them. The young girl obviously saw Chen Zhe as well, so she took a deep breath and Deng Deng took a few steps back, but when she thought about it, she still had so many things in her hand, if all of them broke, her salary this month, do not know how much to deduct, if it was less than that, her stepfather would scold her again, her mother didn't care about her and was only interested in pleasing her stepfather, as a child, she was stabbed through the palm of her hand, growing up, she was often beaten, and scolded by her stepfather, as a result, she developed a very cowardly character, when she saw Chen Zhe coming towards her, she was so scared that she was about to cry, until he came closer, Chen Zhe realized that this young girl's clothes had been washed until they were white, not knowing how long she had been wearing them, in this kind of weather, they looked a little thin, perhaps because they were too frozen, a pair of small hands had long been red, even the look on her face was tired, fortunately, Chen Zhe did not say anything, just pulled on his own duck-tailed cap and walked past the girl's side as if he had never met her before, the young girl sighed in. Relief, not daring to approach this boy who had once hurt her, of course, she had heard about it. Chen Zhe was a complete psychopath and was afraid of being victimized again by the other party, she desperately wanted to avoid him, as for the Chen Zhe who had passed by, he hadn't actually gone far, because of the time when he ran into that young girl again, this kind of inexplicable emotion, once again, it spread in his heart, making him unable to resist touching his chest with his hand. It was as if someone was tugging at something inside his body, indescribable, indescribable, anyway, it 
Felt a bit heavy from the side street alone, he climbed up to a small two-story building, stood on the roof and surveyed the situation below. The young girl looked busy going in for a few minutes and coming out with a lot of stuff, when the pile was almost finished, she put on gloves and sat quietly at the back of the alley, obviously tired and sweaty, the injured hand often shook uncontrollably as she cleaned the plates and dishes, but the girl never complained, just working tirelessly, until a fat-headed, grease-stained man pushed open the back door of the kitchen, Gu Jiejia. Your wages settled, this month, you because knocked. Over a teapot, scalded the guests, just the medical expenses, compensation for more than a thousand dollars, and, the guests' clothes, is not cheap, so deduct you six hundred good. But Gu Jiejia listened, but she couldn't help but widen her eyes and ask blankly, didn't the guest say he didn't need me to compensate him? At that time, knowing Gu Jiejia's life, the guest said nothing, paid the money, and left, how come they want to take her money now? The customer didn't say anything, but the customer probably won't come back, so the loss has to be deducted from your salary, Gu Jiejia knew that the man was deliberately making things difficult for her, she also knew that the other party would find various reasons to deduct her wages, she just didn't expect it to go this far this time, suddenly, two-thirds of her salary was deducted, if this goes back, how would she explain it to her stepfather and mother? I'm afraid it won't be easy, it will be another beating. Whether you like it or not, do not pack, hurry up and get out, see covered with oil and dirt obese man, look gradually become violent, the already weak Gu Jiejia, biting his red lips, lowered his head did not say anything, fat head and ears of the boss, and pulled out a thousand and five hundred dollars, do not say that I do not care about the original was to deduct your sixteen, see in your poor for the sake of, deduct you a thousand to have, and the last time I proposed something to you, how? Do you feel about it? If you become my girlfriend, I'll pay your rent, and you can get away from your parents, if you work for me, I'll raise your salary to 4,000, and you can save some money and do whatever you want. The fat-headed man looked up and down at the young girl unconsciously swallowing his saliva, it seemed like he had been salivating for a long time, and his gaze became a bit slutty, he opened his mouth and smiled, not to mention how happy he was, of course, Gu Jiejia wouldn't agree, she usually received a salary, but she also saved a few hundred dollars every month, the rest went to her stepfather and mother. When she saved enough money, she would leave the city, find a place she liked, and say goodbye to this unpleasant past. As for the offer from the man in front of her, after receiving the money, she shook her head and went back to washing dishes, the fat head of the man skimmed his mouth, a smelly dishwashing machine, the frame is also placed rather high, I easily spend three to five hundred dollars, go out to find one that is not more beautiful than you. Said the boss went back, but also closed the door, for fear that the warm air coming from the inside, was Gu Jiejia to enjoy, Chen Zhe, who was watching from the roof of the second floor opposite, remained calm, however, when this restaurant saw Gu Jiejia leave from the alley behind after work, the fat-headed boss carried a bag, hummed a song, and closed the door, he then climbed down from the upper floors, following the fat-headed man, and entered a dimly lit alleyway not far away, the man, seemed to sense something, and the moment he did, he turned around, a huge fist slammed into his face, the tremendous force lifted him off his feet, knocking two of his front teeth to the ground, and blood spurted from his mouth, he let out a pitiful scream and rolled over several times as he looked up at the figure that had struck him, again, fists rained down on his face, each punch so powerful that it hurt him so much that he screamed. Wrong, brother, I am wrong, I am not there is something to offend, I admit my fault is not okay, please do not hit again, fat head and ears of the boss, the face has long been a piece of blue and purple, teeth have been broken several, speaking some leakage, money, is there any? A silver white scalpel, placed on the boss's neck, under the dim moonlight, a pair of cold to suffocating eyes, deadly staring at the boss in front of him, he could feel that if he dared to say a single word of no, he would be killed on the spot, this is your mother, are those really the eyes of a human? The fat-headed boss in front of him suspected that the one staring at him was a wild beast, money, money, you said ah, uh, not just want money, you said earlier, I gave you earlier at the end, you said why bother to beat me in this. The boss was close to tears, you want money, don't you? Why don't you just give it to him? What are you doing? Ouch, knowing that Chen Zhe wants money, the next thing is easy, because today is payday, he went to the bank and withdrew a large amount of money, after paying his salary, he still had about 30,000 left, he took it out and gave it to Chen Zhe, still afraid that the other party wouldn't think it was enough, the gold watch on his hand, the necklace around his neck, and all the other valuables were all taken off for fear that Chen Zhe would continue to make a move on him. This guy, this guy has no sense of proportion when it comes to beating people, others will at least avoid the fatal vital points, 
but just now he saw clearly, this guy hate to hit fatal place, if it is not his luck, left and right swaying head to avoid hitting the fist, now I'm afraid that everyone has been killed, all, all here, if you think not enough, I, I go to get you again, there is a 24 hour ATM machine nearby, how much I want to give, but in front of the man's words, Chen Zhe. However, just got up, took these things, and silently walked away, when the fat-headed boss saw that the surroundings were quiet again, he glanced around a few times, after making sure that no one was around, he ran out a few hundred meters, standing at the edge of a pool, he cursed with a broken mouth. What the hell, if I hadn't put on weight over the years, I'd have to fight you for 300 rounds, do you really think I am a vegetarian? Once, no matter how you say I'm a Bar Street Kun brother, don't let me run into your kid again, otherwise I won't have to waste you, as a result, in addition to the dangling sound, seems to have something knocked over by the cat, the fat-headed boss, scared to death, pissed on the spot, and with the speed of lightning, he used all his strength and fled outside like a madman, the mouth still couldn't stop screaming, don't, don't hit me, I just mouth a little high, wrong, brother, I will never. Dare again, got the fat boss hands of 30,000 cash. Together with the original money on his hand, there are almost 60,000 or so, inside the pocket stuffed full, even those gold watches and other items, sold estimates can be about 10,000, all the way to rush slowly, after crossing the street of the downtown village, he finally found Gu Jiejie's house, he finally found Gu Jiejie's figure and blocked in front of her, running into her twice in a row, now, it was even worse when Chen Zhe blocked her face to face, Gu Jiejie would be lying. If she said that she wasn't afraid in her heart, even a fat boss of a restaurant could bully her, not to mention Chen Zhe, who had a nervous condition, what are you doing? You stabbed me in the palm of my hand when I was a kid, and it has affected me for the rest of my life, why do you still want to come and give me a hard time? I remember when I was a child, I saw Chen Zhe playing in the sand all by himself. Pretty pitiful, he went over and tried to join him, as a result, he was stabbed through the palm of his hand by the other party in one fell swoop, she couldn't help but make her eyes red again, her stepfather and mother were not very nice to her, and then there was her unpleasant past, it was even worse that she lived in deep water every day, when she saw the young girl in front of her, she was about to shed tears. Standing in front of Chen Zhe, he just opened his mouth, but he was not good at words, he did not know what to say, just this inexplicable emotion in his heart, let him panic out of his pocket, took out the money, counted ten, stuffed into the hands of Gu Jiejie, he seemed to feel that it was not enough, he then stuffed all the money in his hand into her other hand, Gu Jiejie also looked at the money and froze for a long time. When she raised her head again, the person had already disappeared, a figure could still be seen flickering around the corner, and immediately after that, no trace of the other party could be found, gone, gone. Gu Jiejie looked at the thousand dollars in her right hand, and then looked at her left hand, which was about ten or twenty thousand dollars, her mind was still buzzing, that guy who came out of the mental hospital, what the hell is he up to? Could it be that he felt what he did to her in the past was too much, now he wants to make up for it? Also, this thousand dollars is not, she was the fat boss deducted money. Cowardly by nature, she was bullied, did not dare to say anything, but in her heart, there was more or less a little bit of resentment, today, someone helped her get the money back. Inexplicably, there is a strange feeling, there was a gentle ripple in her heart, as if the two bottom of the soul, there was an inexplicable tug of war without words, but soon, Gu Jiejie shook his head again, if you think you can make up for it with this amount of money, Chen Zhe, then you are too much of a bully, Gu Jiejie grabbed the money in her hand with a deadly grip, with red eyes, she walked forward, gradually, she disappeared into the distance, at this time, Chen Zhe returned to the corner of the street, silently, he looked at the figure of the young girl walking away, it was as if something had been written in his heart, however, it was not written down, it was probably because he himself felt that it was not enough. Or it was difficult to make up for, but for now, he desperately needed to find a place to rest, and he didn't say anything, he turned to the strange mother and daughter downstairs, the lights were still on and he went up to the second floor, he knocked on the door of the room, the door creaked open, it was the little girl from last time, after seeing Chen Zhe, her eyes lit up, big brother, are you coming to stay for a night? I'll only charge you 300 this time, the little girl's voice was loud and clear, there was a fox-like smile on her face, Chen Zhe wasn't fooling around, so he took out $300, shoved it into the girl's hand, and walked in alone. Big brother, do you want more services? 
My mother is in the room next to mine, but Chen Zhe just pushed open the door of the last room, after entering and unlocking it, he lay down on the bed and covered his eyes with a duck's tongue cap, without realizing it, he had already fallen asleep, the little girl who was still standing in the doorway said to the doorway, Big brother, tomorrow I will prepare breakfast for you, and if you have no place to live in the future, you can all come here, next time it will be cheaper, just charge you. 200 per night, seeing that no one inside replied, the little girl shut her mouth, closed the outside door, and took the $300 to her mother's room. That strange man came back again, I charged him $300, and the result is that he went into the room and fell asleep, the woman in her twenties next to her was also curious and came to the windowsill to look at the vaguely visible figure, in fact, quite strange, other men come to this area, spend money to find pleasure, he is good, put the hotel does not live every time to come to our place to fall asleep, who cares if he comes every night? Even if he charges $200 for each stay, that's five or six thousand a month, the little girl smiled happily, with that amount of money. They wouldn't have to go hungry, they could even buy nice clothes and pay her school fees, she would be happy to go back to school, the woman didn't understand what was going on, but it was all charged, besides, this side of the village is a mixed bag of fish and dragons, every month is to pay the protection fee, very few people will come over to make trouble, even did not put this matter on the heart again, anyway, the sky collapsed. There is a higher one to cover it, and they only earn an accommodation fee, and do not know the true identity of the other party, a sleepless night, perhaps because there was a strange and unknown person next door, the mother-daughter duo talked until very late, when they got up the next day, they had dark circles under their eyes, however, they still made a bowl of egg noodles. When she saw Chen Zhe come out, the little girl greeted her happily, big brother quickly come to eat, my mother made egg noodles, can be fragrant, in the morning specially went to buy pork, most of this bowl is yours, the last time I spent $500, before dawn, Chen Zhe left, I did not expect that this time, I could still have breakfast, Chen Zhe, who wasn't fussy about such things, sat down and began to bury his head in the sand, soon, he ate the egg noodles in the bowl, the little girl brought another bowl for him, right after that, Chen Zhe gave the little girl some money, let him help you prepare a change of clothes, self-consciously, he went into the bathroom to take a shower, soon the little girl came back, because in the urban village, there were shops selling clothes every few shops. All of them are some cheap goods, from a few dozen dollars to 80 or 90 inch Chen Zhe had given her $400, which was quite enough, when she put the clothes outside the door, the little girl rushed up to Chen Zhe who was taking a bath inside, and said big brother, the clothes are outside, just grab them after you take a bath, they are all bought according to your previous style, there are a few sets left, I will put them in the room for you, next time you come, you can change. Directly, reach out and take the clothes, after changing, he went out again, dry your hair with the hair dryer in the bathroom, put on the ducktail hat, boldly pushed down so low it almost hit his eyes, out the door, he quickly arrived at the place where Gu Jiajia had sold breakfast yesterday, as expected, Gu Jiajia had already pulled out a cart long ago, and it was filled with all kinds of things. There was bread, soy milk, donuts, and other things, and he walked to the side of the stall with a low voice, for loaves of bread, one cup of soy milk, originally, Gu Jiajia bent down to fiddle with the various things underneath, he didn't pay attention to the situation in front of him, when she heard that voice, first, she straightened up, took out four loaves of bread and a cup of soy milk, and was about to give them to Chen Zhe. then he noticed the other party's appearance, first, his eyes widened, followed by a few moments of panic, but judging from last night's situation, Chen Zhe didn't have any malicious intentions, and she also knew from the employees group that the boss had been beaten up last night. He also stole tens of thousands of things, but the boss told them to keep it quiet because the feeling that person gave him was too vicious, if something really happened, it wouldn't be worth risking his life for those tens of thousands of dollars, seven dollars, thank you, the young girl, Gu Jiajia, boldly began to compare the Chen Zhe before her with the previous childhood appearance, the current Chen Zhe has short hair. Wearing a set of ordinary clothes, however, he gave off a feeling of sharp edges and corners, a little handsome, but not much, the bones give people the feeling of cold, as if the heart is always hiding something. Chen Zhe took out a hundred dollar bill, he handed it over, just as he was about to turn around and leave, Gu Jiajia called out to him, I'll give you the change, no, that's not necessary, what's not necessary? The thousand dollars you gave me last night is already enough for my salary, so I'll give you the extra money back, Gu Jiajia looked around for some change, as she ran over to him, she stuffed a large pile of money into his hand, $93 in change was also mixed in, Chen Zhe opened his mouth and looked at Gu Jiajia's pretty face, and his heartbeat unconsciously quickened by a few points, sorry, 
three simple words. It was as if all his strength had been used up, this was the first time in his life that he said those three words. Gu Jiejie just frowned and went back to the side of the breakfast cart, continuing to organize her things, it was only when Chen Zhe turned around that Gu Jiejie raised her head and looked at his departing back, her eyes somewhat complicated, however, she was interrupted by a harsh voice, you stinking girl, what are you looking at? Have you finished packing the things in the house? You don't even need the steamer, do you? The bread is left outside, which customer will buy it when it's cold? Immediately after that, a pair of big hands slapped Gu Jiejie's head, Gu Jiejie held her head with her hands in pain. You know, you know, I'll go in and get it, this is a man who looks to be in his forties, a scruffy man, wearing a strong smell of cigarettes and alcohol, hair like a chicken's nest, picking his ears and spitting on the floor, he went back into the room to sleep again, Gu Jiejie, on the other hand, pulled on the thin clothes, wrapped her hands around her chest and hugged her arms, shivering from the cold. They left the street entrance where breakfast was sold, Chen Zhe sent another message to Sun. Long and waited in place for about an hour, Sun Long finally arrived, he opened the car door and the breakfast was thrown out, go. Go, go where? Last night, Sun Long used various methods, he interrogated that woman, but he was never able to get the information he wanted, and the same thing made him understand, he wanted to get key information from those minions, from their mouths, it was almost an impossible thing, if you wanted to know more, you could only get a more established presence, just like the person mentioned in the cell phone. If you want to go to Nanjianku, first check out the surrounding area and the situation, Chen Zhe. Sat down and began to rest his eyes, Sun Long, who was riding next to him, understood what he meant, their two thoughts converged. If they could control this person, they had ways to make the other person talk, and so it was, the two arrived at the mouth of the South River, the surroundings looking relatively cold, there was a bridge in the distance, and after crossing it, it was the countryside, it was also because it was more remote, this place looked extremely depressed, and there were shops around, but none of them were open, the two stopped and began to check the area. Again, several men in suits were spotted, they began to stare at them from all sides, there was also one with binoculars in his hand, immediately someone left, it seemed like they had arranged for someone to be here a long time ago, Chen Zhe squinted his eyes, he had checked a few times before, he told Sun Long to drive away and waited until they were far away. The other side of the bridge, a man in a tracksuit came out with hawk-like eyes, coldly looking in the direction where Chen Zhe and Sun Long were, these two were the psychopath Brother Tang was talking about, and Sun Long. The Brother Tang they were talking about was the second in command of the Shenghui Construction Group, and nowadays, he was considered famous in all of Shanghai City, if there was a small demolition job around, the Shenghui group would be the first to find it, and they would work under Brother Tang's hand, I don't know how many storms I've been through, some people did not expect the current situation, the connector died, and yesterday morning before dawn he was wiped out, and the villa was burned down in a fire. Someone else contacted Brother Tang and said for us to meet at the mouth of the South River, and even the deception of Sun Long was Zhao's idea, Sun Long must hate us now that he knows what happened but that eagle-eyed man just said in a sinister manner, who the hell is Sun Long? How dare you help him in Shanghai City? Tonight, have some good people call me as soon as they arrive, and I will find out what this Sun Long, one of the four tigers of the north, is capable of, as for Chen Zhe, he didn't give it a second thought, just a kid from a mental hospital, he had killed a few bodyguards and wasted Miss Zhou, who was an ordinary person, in his opinion, anyone with a little bit of skill could do these things. He was also able to waste Miss Zhou's family without knowing it, without any effort. Could it be that he was invincible as well? As the saying goes, there's a man outside of man and a sky outside of sky, he didn't think that Chen Zhe could be as powerful as he was, next to him were a few men in black suits, hurriedly complimented, and said, Boss Bull, worthy of the above gold medal fighter, the last time I saw the boss, and the green snake group of people fighting, several practitioners, in the hands of the boss even ten strokes cannot pass, this time. The boss will be able to fight, so it's a sure thing, the praise of. The crowd, the man with the falcon nodded, very flattered, immediately after that, they started organizing the manpower, they surrounded the place inside and out. Hidden behind various bunkers, quietly waiting, night came, without noticing, the appointed time came, a circle of bright moonlight hung high in the night sky, a silver white glow enveloped the entire land. However, if you looked closely, you could see that the area around the mouth of the South River was filled with vaguely hidden figures, in addition to those people, in fact, on the other side of the river. There were two groups of people quietly observing the situation here, those two groups of people were none other than Master Lu, 
who had been in the alley earlier, discussing with Chen Zhe and Sun Long Miss Su, Master Lu, now that you have the most people in Shanghai City, you've already had trouble with the local forces, right? Don't you have any plans to help? Still dressed in a red evening gown, Miss Su stood next to the pavilion on the opposite bank, her enchanting figure extraordinarily eye-catching, Master Lu glanced in front of her, but shook his head, people are just casting a long line to catch a big fish, see that intersection over there, no, from that alleyway in, I'm afraid there are people waiting for a long time, according to my observation, in addition to the people here, there are still quite a few people, a few streets away from there. Intersection Ambush the second in command of the Shenghui group, using his body as bait, do you think people will be unprepared? Master Lu shrugged his shoulders, even though he had a lot of manpower here. But for now, he didn't want to go head to head with the local forces, otherwise, even if he took advantage, he would still lose a lot of money, and in the future, when it was time to really divide the pie, I am afraid that there would be no peace for him, however Kames, Su, you have a lot of people, why do you have to keep staring at my family, this ragged family? Miss Su couldn't help but giggle out loud when she heard this, if Master Lu, the inside of his house is some rags, I'm afraid that the other powers, are not even rags, but if those two people really collapse tonight, it's not good news for us, really not good news. Master Lu narrowed his eyes, nevertheless, it should not be us to make the first step, I do not think tonight is important other people do not know, on the contrary, only two of us came, and it is not to watch the fire from the other side of the river, to maintain the strength, even if I leave Shanghai City, I cannot take my own life, and they are fighting to the death, Master Lu pursed his lips and sat down, Miss Su, on the other hand, leaned against the railing of the pavilion, her eyes. Leisurely gazing at the rippling river, I just hope these two fools don't go and bite other people's hooks, similarly, Chen Zhe and Sun Long also looked at the people hiding around them. With the strength of the two of them, it was too easy to spot the hidden people, these little minions could not harm them, Besides, it was impossible for people to send out only these little minions, there were many powerful people in the entire Shanghai city, otherwise, there wouldn't be so many people coveting the prosperity of Shanghai city, brother Chen, looking at the current situation, even if we go over there, it's just going to be hard to fight, and we're not going to be able to gain anything, moreover, we won't be able to achieve our goal, so we might as well go back and forget about it, Sun Long frowned, his heart was in retreat, his idea was to capture one, a guy with a status level to interrogate and get more useful clues, but the problem was, there wasn't even any bait here, except for the ambushers, if you don't leave now, when will you wait? But at Sun Long's words, Chen Zhe just shook his head, he walked towards the east on his own, half an hour later, go to the meeting and leave the rest to me, Sun Long froze, and the man was stunned, the humans had set up an ambush, and it was clear that they wanted him dead, if he's still going to the meeting, isn't he looking for death? Brother Chen, isn't it too risky? Besides, if I go to the meeting, am I going alone? Even if I had three heads and six arms, I wouldn't be able to defeat so many people. Sun Long was about to say something else, but when he turned his head, he had already lost sight of Chen Zhe's figure, he was so angry that he punched the ground, shit, thinking that everyone is like you, godlike, if I had your skills, I wouldn't have been forced to come this far, but Chen Zhe had already left, he can't save his wife and children by himself, and if he loses Chen Zhe, he'll be in trouble later, that asshole. Is it possible that he wants me dead? But things have come to this, this guy swore that there was a way, should we believe him for once? Sun Long stood there, gritting his teeth with an extraordinarily complex expression, on the other side, Chen Zhe silently touched the opposite side of the river, not far from a small alley surrounded by many people coming and going, Chen Zhe braced himself on both sides of the wall and climbed up to an apartment building, and looking down from the other end of the apartment building, he saw a black Mercedes Benz parked at the intersection, a little brother was respectfully stooping, he didn't know what to say to the car window, nodding and groveling to the extreme, is this the bait? Chen Zhe narrowed his eyes, he had noticed it just now when he crossed the river, this alleyway was crowded with people, the other party had set up a dragnet, it was impossible for there to be no bait, for in the absence of bait, knowing that there is an ambush, and who would be stupid enough to fall for it? I just don't know, how heavy is the weight of this bait? He looked at the time again, Half an hour had already passed, Sun Long, who was on the other side of the river, gritted his teeth and said viciously after half a minute, I believe you for once, don't put me in danger, after saying that, he got up and walked out, he soon arrived at the bridge, Lao Zi Sun Long, came over to the appointment, hiding his head, what kind of thing, have the courage to come out and fight with the old man in a fair and square manner, has been across the river to watch. The eagle man, see also really someone dare to come out to the appointment. 
also looked stagnant, half a minute later shook his head, it was really big and bold, knowing that there was an ambush, he still dared to run out openly, I really don't know, the Wang family and the Zhou family, why have they come to this point today, the eagle-eyed man twisted his neck, instead, he showed no weakness, he walked towards the bridge, surrounded by a number of people in black suits, but because of the eagle-eyed man, he raised his hand and signaled, if he dares to come alone, I will dare to go to the meeting to fight him. No matter which of us wins, if one of us dies, you will come to collect the corpse, the other party dared to jump out so boldly, if he doesn't even dare to fight, he won't be worthy of the name Xinghui Group, the gold medalist, for mixing in the streets, but also for joking after supper, he cannot afford to lose this face, the pavilion side, seeing all this, Master Lu, Miss Su, were full of bitterness and shook their heads. Even though only one of them had come, it was estimated that they wouldn't be able to return, if it was Sun Long and that kid who were teaming up and hiding in the shadows all the time, the Zhou and Wang families, there was really no way to catch them, even those behind them would have been burned to death in favor of the two brainless guys. At that moment, they suddenly felt a little grateful, if they did not expose themselves, they would simply be devastated once they faced a fierce battle with the local forces, Sun Long was hopeless, and at this point, all that was left was the boy who had come out of the mental hospital, and he probably wouldn't be able to make any waves, Miss Su, you urged me to step in and help, and now you see that it's not that I'm unwilling, but that these two aren't worth it, originally, Miss Su was quite optimistic about the two of them, because with them around, they can keep the local forces in check, because of those two, they are still getting some backlash from the local forces. But that kind of backlash has been much less, and they had divided a lot of their manpower to look for news about Chen Zhe and Sun Long, for example, right now, the Shenghui Construction Group had mobilized almost a third of their personnel, because of this, they were able to take the time to come over and watch this good show, I never thought, good show is to see, but just a joke, even they cannot help but shake their heads and laugh bitterly. I thought too much, still hope that these two People, can restrain the local forces, now it seems that it is difficult to set off any wind and waves. Even the alley side, was sitting in the car, there is a mole on the face of the man, got the news, even some speechless, originally set up a bait, intending to use myself to lure them out, I did not expect Sun Long so no brain, but think about it, if Sun Long has a brain, if his wife and children, and how will be taken away for no reason. It was a waste of time for me to come here for nothing, the people around us have disappeared, they went over to the bridge and surrounded Sun Long tightly, Sun Long stood alone on the bridge with a loud voice, he pulled off the lab coat he was wearing and tore it off violently, he revealed a slender and sturdy body, twisting his fists. The appearance was extremely fierce, the corner of the mouth of the eagle-eyed man who came over from afar lifted, and he threw a short knife tied to his waist to the ground, one of the four tigers of the north, Sun Long, who claimed to be unparalleled in boxing and hard to beat, was unexpectedly a brainless dummy, but since you're here, I won't let you down, before I beat you to death, the people around you will never come a step closer. It's up to you to see if you have the ability to pull. Me as your back, when he saw the imposing man in front of him, Sun Long took a deep breath and slowly opened his mouth, his muscles bulging, his bones crackling, with his legs padded backwards, as if he was a human-sized cannonball, he charged forward, the outstretched fist was so powerful that it flew away with a sound of breaking air. The eagle-eyed man's body tilted slightly, and after dodging the punch, he also began to counterattack desperately, the speed of the battle between the two men was very fast, and their fists were so powerful that an ordinary person who was the recipient of such a blow would have a violent death on the spot, but the two people, in the process of fighting, hard to catch each other several blows, but still do not change color, constantly staggered, and even sometimes fists will be bombed together. Even if they have already beaten hands numb, the two have no intention of retreating, Chen Zhe glanced at the bridge where Sun Long was standing and immediately understood that Sun Long's hands were indeed excellent, but when he faced the eagle-eyed man, he was even worse, according to this situation, I'm afraid that in less than 20 minutes, he will have to fall to the ground due to exhaustion. Eagle Eyes is not a good opponent, after winning the battle, he will naturally not let go of Sun Long, however, it bought Chen Zhe some time, the surrounding people have retreated, there is no ambush on either side, only the black Mercedes Benz is left, it seems like there should be no problem, when he saw Sun Long, who was still stalling for him, being beaten back, Chen Zhe's hand stretched out, then turned around and jumped, immediately after, he stepped on the black Mercedes with a loud bang, still in the car, the man with the birthmark on his face was watching the live broadcast of the bridge scene on his mobile phone, 
He felt a shaking of the body, accompanied by the muffled sound of a heavy object hitting the ground, and a large chunk of the roof was dented, immediately after that, someone flipped down, a fist that broke the glass, the fist slammed into his face with terrifying force, a blow that tilted his head to the left, it shattered the glass on the left side again, and in an instant his head was broken. His face changed and changed as he knew that he had been hit, on the surface, Sun Long was on his way to a meeting, but in reality, Sun Long was just the one who drew fire, on the other hand, the kid who came out of the mental hospital had found this sedan he was in. He even wanted to open the car door and run across the alley, but from the moment Chen Zhe struck just now, he knew, with the other party's skill, it was absolutely impossible for him to escape through that alley, coupled with the fact that his brain had been scrambled by that punch, he didn't want to think about it right now, driver, sir, get in, you stop him first, I'll call the people on the other side of the bridge. As long as people come, we can still live, the driver did not hesitate. Either, pulling out a steel pipe from the passenger side opening the car door, and getting out, he just saw Chen Zhe not far away, slowly pulling out a silver-white scalpel from his pocket. The driver in the distance shook, and did not hesitate to stab the man with a mole on his face, accompanied by screams, the man's shoulder was cut out of a long blood scar, the smell of blood permeated the car, so that Chen Zhe's look more and more maniacal, the man with the birthmark on his face also opened the car at that moment and covered his injured hand, he rushed out and ran to the other side of the alley without looking back. The driver with the hose in front of him glanced at Chen Zhe and swallowed his saliva violently, he, who had wanted to stop Chen Zhe, only felt like he was being stared at by a flood beast, his body could not stop shaking. The courage he had just mustered disappeared at this moment as well, his legs went limp and he fell to his knees, me, I'm just a driver, if I didn't agree just now, I wouldn't be able to go back and live, I'm not going to stop begging you to let me go, after saying that, he cowed out three times, he just put his head on the ground, as long as Chen Zhe made a move, he could take his life at any time, but Chen Zhe was just indifferent, walking past the driver, neither too fast nor too slow, but, the man with the mole on his face followed him, until the moment the other party ran out of the alley and let out a scream, Chen Zhe turned around, held the silver-white scalpel, and stabbed the man with the mole on his face ruthlessly. One inch two, three, four, the man kept struggling, but he lost too much blood, his voice gradually became weak, and he fell to the ground with a bang, blood stained, Chen Zhe was all over the place, he stood on the other side of the river, his gaze cold and brutal, sweeping over the people around him, he picked up the man on the ground, who was bleeding profusely, and lifted him up single-handedly, at that moment. The battle on the bridge was also coming to an end, only Sun Long, who was on the bridge, was beaten beyond recognition, although the eagle-eyed man was also bruised, he was much better than Sun Long, until they heard the screams of their Xinghui group, the second in command. Only then did the crowd turn around in shock to see that the man with the mole on his face had already been lifted up by Chen Zhe, with the silver-white scalpel resting on the man's neck, Sun Long, who was paralyzed from the beating and couldn't stop vomiting blood, opened his mouth. Only then did he realize that this boy had originally intended to attract the firepower of the others while he went to the back to find the helmsman behind the scenes, now that the person at the helm has been captured, the people present would never dare to make another move unless they disregarded each other's deaths, as you know, that kid came out of the mental hospital, and at that time, your liaison named Lu, before he had time to interrogate the information, he was wiped out by that kid's neck, and I'm still a little sorry. Just don't know, that person who was arrested, have so much luck, can survive, Sun Long also stopped pretending, directly lying in a big word, teeth in the mouth, cannot stop overflowing blood, coughing a few more times, his mood relaxed a lot, the eagle-eyed man's face was dark and terrible, the horizontal flesh could not stop twitching, clenched his teeth and looked at the location of his boss, then he said in a loud voice, release our boss, today's matter, a write-off, I put Sun Long, give. You back, unfortunately, Chen Zhe did not answer. He simply placed the man with a mole on his face in front of him, pushed down on the lapis lazuli handrail, and raised the silver-white scalpel, stabbing down without hesitation, there was only a puff, and the entire left arm was pierced, the man with the mole on his face let out a pitiful scream, it was like killing a pig, the corner of the hawk-eyed man's mouth twitched as he clearly understood what Sun Long's words meant. Negotiating with a mental illness was simply crazy, I can let Sun. Long go, but if anything happens to my boss, not to mention the two of you, even your family members will be implicated, don't think that Sun Long's few henchmen will be able to protect their safety, that's because we haven't pulled out of the other thing, otherwise it's not your turn to be arrogant in Shanghai City. 
The eagle-eyed man pulled Sun Long up on the ground and then pushed him, signaling him to hurry up and roll over, then he just stood on the bridge and watched as Sun Long met up with Chen Zhe, grabbed their boss, and left, unable to help himself, his face gradually turned grim, he violently kicked the bridge fence next to him and let out a hysterical roar, sooner or later, I will break you into pieces, but it had come to this. The second in command had been captured, if the big boss found out. When they returned, he would have to eat them alive, even Master Lu and Miss Su, who were watching from a distance in the pavilion, couldn't help but see their eyes light up. They actually captured the Tang family's kid, this is a big fish, if they can get the Tang family involved, I'm afraid it won't be long before the group behind them makes their move, after all, the current Shanghai city was still controlled by those five people behind the scenes, the last time they came to Shanghai city, they were kicked out by those five people, now that they're coming back. They don't know whether the means of those five people are stronger or weaker, but according to the information they investigated, those five people should already be strong in the middle and outside, once it was tried, the other party's situation was tested, it wasn't enough to resist the outside forces, then the entire Shanghai city to face, the building is about to fall, it looks like the storm is coming, these two guys, really piercing the sky, impressive, perhaps it may be appropriate to help a little, with their hands. Perhaps in the future can also be recruited, for their own use, a few moments of frustration. Appeared on Master Lu's old face, after today, I'm afraid there will be quite a few outside forces. All of them would go and contact these two people and even offer a little help, without offending the Tang family and those five people, they would definitely help where they could, and as for Chen Zhe's parents, they would help them as outsiders, for the time being, there would be no danger, otherwise, why was the hospital so quiet since the last time they were attacked by Sun Long? It's just that the people in the hospital have been replaced by theirs, there are a lot of outsiders around, whether it's the Tang family, the Wang family, or the Zhou family, they don't dare to interfere here, but lately, we still have to focus on the situation at the hospital, and we can't rule out the possibility that the Tang family and those five people will take desperate measures. Next to Miss Su, who was now also smiling like a flower, her watery eyes narrowed into a crescent moon, not to mention how charming, although Chen Zhe's parents and even his sister died once, it was the same as forcing that brat who came out of the mental hospital to the brink of extinction, likewise, without the bondage, the devil in that child's heart would also be completely released. The people behind him must have understood this as well, it will not be easy to strike, but not afraid of. 10,000 inch afraid of what might happen. Through this child's parents, sister, I heard that the next medical expenses, surgical expenses, add up to less than a million or so, ms, Sue may be able to go to that child, that one million, as a personal favor, Master Lu glanced over to the enchanting woman wearing a Chongsam, but she just shook her head. I'm afraid it's not my turn, when the time comes, of course, someone will hit the hospital card. Even if I really go, too many people, the effect will not be obvious, that's right, with. Miss Sue's status, taking a million dollars to go to that kid is really out of character, without saying anything else, Master Lu turned around and led his people out, he also had to go and arrange something urgently, the Tang family has been arrested. It was impossible for the Tang family to stand idly by, and the big boss behind the Shenghui group was bound to be furious about this, as long as the other party messed up and revealed their cloven foot, they would be like a gangrene, toppling the entire Shenghui group and destroying it completely, Shenghui Construction Group, Headquarters Building, the President's office was extremely luxurious, with animal skins on the floor, famous paintings on the walls, and gold and silver decorations. Everywhere, in the back, an old man sat with a cigar between his fingers, nearly 60 years old when the old man saw the message on his cell phone, clip in the fingers of the cigar, even cannot stop a shake, fell on the side of the expensive carpet, but the carpet burned a big hole, but he didn't notice at all, instead he slapped the table and stood up, little Tang was arrested. How did those assholes do their job? As the head of the Tang family, he actually stooped to be the bait, he was just crazy, doesn't he realize how sensitive his identity is? Those outsiders are now looking at this idiot, the old man in his sixties in front of him, his face gradually turning red as he smashed everything around him, accompanied by clattering sounds, as well as the old man's roar, the door opened quickly, the one who walked in was a twenty-four or twenty-five-year-old woman, she saw the scene in front of her, there was also the old man who was clenching his teeth and gasping for breath, and he also asked with a face full of shock, Chairman, what is wrong with you? Did it happen, what's the big deal? The old man grunted coldly, looked at the cigar that was still burning beside him, and kicked it with his foot, it's not because of little Tang, oh no, it's because of what those little princes did a while ago, 
the secretary was confused, one moment it was about Mr. Tang, the other moment it was about the little princes, what was going on. And what the little princes did before, the other party's family is just an ordinary employee, with their ability to penetrate heaven and earth in Shanghai City, it should have been solved long ago. It's not right, chairman, is it a mistake? A mistake. Those little bastards wasted her sister, but they have a son who's out of the mental hospital, I don't know where he learned his skills, even Sun Long, one of the four tigers of the north, was defeated by him, first he killed the Zhou family's daughter, and then he cut off half of the Wang family's child's scalp, that's a big deal, now, even Xiao Tang had been stabbed several times and captured by others, and his whereabouts were unknown. Hearing Chen Zhe's various deeds, the secretary in. The distance sucked in a mouthful of cool air and felt that it was a bit of a mirage, a kid from a mental hospital, how could he cause such a big storm? Doesn't this kid have a family anymore? Chairman, how about the secretary's words? But the old man in front of him grunted coldly once again, do you think they haven't arranged for someone to go? The previous Sun Long, wasn't it Xiao Tang who arranged it? After Sun Long, there are many good hands in the Jianghu, but what happened? So far, their whereabouts are still unknown, it is estimated that they have long sunk in the river, since a month ago, outsiders, come back, the whole city of Shanghai has not been calm, now, with this additional uncertainty, the Wang and Zhou families, both dogs, are terrified. If we let that kid run amok again, today he dares to grab Xiao Tang, tomorrow he dares to make a move against me, the day after tomorrow he will have to run to the Tang family to kill someone. The more the secretary listened, the more alarmed he became, he vaguely felt that things were getting out of control, on the hospital side, outsiders are interfering, the good jungle fighters that were sent have finally collapsed, now even the Tang family is involved, the outsiders won't let this opportunity pass, the hospital will be surrounded, it will be difficult for them to make a move, as for the mentally ill child. He's a ghost, who knows what he'll do. Besides, if you talk to a psychopath, will he listen? The more I think about it, the more terrified I feel in my heart, the old man in his sixties glanced at the secretary and of course knew that she was afraid, immediately consoled, do not worry, although there are many outsiders, recently also made a lot of noise, but after all, this is our territory, come here, lately, a bit on fire, give me a fire to drain, the old man closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, but he had looked out of the window, it was the brightly lit city of Shanghai, it was also one of the wealthiest cities in the country, where an unknown number of dead bones were buried, it was the fat flesh that countless people coveted in their eyes. As long as there is a chance, these people can't wait for everyone to come up and take a bite, recently, on the side of the southern school, there is also something wrong, it seems that there is a need to go to the mountain, when thirty seconds passed, the secretary opened the door to leave, with only a ball of paper in his hand, he covered his mouth and went into the toilet, the whole of Shanghai city. The arrest of the head of the Tang family had sent everything into a tailspin, countless. Figures in black suits could be seen everywhere, all kinds of streets, hidden places, carpet searches were conducted, sweeping through this already not so quiet city like a violent wind and rain, there were even numerous outside locations, were taken out in one fell swoop, even the hospitals, the injured that night, are in a sharp increase, in the east district, south district, two directions, five hospitals, all in a full state, some were injured in the arm, some were knocked out on the spot, and there were even a few sinewy men sitting in the corridor, covering their hands with something, their faces were extremely gloomy, the Tang family had struck tonight, the two footholds we had just established were swept away by the Tang family men, and a total of 35 people were injured, with 21. Losing their fighting ability, the man with a full body of tendon meat and a bearded face is called Chen Xiao, also one of the four tigers of the north, on par with Sun Long, his leg skills were extremely famous throughout the north, even when Sun Long was facing him, he didn't dare to say that he was 100% sure of winning. But tonight, he had met a tricky opponent, after exchanging more than 20 rounds, he was knocked down by the other party with a sweeping kick, if it weren't for a few of his men who fought to the death to stop the man and take him away, I'm afraid it's a question of whether he'll be able to survive or not, in addition to Chen Xiao, there were a number of people from other powers who were also here, two of them, a man and a woman, came next to Chen Xiao, as we've already found out, they were. The person in charge of the Tang family who was captured by Sun Long, and a kid who came out of a mental hospital around 11 o'clock, so far, the whereabouts of the two are unknown, but the body was stabbed by a dozen knives, if it wasn't treated in time, I'm afraid that people would be dead now. These two men and a woman, not Chen Xiao that faction of people, 
but now, the Tang family began an indiscriminate search, whether it is the previous faction, or the later in the Mountain Sea City faction, all in, they fight within the ranks, as a result, the entire Shanghai city, all the foreign forces, have suffered an unprecedented blow, Chen Xiao opened, Master Lu, and Mrs. Su sighed how to say. The southern district is Master Lu's and Miss Su's responsibility, out of such a big thing, is not they will not be in charge of it. The two men and a woman who came over said with a cold face, how can they do it? Just half an hour ago, Master Lu's newly built shopping mall was burned down by a fire, and a lot of people have gathered at the second hospital, I'm afraid there's still a scuffle there. Speaking of the second hospital, Chen Xiao also froze for a moment, if he remembered correctly, the mentally ill child, his parents, and his sister were all in the second hospital, and once the second hospital was lost, the people in the hospital were afraid that they'd be hit hard like never before, why not let these people to occupy the hospital, and now for a psychiatric family members, make the city storm. Not easy to pour blood money, the establishment of the bar is so ruined a waste of. More than 10 million, and inside the hospital, these two old things, as well as his sister died, the psychiatric hospital out of this child, will be even more unscrupulous, sure enough, the two men and a woman who came over, the girl among them said. The four tigers of the north, all of them are things with muscles in their heads, and now, although the local forces with Shanghai City, have already fought each other, but only on the surface of some small fish and shrimp, the people in the dark have not yet done it, if you really let that kid do something crazy, it's not as easy as it is today. What's more, the second hospital is surrounded by all of our outsiders. I'm afraid that the other side has already tied the child to us, and once. The child loses his restraints, he'll be the tiger that comes down from the mountain, as you can see, both the Zhou and Wang families have sent a lot of men, but they can't even find the kid. Now the Tang family has also made a move, it's not comparable to the Zhou and Wang families, but what's the result? So far, not a single hair has been found, from this, it can be seen that the child's hiding, attacking, and killing aspects are in no way comparable to an ordinary person, his parents can still control him, but if his parents are dead, he's a devil from hell, and you can't be sure what he'll do. I'm afraid that even the Tang family wouldn't dare to guarantee that they could live peacefully in the future, even the two men next to them felt the same way. Not to mention the Wang and Zhou families, they had sent quite a few men during this time, but that child was so godlike that he was able to dodge all the cameras every time, as if he was born to sense them, among other things, even when this child entered the hospital in public, that was also silent, by the time they knew about it, the person was already gone, such a person is like a ghost, he also suffers from mental illness, unable to control his emotions, once things get out of hand, it won't be as easy as getting hurt now, there's no telling how many people will die, if it's as threatening as you say, why would the Tang family still send people to attack the hospital? The girl rolled her eyes, do you think it's possible that they just felt that there were too many outsiders, so they wanted to clean up a bit? Before they caught that kid, the Tang family did not dare to push too hard otherwise the dog would jump over the wall, and the Tang family would not be able to withstand that, Chen Xiao frowned, this child's case has been over for so long, I still don't know who actually hurt his sister but the two men and one woman just narrowed their eyes and shook their heads, some things, the other side hides too tightly, do not have to think, certainly involved in the five people above, specifically. Involved in who, we are not too clear, seeing things, has come to a standstill here, Chen Xiao also has no way, just invested more than 10 million, now blown away. Let him feel incomparable heartache, this is almost all of his belongings, this time is subject to the compulsion of those above, he's come all this way, but he hasn't gained any benefits, and he's brought himself to the brink of extinction, the forces of the outsiders have been swept away, and a large number of small forces are already desperate, Chen Xiao, whatever happens, you are one of the four northern tigers, how about we join hands? At least in this storm, survive, share a cup of soup, otherwise so big investment and hit the water, can you swallow this breath? Said the purpose of this trip, two men and a woman, Chen Xiao frowned, took a deep breath, knowing that relying on himself, certainly cannot carry the next Tang family action, then he nodded with a somber face, since you're all interested, I can't refuse, in this coming half month, perhaps only by joining forces will we have a chance to survive, the Tang family joined in, even Master Lu, the newly opened shopping mall in the southern district, was burned down in a fire, as a matter of fact. No doubt, this matter would slap Master Lu in the face and force the outsiders to give in, but on the contrary, on the top floor of a tall building. 
In the middle of the luxurious presidential suite, Master Lu was sitting in the hall with some of the younger generation of the northern families, talking to each other, this time, even though the mall had been burned down, the arrest of the head of the Tang family had definitely dealt a blow to the prestige of the Tang family, if the Tang family couldn't find the murderer. Even if this time it was an unprecedented blow to the Tang family, even the Shenghui Construction Group has become a target for everyone, this was one of the sharpest henchmen of the Tang family, the two dogs, the Wang family and the Zhou family, were nothing compared to the Shenghui Construction Group, if we can defeat the Shenghui Construction Group, what's the loss? The Tang family has already made their move, Miss Su and I met an hour ago, you should all be aware that the reason the Tang family went crazy this time is because their person in charge of Shenghui Construction Group was shot with about a dozen knives, and his whereabouts are still unknown, Master Lu looked at these juniors with a smile on his face, the mall was burned down, not angry at all, but full of joy. As if a good thing was about to come to the door, those five juniors who came over were all from different regions, the most powerful faction at present, even though they only sent their juniors, it is enough to show their sincerity. I think your elders also see the Tang family in the dry outside strong, now even a mental hospital out of the boy, and Sun Long cannot catch such a Tang family, if you cannot give an explanation, I am afraid that the following forces began to centrifugal separation. Once the two sides become suspicious, it's time for us to attack the Tang family properties. Once upon a time in Shanghai City, the local forces were all twisted into a rope and were incredibly xenophobic, they want to come. In, get a piece of the pie, get a piece of the meat, like a fool's dream, in fact, this time, they originally had no hope, who knew that Chen Ze had appeared as a variable, with just one person, the entire Shanghai city was put in the spotlight. At first, it was the Wang and Zhou families, so they didn't really care, but now the Tang family was also involved, then there was the boss of the Shenghui construction group who was taken away, which no doubt told others, the Tang family was failing, they might not be able to take it anymore, if they wanted to survive this vortex unscathed, they would have to find a new power to rely on after the Tang family fell, as long as they're in disarray, the rest will be easy, Master Lu, my father told me when he came, everything is at Master Lu's disposal, I brought more than 20 people, all of them are the best in the family, the fighting power is not to be underestimated, everything is at Master Lu's disposal. And the Miao family, as long as you ask, we are willing to help, we're not vegetarians, the Tang family has gone too far this time, and the people under the Lu family have many grievances and heavy losses, seeing the crowd's positive attitude, Master Lu couldn't help but laugh, Good, very good, Tang Tiansheng is already old, the Tang family has been entrenched in Shanghai city for many years. It is also time for them to give way to us, meanwhile, on the outskirts of Shanghai city, a small road, a black Mercedes Benz was sprinting at breakneck speed, the roof of the car was dented, the rear window was also shattered. The wind was whistling and there were many obstacles around, but the person driving the car pretended he didn't see it, every time he was just right and avoided these things, sitting on the co-pilot seat, Sun Long also clearly asked the name of the person behind him on the way here, when he heard the name Tang Hao, Sun Long's heart trembled, he had thought that he could catch a big fish, however, he hadn't thought that the fish would be this big, Tang Hao, the explicit head of the Tang family, 31 years old, the dog-headed military advisor behind the scenes of the Shenghui Construction Group, had many times made the Shenghui Construction Group turn a crisis into security without the help of the Tang family. What is more, without using the power of the Tang family, he had set up countless territories for the Shenghui Construction Group, which once flourished in Shanghai City, more importantly, Tang Hao's wife is also the Tang family in the Beijing faction, an important hub if Tang Hao has an accident, if something happens to Tang Hao, whether it is Shenghui Construction Group, the Tang family, or even the following forces, I am afraid that they will all fall into a frenzy, the consequences will be too great, he looked at Tang Hao, whose body was still bleeding, dying and pale, as if he was about to collapse, the corners of Sun Long's mouth also twitched. Elder brother Chen, should we stop the car first, if this person dies, the consequences are unimaginable, however, Chen Zhe just glanced back and said in a sullen tone, he can't die for now, every time I stab him, I avoid the vital organs, at least for 10 minutes, I can still hold my breath, hearing his words, Sun Long but opened his mouth, now is not able to die the same also hangs a breath. But after arriving at the destination, without enough medical equipment, was it really possible to bring this person back? Originally, he wanted to capture a being whose status and position were quite good. 
The problem was when he realized that this person was Tang Hao, Sun Long had some regrets, the others were fine, but Tang Hao affected the interests of the entire Tang family and also touched a tight string in Shanghai City, he was careless and played with fire, even if he could save his wife and children, I'm afraid it would be a problem if he could leave Shanghai City alive, so deep down, he didn't want Tang Hao to die here, brothers. This person's identity was too heavy, and it was easy to push people to the point where they couldn't breathe, so if they didn't deal with it in time and died, the day would really collapse. Chen Ze still didn't stop the car, he had raised all his skills to full level when he was in the mental hospital, just by looking at it, he had a general understanding of the person's injuries in his mind, with his ability, even without any vital equipment, he could still pull that person out of the spirit, besides, he had bought a lot of medical supplies at the abandoned factory the last time. So he didn't take it seriously, however, Sun Long next to him was not clear about it, looking at the face in front of him with a cold gaze and almost no emotion, the corner of his mouth twitching violently. It was as if he was talking to a psychopath, talking about axioms, talking to a bull, I am afraid that in Chen Zhe's heart today, he is not even aware of how big things are, subconsciously, Sun Long took out his cell phone as an outsider, more or less, he had his own channels to get information, after arresting Tang Hao, he could probably expect the Tang family to be shaken. But when he took out the phone and saw the numerous messages on it, he couldn't help but feel his scalp tingle and his goosebumps rise, chaos, chaos, the entire Shanghai city was in total chaos, inside the cell phone, countless messages, all of them were asking him whether Tang Hao was dead or alive. Only a small portion of them were telling him that today, the outside forces were being wiped out indiscriminately, and nearly 60% of the forces had been damaged, such a large-scale action, even to the point of pushing the outside forces to the brink of extinction, from here, we can see how crazy the current Tang clan is, brother Chen, things may have pierced the sky, Sun Long's voice trembled, Chen Ze, who was driving the car, still had a cold look on his face, no half emotional fluctuations on his face, as if he was listening to some trivial matter, heaven. What was heaven? If those people who hurt his sister, are the heavens of Shanghai city, then even if it is pierced, so what? They could bully his sister, then he also had his own way of making the high and mighty bow down and listen to the grief in silence, if they had to say who caused the disaster, then Chen Ze could tell them responsibly, his own sister was the disaster, and his own family was their nightmare, even Tang Hao in the back woke up slowly, with many wounds on his body, still slowly, with blood flowing out. He felt that his body was incomparably weak, and the pain from the channel wounds made him suck in a breath of cold air even when he moved his fingers gently, it was as if the wounds could be pulled, and a fine cold sweat broke out on his forehead, he glanced at the driver, his pupils slightly constricted, remembering the scene where he was pushed onto the green stone fence by the river. When he thought of that boy's almost crazy swinging of the knife, he shivered and had a depressing feeling. That his heart was suffocated and he had nowhere to talk about it, because according to the situation at that time, this kid really wanted to take his life, of course, he didn't know that, Chen Zhe had already decided where to strike the knife, after all, so fast out of the knife speed, who can distinguish, this mental illness, in the end want to do what? Let go, let me go, I can make the Tang family stop, as long as you let me go, the Wang family, the Zhou family, those two boys, I can let them go to pay for your sister's life, but if I really die, not only you, but also your sister and your family will have to be buried with me, Tang Hao didn't know if the other party could hear him, after all, it was probably too small to expect a psychopath to possess rationality. He only knew, the only reason he was still bound by this mental illness. Today was because his parents and sister were still alive, as long as they didn't catch this guy for one day, they wouldn't dare to push the other party too far. Especially after seeing Chen Zhe's methods today, even Tang Hao couldn't help but feel cold, other people were even worse, with their means, coercion, and lures, there were a hundred ways to make these people give in and commit crimes, just like the co-pilot Sun Long, who could make the other party desperate with just one word but he is biased, Chen Ze is not a normal person, this is downright crazy, what things are possible to do out. No one dares to bet, bet this guy has no sense, originally. When Tang Hao said these words, he wanted to test Chen Ze and also let the other party know his identity. But Sun Long, who was standing next to him, knew it was bad when he heard Tang Hao mention Chen Ze's sister and family, accompanied by the sound of eager breaks, a silver-white scalpel silently came out, Sun Long was so scared that his face turned white, and he couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva before quickly lunging forward, he blocked Tang Hao's face, followed by a puff, Sun Long's back was immediately severed, if it wasn't for Sun Long's quick reaction, Tang Hao's throat would 
have been cut off by now, Tang Hao also didn't expect the other party to strike without warning, and before he could react, the silver white scalpel had already swung in. Of course, he was a madman, he had said so himself, but he froze and didn't listen, he only heard, he was threatening his parents and sister, Brother Chen, cold, calm down, he cannot die yet, you still have to ask for more useful information, and the five people who hurt your sister, they haven't been found yet, have they? Sun Long endured the pain and continued to admonish Chen Ze, hoping that the other party would come to his senses, otherwise, once Tang Hao died, things would truly be irreparable. Tang Hao himself was scared to death, forgetting the pain in his body, he grabbed Sun Long in a death grip, you should know the consequences, control this madman otherwise, if I die, you and your wife and children won't be able to leave Shanghai City, Sun Long also hated this person in front of him, but he knew that this person could not die, at least not now, he cautiously climbed out of Tang Hao's body. He held the silver white scalpel in his hand, he also held Chen Zhe's hand and pressed. Down a bit, it's not easy for us to capture and bring back such a person, and if he dies, how will we get more information? Brother Chen, be reasonable, be reasonable, don't be impulsive, together with Sun Long's admonishing voice and the slightly harsher hand, Chen Zhe finally gave Tang Hao a cold look and managed to pin the scalpel to his waist, both Sun Long and Tang Hao were relieved at that moment, and Tang Hao didn't dare to say anything more, he was afraid that if he said a wrong word, he would anger this madman again, now, he somehow understood that arguing with a madman could get him killed at any time. Normally, when he was in the Shenghui construction group, he was strategizing, and as long as he was willing, the life and death of countless people was in the palm of his hand. He had taken human nature to the extreme, he controlled the life and death of countless people, with the power of a single person, he could make Shenghui construction group a famous entity in Shanghai city, it was because of his control over human nature and his own strategic mind, but now, this is such a Shenghui construction group within the top think tank, but now has a kind of deep sense of powerlessness. Once proud of everything, in front of this madman, became useless, even if he dares to say one more sentence, next to Sun Long, can stop the other party is a problem. Any other person, even the leader of the outsiders, I have a hundred ways to deal with it, but why, for the sake of a madman, Tang Hao gritted his teeth and felt his head spin, the once unrivaled scenery, the one who thought he could face anyone with ease, even now, his mind was simply blank, it was as if the computer had crashed, Sun Long, the co-pilot, smiled bitterly, I advise you to say less. The last time the surname Lu got his throat slit just because of one word, your words, your methods, may be useful to me, but for brother Chen's sake, I advise you to take it easy. The car quickly drove to the abandoned factory, Chen Zhe took something out again and bandaged Tang Hao's wound, he even sewed the wound without any anesthetic even though Tang Hao was still struggling and screaming in the middle, even though Tang Hao kept struggling and screaming in the middle of the process, Chen Zhe's suturing technique was still fast and steady, Sun Long, who was standing next to him, saw the corners of his mouth twitch. After everything was done, Tang Hao had already fainted from the pain, Sun Yaodong, the driver, the investigator, and the mistress, including Sun Long, all unconsciously swallowed their saliva, his life was saved, but the pain he endured in the middle of the trial made his scalp numb just thinking about it. And during the whole process, Chen Zhe seemed to intentionally or unintentionally slow down the speed of the needle, he really enjoyed this bloody process, they could tell that at times, Chen Zhe would also deliberately turn the wound around, looking at the blood flowing out from the inside, the excitement in his eyes was vague. Sun Long was even afraid that while he was sewing up the wound, Chen Zhe would suddenly go to his head and kill him. Good thing, during this process, although Chen Zhe was enjoying himself, especially when he saw Tang Hao, he let out a miserable scream, even more excited, he licked his lips. It was as if the devil was crawling out of hell, but in the end, after all the torture, Tang Hao saved his life, now, it is not too early, this factory is quite far from the city, but in the end, it is not too safe, we stayed here too long and left a lot of traces, looking at the blood in his hand, Chen Zhe took a deep breath of the bloody taste that filled the air, revealing his white teeth and said, it's time to move. For Chen Zhe's proposal, Sun Long, of course, had no opinion, and quickly tied the person up and forced him into the car, they followed the deserted road in front of them and continued driving even after they were gone, less than an hour later, it was the middle of the dark night. Many lights were on, surrounding the entire dilapidated factory site, more and more people gathered here, a figure wearing a black suit broke into the dilapidated factory, but after searching again and again, they never found anyone, it wasn't until an old man in his sixties with a cigar in his mouth walked in under the respectful gaze of the crowd that someone began to report forward, Chairman, 
There is a lot of blood near the innermost pillar, there are also broken ropes and a chain used to tie up a dog, it looks like the person should have left, hearing that the person has left, the old man with a cigar in his mouth, his teeth clenched, his eyes a little red from staying up all night. Even more, a flash of fierceness flashed through them, the Tang family side has ordered that if they can't find the person who captured Tang Hao, they will take our lives to fill it, no matter where they ran off to, if you can't find them, don't blame me for being ruthless. Now he was being pushed as well, as the first hand of Shanghui Construction Group, he was the first to know that Tang Hao had been taken away, at that time, he had already imagined that the Tang family would be furious about it, but he had never imagined that things had come to this, not only had the outsiders suffered, but they were also constantly pressuring him, and if they couldn't find Chen Zhe and save Tang Hao, I was afraid that the Tang family would really sacrifice him to heaven. In the past half month, the incomparably strong outsiders have all begun to succumb to the Tang family's pressure, you should be able to imagine what will happen when the Tang family's wrath descends, in the past, it would have been fine, but this time, there will be no room for error, the old man's voice was sharp and vicious, and the crowd present also felt a chill, the energy of the Tang family in Shanghai City, how terrifying it was, was obvious, they all had interests in the Shenghui. Construction group, if they couldn't play their due role at this time, if they couldn't show their due role at this time, then the things they had committed were enough to send them all in. If they want to rely on Shenghui Construction Group as a giant to live a life of intoxication, it is undoubtedly a fool's dream, don't worry, chairman, we will do our best to bring Mr. Tang back, after saying that, the people left one by one, only the old man remained, gritting his teeth, as he looked at the black clouds and the bright moonlight outside, he took a deep breath, I hope they do not impulse is good. Involved is really too big, now the Tang family, I am afraid that has already happened, fish death net broken intention, because do not get an explanation, the following these people, I am afraid that it will be really chaotic. Being in the center of the storm, He Wu Jingyang, is also quite helpless, just think of solving this matter quickly, at least save Tang Hao, only in this way can the wind and waves of Shanghai city be calmed, drive all the way, without realizing it, they arrived at a village that had been abandoned for an unknown number of years, many of the surrounding houses were made of yellow mud bricks, the roofs were covered with tiles, because the age was too long, there were quite a few houses that had largely collapsed, the remaining parts were not enough to shelter from the wind and rain, the good thing was, behind this abandoned village were several large mountains, and on the tops of the mountains were a few red brick houses left behind by the foresters. This gave them natural shelter, and so it was, under Chen Zhe's coercion, they all came to the mountain, to the hidden red brick house, the water pipes here could still release water, it's just that the appliances are no longer electrified, the door was still in good shape, and if there was something on it, it could still be used to keep the wind out. But there are a lot of signs around the place saying watch out for brown bears and beasts and stuff like that, it didn't look too safe, Chen Zhe. Exhaled slowly, looking at the still unconscious Tang Hao, he tied up the driver, the investigator, Sun Yao Yang, and the mistress again. He confidently walked down the hill, there's still a lot, medical bandages, supplies in the car, must be brought up, otherwise it's too wasteful, but when he came to, the roof of the car dented the next Mercedes, but he heard a thud from the trunk, immediately after that, the trunk door opened by itself, Chen Zhe took the silver white scalpel and walked next to the trunk. He saw a 24 or 25 year old woman tied up inside, with a piece of cloth stuffed in her mouth, trying to speak, but only making whimpering, choking sounds, the woman was extremely beautiful, 24 or 25 years old, but with a mature sensuality, her figure was concave and convex, a pair of slender jade legs were bent together due to the limited space. Under the soft, watery, beautiful eyes, with a few moments of clarity, she saw someone beside her, holding a silver white scalpel, the woman showed a flash of panic, and as she struggled, there was a tearing sound, and the extremely tight white shirt behind her split open, Chen Zhe reached out and pulled the cloth out of the woman's mouth, and the woman finally opened her mouth, don't, don't kill me, I won't spill the beans, just let me go home, I can give you money, lots of money, the woman, didn't look like a person who lacked money, there was a jewel necklace around her neck, it was worth a lot of money, the watch on her wrist also looked extremely exquisite, covered with dense crushed diamonds, just that piece of pink lady's watch, I'm afraid it would be worth a hundred thousand or more. Chen Zhe stepped forward and untied the woman's rope, the woman quickly climbed out of the trunk and said with a pleading face, I know you must be Tang Hao's people, but you are helping Tang Hao do things to make money, this watch of mine, you took it and sold it for less than two hundred thousand dollars and this gem necklace on my neck, is my cousin in the auction house, to buy 2,580,000 price, you take to casually out, at least can return to the capital. 
Of one million or so, the woman's eyes inside filled with fear, because Chen Zhe stared at her, made her feel a kind of flood beast staring at the illusion. That kind of gaze was cold, so cold that it was extremely terrifying, it was like a poisonous snake that would deal you a fatal blow at any time, however, Chen Zhe did not say anything, just got out of the car and walked towards the mountain by himself, the woman looked around and saw that Chen Zhe didn't care about her, so she wanted to turn around and escape, however, after walking around a few times, she realized that this place was just a deserted mountain range, and behind it was a continuous mountain range that couldn't be seen at a glance, in the deserted village, there was also a large green stone with the words, Poplar Village, carved into it. She didn't recognize the Poplar Village, but she knew that she was alone and without food, getting out of this wilderness was just a pipe dream, and as she watched, the sky grew darker and darker, from time to time a few wolf howls could be heard, shivering with fear, the woman ran desperately towards the hills, towards the few houses that were vaguely lit by fire, Finally, after half an hour, she came to the door of the house. The clothes on her body, because she was running too fast, were scraped by the branches on the road, vaguely can be seen from the clothes torn place, snow white skin, as well as a dozen tiny wounds, I'm scared down there alone, big brother, can you send me back tomorrow morning? I can give you as much money as you want. The woman stood in the doorway, her hands clasped in front of her chest, her red lips biting tenderly. Sun Long turned his head to look at the woman, then looked at Chen Zhe with a strange expression on his face, but Chen Zhe did not explain, the fire in the room was still roasting, however, the woman saw Tang Hao tied up in the corner, his body covered in blood, she couldn't help but let her pupils contract, revealing an unbelievable look, you're not Tang Hao's men. At this time, Sun Long finally understood, this woman's feelings were most likely captured by Tang Hao and locked in the trunk, as a result, when Chen Zhe went down, he found this woman, after all, with this Mercedes, the only place to hide someone is in the trunk. We are Tang Hao's enemies, so we caught him again, Sun Long said a word, and took out a compressed cracker from the side, as well as a small bottle of mineral water, and handed it to the woman, she heard that it was Tang Hao's enemy, and that Tang Hao was tied up and lying on the ground, and that he was badly injured and unconscious, only then did she breathe a sigh of relief, as long as those two in front of her were not Tang Hao's men. Then she shouldn't be in too much danger, my name is Ning. Miao Xu, can you send me back to Shanghai City tomorrow morning, and I'll give you ten million dollars as a reward for saving my life this time, ten million dollars. Sun Long was a little shocked, especially when he saw this woman, when she said ten million, her eyelids didn't move at all, one would know that this ten million dollars was not even a fart for others, Chen Zhe also turned his head to look at this beautiful woman, even though he had no concept of money, however, when he was in the mental hospital, his doctor was willing to try to kill him just for half a million dollars. With such a transformation, he knew what money meant, it's impossible to go. Back, I'm afraid the whole of Shanghai city is after us, Chen Zhe's voice was cold, it contained no trace of emotion, just like a machine that suffocates people. Especially in this dimly lit environment, the firelight illuminated his face, but his head was hanging low, and there was even an inexplicable sense of urgency that made the woman subconsciously swallow, they also understood what was going on, after all, Tang Hao had been captured by them, the Tang family would definitely be furious, and the entire Shanghai city would be caught in the middle of this fiasco, causing monstrous waves, she really couldn't imagine what kind of courage these two people in front of her had to dare to capture Tang Hao, Yes, miss, I'm afraid we won't be returning to Shanghai City for a while, at least for three to five days. Sun Long whispered next to him, with his cell phone, he could still contact his men, for the Shanghai City side of the situation, also know a little to go back, I am afraid that only Chen Zhe have this ability, but today, whether it was the Tang family, the Shenghui Construction Group, or even the many forces below, they were all watching intently, there's no need to take that risk, after three or five days, you can send me back. And then I will write you a check for $10 million that can be cashed at any bank, Chen Zhe looked at the woman noncommittally, Sun Long didn't say anything either, because without Chen Zhe's promise, he didn't dare to guarantee it, in this silent environment, a long time passed without anyone noticing. The woman didn't ask any more questions, and Sun Long didn't say anything either, they just took turns sleeping, and when they got up, they continued to keep watch, until dawn, the crowd ate all the food that was left, Sun Long saw that if he didn't do anything he would starve to death here, so he got up and said, I'm going back to Shangrong, I'll go back to Shanghai city and ask my men to send some food, otherwise we'll starve to death at the next meal, Chen Zhe then picked up his own silver. White scalpel, he walked up the mountain alone, Sun Long froze and immediately understood that Chen Zhe was planning to go up the mountain to find food by himself, 
but this wilderness, surrounded by rolling hills, do not know the field experience of people who want to get some food, how easy. Ning Miaoshu, who was standing next to her, looked at Sun Long, whose face was full of horizontal flesh and hair, and stood up in fear, compared to following Sun Long, following Chen Zhe's footsteps, she felt that the not-so-young Chen Zhe was more reassuring, although Chen Zhe's eyes also gave her a cold feeling, they were pure and had no other thoughts, but as for Sun Long, it was impossible to tell at the moment. Seemingly knowing that Ning Miaoshu was afraid of doing something untoward, Sun. Long was still somewhat speechless, he said to himself that he was still no better than a madman, how could anyone think that staying by the side of a madman with bloody methods would be safer than staying by his side? But the people had already left, it was not good for him to say anything else, lest they think that he was really plotting against them, as for Chen Zhe, who was holding the silver-white scalpel, the steps were fast, he had no intention of waiting for anyone, even though Ning Miaoshu, who was following behind, was pleading bitterly, Chen Zhe still did not turn around, she looked at Chen Zhe, who was like a machine without the slightest bit of compassion, and was also slightly speechless in her heart, and didn't know what to say, as the two of them walked to the edge of a lake, Chen Zhe began to undress, immediately followed by a fluttering sound, he jumped into the water, after a minute or so, blood bubbles were seen appearing in the water, followed by Chen Zhe, dragging a catfish that had been stabbed in the head, swimming to the shore. The catfish weighed at least four or five pounds, it was very big, it was also enough for them to have lunch, but there were a little too many of them, and even if they ate this fish, their next meal would still not be available, but soon, she realized she was wrong, on the way back, Chen Zhe caught two more rabbits and a weasel, and by noon, regardless of whether it was her, the four tied up people, or Tang Hao who had just woken up, they all only got a small amount of food, a whole fish was almost completely eaten by Chen Zhe and Sun Long, as for the two rabbits and weasels that were caught, they were cleaned and made into bacon, which the two of them obviously wanted to eat. As for the rest of the people, whether or not they had something to eat at night was of no concern to Chen Zhe, for the next few days, it was Chen Zhe who went into the mountains to look for food, as for Sun Long, he was in charge of interrogating Tang Hao, although three days had passed, a lot of useful information had been obtained, but Chen Zhe still wasn't completely satisfied, that night, Tang Hao was tied up over a water pipe, Chen Zhe was holding a silver-white scalpel, silently, he watched. Tang Hao for a long time, Whenever they interrogated Tang Hao about the time of those five people, Tang Hao always kept to himself. No matter what tactic Sun Long used, he could never ask a question, the depression he had been suffering from for so long had made Chen Zhe a bit manic, coupled with the fact that he hadn't taken any sedatives lately, it made this feeling of his even more intense, at first, Ning Miaoshu followed Chen Zhe into the mountains, but after seeing Chen Zhe's almost crazy maneuvers a few times, she was also scared, that is, two days ago. In the afternoon, she did not follow Chen Zhe and ran into the mountains again, now that Sun Long was unexpectedly unable to interrogate him, it would be Chen Zhe's turn to fight, that night, agonizing wails, pitiful screams. The cries of near despair echoed across the mountain field, birds and beasts flew in terror, and the songs of insects died away, only Tang Hao's pleading voice remained, it echoed in the cold and windy night, please kill me, as long as it's not about those five people, I can tell you anything if you have to ask, at least kill me, this was his last plea, the color of life was gone from his eyes, his body was covered in blood, with many hideous wounds, making the Tang Hao in front of him look like a ghost, only Chen Zhe, who was holding the blood-stained scalpel, let out a long sigh of relief, it was as if the tyranny that had been pent up in his heart was finally released, at this moment, it was finally pushed down. He enjoyed this wonderful process, it was as if he was carefully carving a work of art, every time he put the knife down, it was just right, to make it hurt to the extreme, but not cause too much damage, he also carefully bandaged Tang Hao's wounds, after stopping the bleeding, he continued this inhumane torture, whether it was the tied up Sun Yao Yang, the driver, the investigator, the mistress, or Sun Long and Ning Miaoshu watching from the side, all of them were terrified by this kind of tactic, during the whole trial, Ning Miaoshu and the kidnapped mistress even had an emotional breakdown once, if not for Sun Long's locked door, perhaps something else would have happened, the sky is hazy, gathering the tyrannical Chen Zhe in his heart. Looking at the bruised Tang Hao, he seemed to be satisfied with his masterpiece, Tang Hao also fainted in the midst of the excruciating pain, although he didn't get much useful information, but out of Tang Hao's babbling, he got one important piece of information, it was that among the five people who had harmed his sister and were hiding, there was one person who had an exceptionally soft voice, just like a girl, however. He was a real man, and from that confusing sound, he also got a name. Called Heavenly Palace, it seemed to be an entertainment club, 
but he asked Sun Long and Ning Miaoshu next to him, still, no one knew where exactly this heavenly palace was. The voice was soft, but it was a man. The heavenly room, there must be unknown clues inside, Chen Zhe searched for these two important pieces of information, he didn't wake up Tang Hao and continued torturing him, because he knew that a thin stream of water would last for a long time, and now Tang Hao's body was already on the verge of collapsing, to continue would only be chasing Tang Hao's will, after all, after last night's events, the current Tang Hao could be said to be dying. On the contrary, Chen Zhe didn't want him to die now. I'm going back to Shanghai City, Chen Zhe's voice fell, Ning Miaoshu, who was standing next to him, showed a look of inexplicable surprise, bring me back, I can pay any price, and, and my father is already on the wrong side, and now it is even more impossible to turn back, otherwise, Tang Hao wouldn't want to have me killed. Let me go back, I can help you after all, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, Ning Miaoshu showed a hint of expectation in her eyes, just as she had said, even though she was a member of the Beijing faction, however, the Beijing faction's inner life was also full of fights, some had sided with the Tang family, some with the outsiders, and they, the Ning family, were on the side of the outsiders. They wanted to tear apart the entire local forces of Shanghai City so that they could get a piece of the pie, therefore, when she came to Shanghai City with her own old man on the second day, she was arrested while she was out, I'm afraid that according to Tang Hao's original idea, he wanted to use himself to force his father, but unfortunately, he ran into Chen Zhe, which resulted in the loss of all the plans. Even the mistress who was tied up in the corner seemed to remember something, it's you, Miss Ning. I said earlier, look how familiar, are you Ning Lei's daughter? Seeing that, the bound mistress recognized herself, Ning Miaoshu hurriedly nodded, I am Ning Lei's daughter, long ago with the Tang family is incompatible, water and fire are intolerable, when my father sided with the outsiders, it was actually impossible to go the same way as the Tang family, just like the second hospital, why are there so many outsiders guarding the perimeter of the hospital? It's because they know that in today's situation, someone has to muddy the water, and muddy water is the only way to catch fish. The Ning family was not considered a big family in the capital, but they had access to a lot of information in the capital, and they could even provide Chen Zhe with great help, this power was no weaker than the outsiders from the northern sect, hearing Ning Miaoshu's words, even Sun who beside him couldn't help but widen his eyes, if it was really like that mistress said, then the Ning Miaoshu in front of her was Ning Lei's daughter. Then the next thing would be a good thing, the way they would get information, the help they would be able to get would be far superior to what they were getting now, Brother Chen, wait a moment, I'll find someone to ask, Sun Long wasn't idle either. He used his own information channels, he began to inquire about Ning Miaoshu's situation, after about half an hour, someone finally sent him some information, he opened it and took a look, inside was none other than Ning Miaoshu's picture, furthermore, a reward of over 18 million dollars had been offered by Ning Lei, the helmsman of the Ning family. Whoever could bring back his daughter would be able to get the 18 million plus, Brother Chen, there can be no mistake, I've just had. Someone look into Ning Miaoshu's situation, and his father has indeed sided with the outsiders, and has been captured by the Tang family and is now suffering heavy losses as well, however, they are only the pawns of the Beijing faction, if more people from the Beijing faction enter Shanghai City, Ning Miaoshu's role could be much bigger. After receiving Sun Long's confirmation, Chen Zhe frowned and thought for a while before finally nodding, taking Ning Miaoshu with him, he headed down the mountain, meanwhile, near the hospital, no one knew how many times he had been confused, from time to time, people with bandaged wounds came in and out of the hospital, a man who looked 30 or 40 years old, with exceptionally thick legs and arms, spat viciously on the ground, damn, at this rate, when will it end? Behind them, more people came out, their teeth clenched, their faces vaguely bruised, one of them, a country-looking man with a big back haircut, had a white bandage wrapped around his back, the Tang family had already gone crazy, just in these few days, the manpower that attacked the hospital had appeared in at least a hundred waves. The surrounding area was filled with people from the Tang family who were watching them intently, and even the affiliated forces below the Tang family were starting to make moves, when they talked about this matter, it was as if they were blocking a breath in their hearts, it's extremely depressing. Although Master Lu, Miss Su had organized many counterattacks during this time, the effect was far worse than expected. It seems like there is a big shot giving orders behind the scenes, I'm afraid that tonight will be another bloody battle, I really don't know what's the point of guarding this broken hospital, Big Back found a step and sat down, took out a pack of cigarettes, when he opened the package, but found that there was not a single cigarette left inside. 
or the shoulders and thighs of the man extraordinarily thick, gave him a hand over one, the two talents sit together on the steps, lit the hand of cigarettes, it was now nearly seven o'clock, and there were faint, riotous sounds coming from all around, when they ran to the roof of the building and observed the situation below, even more, they couldn't help but take a deep breath, only to see a team and a group of figures in black suits, as if they didn't want to die, holding steel pipes in. Their hands and beating people on sight, the forces of the surrounding outsiders were routed, and the two surrounding streets were about to be lost. Damn it, this is it again, these Tang family people, don't they have anything else to do besides keeping an eye on the hospital? The man with the thick arms and legs showed a horrible bitter smile, the kid who came out of the madhouse and Sun Long are hiding too well, during this time, the Tang family had sent out not hundreds, but thousands of people, but they couldn't find any news, Tang Hao is not only the head of the Tang family, but also the second-in-command of the Shenghui Construction Group and the in-laws of the Beijing faction. Not to mention the Tang family itself, I'm afraid that the woman married to. Tang Hao is also worried, now that the Tang family is facing multiple pressures, there's no way for them not to go crazy, the discussion between the two of them was coming to an end, and they knew that things were irreparable. Now that the outsiders had suffered heavy losses and everyone was fighting to the death, they were afraid that if they simply left Shanghai City, they would not be willing in their hearts, after all, this time, many people have poured their own family wealth, the result is not only the loss of troops, even the investment is lost, if they just run back, in the future in the north, they also have no face to stay, I don't know, how many more days can they hold out? The two hurriedly descended the stairs, they began to gather their men and mingled with the approaching enemies, on the outskirts of Shanghai City, two figures were weaving through the streets and alleys, they were none other than Chen Zhe, Ning Miaoshu, the reason why they didn't return to Shanghai City until the evening. It was because there were too many people from the Tang family around, at almost every intersection, you could see people letting off steam, if it wasn't for Chen Zhe, I'm afraid they wouldn't have made it this far, just drop me off in front, my dad is at the Yellow Sea Club, I'll help you find out what's going on at the Heavenly Palace, contact me by cell phone when the time comes, seeing the building in the distance. Ning Miaoshu's heart finally dropped, looking at Chen Zhe standing in front. Of her under the moonlight, Chen Zhe's angular face suddenly felt much softer as well, not as cold as before, of course, this was just her feeling after the robbery, Chen Zhe had never changed from the beginning to the end, he was still that cold and suffocating madman. After sending Ning Miaoshu here, Chen Zhe left alone, did not even look at Ning Miao Xu, this in the eye of another, the beauty to the core of the charm of the special matter, but it could not arouse the interest of a madman, perhaps for Chen Zhe, this woman in front of him was not as interesting as a small animal struggling to die, seeing Chen Zhe's departing figure. Ning Miao Xu did not remain idle and dashed towards the Yellow Sea building, ten minutes later, accompanied by the sound of knocking on the door, the Yellow Sea building's top floor presidential suite, the door opened, it was a man who bore a slight resemblance to Ning Miaoshu. He was probably around 45 or 16 years old, and due to the long period of time without good rest, his eyes were a little red, and his appearance was slightly haggard, when he saw his own daughter appear before him unharmed, his eyes widened, Ning Lei, who had been considered a big shot in the past, was as happy as a child at this moment, Miao Xu, are you okay? How did you come back? It's good to be back, it's good to be back, Ning Lei had actually known for a long time that his daughter having gone missing was definitely related to the Tang family, therefore, he had left no stone unturned in the midst of this period of quarrels, and the quarrels in the hospital can be seen in the Ning family from time to time. It was to retaliate against the Tang family, especially since Tang Hao was captured by his own daughter, it made him even more anxious than an ant on a hot pan, when Ning Miaoshu entered the room, she told her father what had happened to her in the past few days, when he heard that his daughter had been following that madman, Ning Lei also secretly sweated for his daughter, about that madman, don't say anything to anyone. And if anyone asks, just say that you were abandoned on the other side of the country, and when you woke up, you ran back on your own, now there's something about Chen Zhe, he's just too sensitive. The slightest carelessness will result in his own daughter being caught in a huge whirlpool, and sometimes even he, the father, seems to be powerless, must not be exposed, the agreement between you and this madman, although now your father, on the side of the outsiders, but if alone to withstand the wrath of the Tang family, still a little stretched, he knew that the outsiders were not necessarily united, they also had their own ideas, especially at this time, which exposed a lot of problems. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been so badly beaten by the Tang family, to put it bluntly, they were a scattered bunch, it looks like they have a lot of people and a lot of input, but when it comes down to it, only one Tang family has them at their wit's end. 
Dad, don't worry, I'm no fool, I'm sure I won't reveal it, but there is still one thing, we have to please from the mouth of Tang Hao, got a named Heavenly World address, can you help me check, Heavenly Man's Room? Ning Lei also froze, it seemed like he had vaguely heard of this place, but for a moment, he couldn't remember it, just know, the people gathered in this place are all socialites, their identities are extremely uncomplicated, and the water in this thing is too deep, if you're not careful, it's easy to be attacked from behind, he could only pat his daughter's shoulder and comfort her, first of all, take a good rest, don't worry about the next thing, the heavenly world, daddy will help you to investigate, but this kind of place, are all local forces, gathering place for fun, also hidden very deep, afraid of a moment and a half will not be able to investigate, after saying that, he arranged a room for his daughter next door, and went back to make a phone call on his own, and didn't know what he said half an hour later, Ning Lei left with a frown on his face. After saying goodbye to Ning Miaoshu, Chen Zhe came alone to a bow shooting club. And according to his own touch, he formed a composite crossbow, an arrow capsule, and strapped it to his body. When he reappeared, but he had already arrived in front of the Zhou family's mansion, there were all kinds of black-suited bodyguards around, they were neat and tidy, and their arrangement had its own pattern, which was completely different from ordinary bodyguards, with a single glance, Chen Zhe understood, I'm afraid that these bodyguards have been specially found by the Tang family, I'm also afraid that Zhou Shushue, where the hospital is located, will be tightly controlled, however, the Tang. Wang and Zhou families would be underestimating him if they relied on this number of people to force him to retreat, Chen Zhe narrowed his eyes and climbed over the wall from a hidden corner, after killing a few more bodyguards and making sure that no one was around to see them, he slowly climbed up from the edge of the window to the third floor. Third floor, brightly lit, the interior was opulent, expensive porcelain everywhere, placed everywhere, this blue-white porcelain, placed outside, a random piece, tens of millions, the more expensive ones, tens of millions were not impossible, this blanket made of animal skins, a girl in a white dress was sitting on it, next to her was Wang Dong, holding a long whip, a broad, uninhibited smile gradually appeared on his face, it vaguely revealed a few more moments of sickness and madness, ever. Since Chen Zhe cut off a piece of his scalp, he had almost become the joke of the entire celebrity circle, whenever he looked in the mirror, he saw the ugly appearance of his head, he could not wait to scalp Chen Zhe and his sister. The girl kneeling in the middle of the animal skin blanket, if you looked closely, you could actually see the outline of Chen Xiaomei, in other words, Wang Dong had spent a lot of money to find a girl who resembled Chen Zhe's sister, especially when he saw the girl with the bloody wounds on her body, it was as if he had returned to that high and mighty son, give me death, Wang Dong let out a hysterical roar. The whip in his hand cracked over and over again, the girl covered her face and let out. A scream, tears streamed from her eyes as she was beaten until her skin was broken. She did receive a sum of money, but only because her mother lied to her, saying that if she came to clean a rich man's house, she would be able to receive a large sum of money for his brother's education, as it turned out, when she came here, she realized that it wasn't like that at all, but by the time she wanted to leave, but it was already too late, from Wang Dong's mouth. She even learned that her mother had received $3 million from others, she sold it to others for half a year. Either wear this half a year, or return the $3 million, but she remembers that her mother has already used the $3 million, bought a house, paid her brother's college tuition, and then bought a brand new car for her father, the rest of the money, long ago do not know where to put, where is it possible to return the $3 million. So, in the face of Wang Dong's severe beating, she could only silently endure it with red eyes, just as Wang Dong was beating her hard, not far from the bottom of the stairs, the sound of metal hitting the wall could be heard, the crisp, muffled sound made Wang Dong's eyebrows furrow, but at the same time, he thought that even though the Wang family's mansion was very large, there were fifty well-trained bodyguards, so not even a fly could enter. Then he put his heart down, what are you thinking about? Even if that child has three heads and six arms, it is impossible for him to enter my Wang family's mansion in a dignified manner. He raised the whip in his hand and was about to fall again, however, he heard a whooshing sound, a flashing arrow with a cold light, accompanied by a piercing air-breaking sound, bloomed a bright red blood flower in his palm, a strong feeling of pain, it caused Wang Dong to let out a heartbreaking scream, immediately after that, he turned his head, then, he saw a person with a duck-tongued hat, his head hung low. A figure holding a silver-white scalpel, when this person raised his head, he slowly opened his mouth, revealing a hideous, half-emotionless, devil-like face, Wang Dong's heart trembled violently, he did not care about the pain in his hands, he wanted to turn his head to escape, but what greeted him was another cold arrow, he heard only a thud as his calf was pierced and nailed dead to the ground. 
Blood stained the animal's hide red, every time he pulled his leg, he felt the crushing pain, Wang Dong raised his head in horror and looked in front of him, Chen Zhe's pupils, which vaguely showed a hint of excitement, could be described as extremely scared, however, Chen Zhe did not stop, he walked over to Wang Dong's side, crouching down he looked at Wang Dong's left leg, which was still gushing blood, stretching out his hand, he grabbed the tail of the arrow and shook it violently, Wang Dong immediately let out a pig-killing scream, but this was not the end, Chen Zhe stood up from the table not far away, picking up a pair of scissors, he returned to Wang Dong's side, grabbed the other party's hand, and squeezed his ring finger, if I remember correctly, my sister was beaten by you to the point where she suffered a comminuted fracture of her ring finger, he mentioned this matter. Wang Dong's eyes widened, his teeth couldn't stop chattering as he said with a trembling and anxious voice, no, don't, I've already had a piece of my scalp cut off by you, if I break another finger, I'll really become an invalid, what about my sister? Wang Dong opened his mouth to say, how can you compare your sister to me? Your sister is just an animal raised by a few poor people, I am the crown prince of the Wang group, just the wealth within my family, converted into money, can block the river mouth, what is your sister? Can compare with me? But I thought about it, you can't say those words, otherwise he'll be worse than dead. As long as you do not cut my fingers, what you say, I promise money, our family has a lot of money, around the porcelain antiques, what you fancy just take. If you want to get out of anger, the girl next to him, his family charged me three million dollars, you want to do anything. But for Wang Dong's words, Chen Zhe just shook his head, wrist slightly downward pressure, click, the whole finger was cut off, blood gushed out. In the middle of the entire room, a strong smell of blood filled the air. Wang Dong was in pain and was about to open his mouth when Chen Zhe raised the scissors and ruthlessly stabbed his throat, he didn't even have time to make a sound. The inside of his mouth was already filled with blood, such a tactic, the girl cowering beside him was so frightened that her face turned pale and her pupils contracted, as if she had seen the most horrible thing in her life, tears were swirling in her eyes, she could not stop shaking her head, her voice choked with panic, she was afraid that if Wang Dong died the next second, it would be her turn, likewise. Wang Dong's screams quickly alarmed the bodyguards below, in a few minutes, a riot broke out, more and more people began to rush up from the stairs, Chen Zhe grabbed the silver white scalpel, he blocked the stairs, he looked at the crowd rushing up, without the slightest bit of fear, the people rushing up were all equally red-eyed. The person they were desperately trying to protect was being tortured to the bone right in front of them, if this were to spread, they wouldn't have to work in the industry, but as they rushed to the stairs to kill this madman on the third floor, a silver white light with a sharp reflection slashed the throat of the bodyguard who rushed up, the bodyguard covered the stump of his throat with both hands, and blood spilled from his fingertips. Everyone stopped in their tracks, but after half a moment of silence, they all rushed up again, however, these people were all capable, they were all the best among the bodyguards, but that was just for ordinary people. Facing such people, Chen Zhe didn't even have to take them seriously, the silver-white scalpel was like a butterfly dancing on the tip of a knife, it easily sliced through the middle of each of their crevices, it was always able to find a fatal spot, so once these people were stabbed, they would never be able to get up again, there were also people with steel pipes and electroshock batons among them. But it was clear that the figure was right in front of them, however, they were always able to do so at the crucial moment, dodging their smashing batons, that kind of keen perception of danger made everyone unable to resist swallowing, without even realizing it, the stairway entrance was already piled high with densely packed corpses. Bright red blood stained the sides of the stairs, it was as if it had been repainted red, and like a purgatory on earth, it made everyone stop on the second floor, they looked at me, and I looked at no one who dared to step forward, Chen Zhe scornfully turned around, grabbed Wang Dong on the ground, picked up the broken ring finger from the side, and walked down the stairs on his own, he approached step by step, the bodyguards were also retreating step by step, the silver white scalpel was still, dripping with blood, Wang Dong opened his mouth and tried to speak, but what came out of his mouth was still blood and water, and he couldn't say a single word, but with the fight on the stairs just now, Seeing this in front of them, the figure of a man who can't be defeated, even if they had more courage, knowing that they were going to die, one of them did not dare to step forward and could only watch as Wang Dong was gradually dragged away by Chen Zhe, until he disappeared into the mangrove outside, only then did a security guard in a brown suit take out his cell phone. He recorded the surrounding video and sent it to the people over there, immediately after that, there was a burst of angry shouting, slamming cups, smashing things, hysterical screams of rage, but it was all in vain, that person came back, he was reckless, and broke into the Zhou family's mansion.
He was guarded by fifty well-trained bodyguards, he took Wang Dong in a dignified manner, he blocked the stairs, one person, who defeated the fifty bodyguards, did not dare to come forward, in the middle of the stairs, there were still piles of dead and alive figures lying on the ground, this child, he was trying to tell everyone with his actions, even if they get more manpower, how endless their resources are, he, Chen Zhe, could just as easily go unnoticed, or even walk into a place and rip their heads off, find out where that boy lives, and bring everyone from the Shenghui construction group to the area around Zhou Xuxue's hospital, I had a hunch that, after Wang Dong, it would be Zhou Xuxue, after the voiceover there ended, the brown-suited bodyguard who had just sent the video revealed a few bitter glances, what the others had just seen was only a video, a video of the end of the battle, no one knew better than them how terrifying that teenager was who stood at the top holding a silver-white scalpel with a vacant gaze. That resembled a machine, it was like a mountain that could never be crossed, an abyss that countless people could not fill. This person represented the abyss, and he seemed to have crawled out from hell, unleashing his boundless fury, using the most cruel means, and telling everyone that he would definitely find out everything, and he would definitely bring out those who had hurt his sister, one by one, first it was Zhou Xuxue, then Tang Hao, and now even Wang Dong had an accident, if the investigation continues, it won't end with those people either. Gollum's brown-suited bodyguard's voice trembled a little, he didn't know who these people were either, but even Tang Tianxing, the helmsman of the Tang family, only showed fear and timidity in his eyes when he mentioned the words of those people, even the Tang family, the strongest power in Shanghai City, didn't dare to mention the names of those people. You can imagine, what did those people represent? It was the heaven of Shanghai City, a world that no one could touch, if they went after them, they would run the risk of the sky collapsing on them, but that kid was a madman, even if the sky collapsed, he wouldn't necessarily care, right? The brown-suited bodyguard sighed, these weren't things he was supposed to care about anymore, nor was it his place to ask, he started cleaning up the battlefield, clearing the stairs, all of them, those bodyguards whose throats had been slit, it was almost hopeless. The others, there were still some, even if they were injured, as long as they were sent to the hospital in time, but there was still a chance of survival, whenever the man in the brown suit looked at those wounds, he felt a slight tingling sensation on his scalp, everyone, the body can see the wound, there is no one is superfluous, this kind of technique, coupled with the speed of the knife, using a short scalpel, it was truly unimaginable that this person's speed of the knife had reached what level, he thought to himself, with his strength, he was considered to be at the top of the list in the bodyguard industry. Before he met Chen Zhe, he also felt that it was an exaggeration on the side, but only when he was confronted directly, only then would he realize how terrifying this person really was, unconsciously swallowing, he pulled a corpse aside, and a certain sadness appeared on the faces of the bodyguards around him, after all, they were just out to make money, not dead soldiers bred by the Tang family, and now there were massive casualties in the ranks, even to the extent that they were at this point. They couldn't help but feel another emotion rising in their hearts, boss, even though the Tang family donates a lot of money, that kid is still crazy. If the Tang family had a way, they wouldn't have dragged this out so long without even touching that kid's hair this money, boss, don't you feel like burning your hands holding it? A person whose strength was not inferior to the man in the brown suit slowly walked out, the Tang family gave them more than $3,700,000, just to buy the lives of 50 of them, it was undoubtedly a fool's errand, the man in the brown suit opened his mouth, surprisingly, he was somewhat unable to reply, 3,700,000 plus, although it was a lot of money. As long as they worked a little harder, they could still earn it in three to five years. In the beginning, the Tang family gave them this money, they only hired them for one month, but nowadays, but everyone couldn't help but feel a sense of deprivation, after all, this money will be divided equally among the heads of each bodyguard, even if a lot of people die, it will only be 100,000 or so. Let me think about it and I will give you an answer tomorrow, the man in the brown suit sighed, if they backed out of the mission without a reason, in the bodyguard industry, they would carry a stigma and it would be difficult to get a mission in the future, old town, an old abandoned bridge, two couples, holding hands, came to the neighborhood, the surrounding moonlight sprinkled on the river, flooding a little wave light, and as if the white moon pulled into the water, extraordinarily disorienting, perhaps it is because of this environment, let holding hands of small couples, cannot help it, have to put the face close, look at the kiss, but suddenly, was interrupted by hysterical cries, the boys on the left, just feel a soft legs, almost did not fall to the ground. 
When they went to check the situation around them, indeed, there was only the darkness of the night, with not a single bit of light to be seen, this was originally a small meeting place, the place that was chosen was also a place where no one was, just now, the sound of ghosts crying like wolves, scared to death, the boys hurriedly pulled out their girlfriend, hurry, 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 I always feel that there are dirty things nearby. The girl was also a little scared, following her boyfriend, she quickly left the old bridge, after another ten minutes or so, the screams came again, under the old bridge, right next to the river, a figure lay on the ground, covered in blood, however, a ring finger was clearly missing, the person who let out a pitiful scream was none other than Wang Dong, who had just been caught, his eyes filled with fear. However, not far away, there was a figure wearing a duck-tailed cap and holding a silver-white scalpel, with his back turned to the moonlight, he could not clearly see the expression on that face, but the hand trembling slightly with excitement made Wang Dong even more afraid, no, don't, I beg you, let go, let me go, I will kowtow to your sister, as long as you don't kill me, I can do anything for you, Chen Zhe crouched down beside him, those cold and excited eyes, he looked up and down at, Wang Dong, I won't kill, but I have methods that are more pleasant than death, after saying that, Chen Zhe took the scalpel and gestured up and down a few times at Wang Dong in front of him, then, satisfied, he tied Wang Dong's hands with a rope. Accompanied by a loud, hysterical scream, near the old bridge, not even a cat dared to approach, no one knew how long it had been, Chen Zhe, who was gradually cutting through Wang Dong's skin, heard the other party's voice become hoarse, immediately after that, it seemed as if he was somewhat unable to continue, the gaze that looked at Chen Zhe was filled with fear, as if what he saw was not a person. Rather, it was a stern spirit that had crawled out from hell, he could no longer endure the torture that bordered on insanity, there was no hope for life in Wang Dong's eyes, he turned violently and rolled into the river, as for Chen Zhe, he looked at Wang Dong as he sank into the river and disappeared. He shook his head in disappointment, compared to Tang Hao, Wang Dong was much worse, after all, Tang Hao was tortured all night long, he didn't reveal the information of those five people, but what about Wang Dong? In just over two hours, he threw himself into the river, after that, he hid in the middle of the night, soon, the Wang group's building arrived, even though there were a lot of people guarding it, however, compared to the Wang family's mansion, the bodyguards here were somewhat fewer, with his ability, however, it took ten minutes, he had already arrived at the chairman's office. The whole building had already turned off the lights and no one could be seen inside, so he sat on the bench in the chairman's office, from his pocket, he took out the cut finger, threw it in front of the desk not far away, at the same time, it was thrown out, Wang Dong's silver white necklace was hanging around his neck, only then did he sleep here with his eyes closed, as if no one was there, when he woke up, it was almost dawn, yawning. From the drawer outside, he took another employee's tag and wore it around his neck, there were still a lot of uniforms in the staff lounge, he changed into a random one, he got breakfast in the cafeteria, there were more and more people around. But no one noticed that there was another outsider in their company, he waited until he had finished eating, he also didn't forget to smooth down a bottle of drink, he put it in his pocket, around 10.40 there was a terrified scream from upstairs, clearly the voice of an elderly man, immediately after that, the whole building was in chaos, Chen Zhe opened his drink, took a sip, and slowly walked out, in front of his eyes, the elevator opened and a group of aggressive people stepped out, followed by a man around 40 years old, holding a broken finger in his hand and a silver white necklace, his body couldn't stop shaking, next to him was a woman who kept crying, she was probably about 34 or 35 years old. From time to time, she whispered a few words next to the old man, the old man's face turned even darker, Chen Zhe, who was sipping his drink as he entered the elevator, didn't even take her seriously, the two parties staggered past each other, but when they were a few dozen meters away, the old man suddenly stopped, he turned back to the elevator, shouted to the person next to him, call surveillance, call all surveillance immediately, with his order, in the surveillance room, the scene from last night immediately appeared, it was also seen, the teenager with the duck-tailed cap who entered the chairman's office threw something on the table as if nothing had happened, he crossed his legs and slept on the sofa where the chairman was resting for the night, the next morning. According to the surveillance, the boy was again seen taking a work badge and changing his clothes in the staff room, he ran to the cafeteria, followed the crowd of employees, and ate, before leaving, he didn't forget to take a bottle of drink, followed the chairman of the board, staggered, preferred not to have half a change of expression, just like that, he left the Wang group, seeing this scene. The old man was so angry that he hit the computer, only a bang was heard, the computer screen sparkled in all directions, startling the people next to him, it was clear that the top of his fist was dripping with blood from the broken glass, 
but the old man pretended he didn't feel it. He pulled his hand back, the 34 or 35 year old woman next to him, hurriedly had someone bring in a medical kit and began to bandage the old man, whenever he remembered, the boy slept in his office for the night as if nothing had happened, he left his son's necklace and broken finger behind, even when he ate breakfast in their company, had a drink and left before him. He felt as if his lungs were about to explode, half a dozen times later, his hand gripped his chest in death. His eyes went white and he fainted, the people around him were stunned, they rushed to take the chairman to the hospital, only the 34 or 35 year old woman was left. Covering her face, she cried non-stop in the observation room, the man's words still echoed in her head, if you hadn't spoiled your son like that, would he have ended up like this? If you have to distinguish between right and wrong, you shouldn't protect him so much every time, the woman's voice was slightly choked, but her mouth was murmuring, he is my son, I favor him a little, what is wrong with that? Besides, aren't you still running to the school in disgrace every time to wipe your son's ass? The old woman muttered, the door opened again, this time, what walked in, it was two imposing figures. Both were wearing leisure suits, one black and one white, with cigars in their mouths and cold gazes, they gave off a feeling that was somewhat unusual, just by entering, the temperature inside dropped quite a bit, seeing these two people, the old woman who was still talking to herself, suddenly, his eyes widened, a few sentences of simple conversation, the old woman left in a hurry, the two people who came in, looked at each other, then they looked at the not far away, was broken computer, greeted the people outside to change a monitor, watched the surveillance, half an hour or so, the man in the white leisure suit, the corner of his mouth began to rise. He pointed at Chen Zhe on the computer screen, not mincing words in his praise, this kid, just with this mentality, he can surpass 90% of your Tang family, the bearded man in the black leisure suit seemed to disagree with his words and said with a cold snort, you're nurturing others' ambitions and destroying your own, not to mention that the Wang family is our lackey no matter what. Wang Datong's son was taken away in a dignified manner right in front of our eyes, this boy even had the audacity to run to the Wang group and openly and honestly bring the necklace and severed finger to the chairman's office, you can see from here how bold this boy is, if we let him go, he might do something again. But the person in the white leisure suit just flicked the cigarette ash between his fingers, with a scornful face, he said, if it weren't for those few little bastards who went too far, how could it have come to this? Humph, they go too far, but that is not something you can discuss, besides, realize your own identity, you're just a punching bag found by the Tang family, the other party's words, it made the man in the white leisure suit laugh instead of being angry, senior brother, senior brother, if you are able to solve it, why did you pay such a high price to invite me here? What's wrong with me scolding them a few times? Don't you even look at what they've done all these years? If I didn't need what the Tang family has, do you really think I would help you? Besides, since you did this to someone's sister, you should be prepared for revenge, it's all come to this, there's no need to put on that stinking face of yours, if I'm not happy, I'll just turn my head and leave, after saying that, the man in the white leisure suit stood up, with a scornful face, he was about to walk out, inside, the man in the black suit gritted his teeth, obviously angry, however, he could only moderate his tone, elder brother, since we've all come, why bother? Everyone has their own interests, after all, it is just another way to go. Even if he didn't recognize this passage, the man in white still looked back at the other party, in silence, he snorted and left, only the man in black remained, puffing the cigar in his hand towards the wall, there was a puff, fire splashed out, and his face was also dark at that moment, obviously, he couldn't figure it out either, originally, it was just a trivial matter, why is it a big deal now? Because of a madman who came out of a mental hospital. It seems that the local forces in Shanghai city have really become lax over the years, when this is all over, we should give a good beating to those who don't know how to live a good life. Undoubtedly, these two events dealt a heavy blow to the Tang family and their subordinate forces, after all, they weren't dealing with an outsider who could be easily bullied, rather, it was a madman who was so godlike that he could take their heads at any time, he was able to take Wang Dong away from the Zhou family mansion in front of 50 well-trained bodyguards, and he was able to take their lives while they were sleeping. He could silently enter the Wang group and place the severed finger. The necklace, on Wang Datong's desk, he would be able to tear off their son's head, so it was delivered to them when they received the news, the many forces associated with the Tang family could be said to be heartbroken and scared to death. Unlike the Tang family and the local forces of Shanghai City, however, these two events gave all the outsiders an incentive, in the clubhouse that Master Lu had just bought, a figure in his fifties or sixties, holding red wine in his hand, happily tapped the table in front of him, good, good, ah, that kid really did a good job, 
not only did he solve the Wang family kid, but he also ran to the Wang group in a fair and square manner, slept in, and had breakfast, what a great job, since Chen. Zai left last time since Chen Zai left, the two lapdogs under the Tang family, Wang Datong and Zhou Buwei, have acted as the vanguard of the crackdown on outsiders, and they don't know how many outsiders have been maimed, or what strongholds they have worked so hard to build. Originally, they had planned to wait for the Tang family to reveal the cracks themselves, but instead, they waited, instead, they almost pushed themselves to the brink, things were not going in the right direction, started to get more and more intense, looking at the further so, sooner or later to be finished when, but suddenly there was such good news, Wang Datong's son died, people even ran to their Wang group, flaunted, but they have no way. After this incident, it was definitely a fatal blow to Wang Datong, recently, they will definitely release their manpower to track down Chen Zhe's whereabouts and relax their attention on us a bit. However, they have already pushed us to this point, things will definitely not end easily, he placed the glass of red wine in his hand on the table and looked at the table, placed on the table, looked at the opposite side, wearing a red evening gown, bright and charming Miss Su, said leisurely, take this Wang family to start, Miss Su think how. Under Master Lu's observation, Miss Su did not have the slightest bit of shyness, but instead let out a giggle, she made the two big meows in front of her look a bit like smallpox. Master Lu has opened his mouth, and I have also burned a restaurant, so of course it cannot end easily, Wang Datong has indeed been a bit unscrupulous lately with the support of the Tang family, so it's good to teach them a little lesson, with Miss Su's approval, Master Lu also let out an unrestrained smile, took out his own cell phone, and sent several text messages, a few moments later, quite a few people entered the room, Master Lu explained a few more things, the people who came in, clenched their fists and looked at Ms. Su who was standing next to them, when this matter is settled, not only will it be the benefits that Master Lu promised you, but I will pay for it privately and give each of you one million dollars as a settlement fee. With Master Lu and me here, I guarantee that you will be able to leave Shanghai City safely, even though they are outsiders now, the situation is not optimistic, but the ability to protect some people is still there, otherwise, the Tang family wouldn't have fought for so long and wouldn't have been able to take down the second hospital, it's not because they have them behind their backs to constantly replenish the power, otherwise. With the few crooked data of the second hospital, I'm afraid. They would have already fought it all, thank you, Master Lu, and thank you, Miss Su, the few people who received the assurance silently left the room, only Master Lu and Miss Su remained, they raised the red wine in their hands and gently touched it together. Cheers, cheers, after leaving the Wang group, Chen Zhe went back to the second hospital to confirm that his parents and sister were safe, and card in, but also inexplicably more than a few million after, Chen Zhe also did not care about it, instead, he wore a set of white coats that he didn't know where to get, and stood at the entrance of the ward, after watching quietly for a long time, he was about to leave, but someone stopped him, that person was none other than Ms. Su, who was wearing a Red evening gown and had a charming smile on her face, Chen Zhe also knew that second hospital was the land of outsiders today because he did not hide too much when he entered. He did not need to be as formal as he was outside, by the time he entered the second hospital, the news had already reached Miss Su's ears, that's why Miss Su rushed over at the first opportunity, she happened to be at the entrance of the ward and saw Chen Zhe looking at the ward in silence, Mr. Chen, it's good to see you. Although she knew that Chen Zhe was a madman, since she had last seen Chen Zhe in Nanjiangku, she knew that although this madman was stubborn in his actions and extremely difficult to communicate with, he had his own redeeming qualities and was not impossible to talk to, this strange woman came face to face with her. If it were an ordinary person and so on, I am afraid that under the enchanting and beautiful figure of Ms. Su, he would have already produced thoughts that should not be there, but what Chen Zhe saw was like a white bone, his eyes lingered for no more than a second before he put his hands in his pockets and walked past Ms. Su, as the two of them passed each other, Ms. Su smiled, her smile was exceptionally charming. A pair of watery eyes narrowed into a crescent moon, and an intriguing look appeared on her clean and white face, Mr. Chen has done two big things in a row, today, outside, there are people chasing Mr. Chen everywhere, why not rest in the hospital for one night? After a while, when it's calmer, you can leave the hospital, speaking of which, we have also prepared a big gift for Mr. Chen, what exactly is it, I think Mr. Chen will know soon. But Ms. Su's words did not cause any fluctuations in Chen Zhe's heart, the pace of his feet did not stop for half a second, and by the time Ms. Su finished her sentence, the person had already left, the few people following Ms. Su's side, seeing Chen Zhe with such an attitude, their faces were inevitably a bit upset but when they thought that the other party was a madman himself, this emotion was collected, 
If you expect a madman to talk to you about human emotions, you might as well expect a sow to fall into a tree, ms, sue, that boy who came out of the madhouse, although he has excellent hands, he is obviously not someone who is easy to control. As the saying goes, too strong is easy to break, so it seems a bit ridiculous to put all your bets on him, what does ms, sue not know? But right now, they didn't have much of a choice, there is only one way to break through, unless they can find a better replacement, otherwise, they could only be kicked out of Shanghai city by the Tang family, although he was a madman, he had done what all the outsiders could not do, he was able to turn the whole of Shanghai city into a chaotic mess, and he was able to keep the Tang family, the Zhou family, and the Wang family busy. Ever since Wang Datong's son died ever since that kid went. To the Wang group building, don't you feel that the pressure on us outsiders is starting to ease? When they heard Ms. Su's words. Although the others were still a little unhappy with Chen Ze, but they silently nodded their heads, because what Ms. Su said was the truth, because of all the things Chen Ze had done, the Tang family was starting to get distracted, the Zhou family, the Wang family, those two mad dogs, were no longer just staring at them, but they started to spread out their manpower and go around looking for Chen Ze's whereabouts. But this person was too mysterious, so secretive that even the Tang family, the Zhou family, the Wang family, even the hands cannot find half a clue, moreover, the fact that he was able to go to the hospital openly and honestly proves that he is also aware that we outsiders are helping him, knowing that both sides are not enemies, he will definitely not turn against us, if this sword is used well, our plan to dismantle the local forces can be implemented perfectly. In that case, the crowd couldn't argue with him anymore, so they were happy to accept it, when Chen Ze left the hospital and disappeared into the wide streets, it was almost four in the afternoon, by the time he reappeared, he had already arrived near the Yellow Sea Club, a woman wearing a light blue skirt with a delicate, plump and sexy figure walked down from above with quick steps, holding an envelope in her hand. This person was exactly Ning Miaoshu after she returned, even though dad told her not to worry about anything, but from her old dad's face, she vaguely saw that her old dad must know something. Therefore, after Pops left, she went into Pops' room and found a lot of things, among them, there are clues that Chen Zhe wants, about the heavenly world, which I have transcribed in the envelope, but that place only open once a week, the location is different, and the guards, more than imagined to be able to enter it, are all powerful characters in Shanghai City, the status and position of each of them is extraordinary, if you really want to go there, I advise you to be prepared, in addition to the contents of the envelope, she also inquired, the Tang family, as well as other forces, invited a number of experts outside, in the past, there weren't many bodyguards who could fight inside Shanghai City. Those with top hands were even counted on one hand, but today was different, especially since Wang Datong's son had died outside, and Chen Ze was having breakfast in the Wang group in a bright and honorable manner, moreover, many of the higher-ups were worried about their own lives, because of this, a bizarre piece of information appeared on the street in a short period of time, that is, as long as you have the ability, capacity, and dare to sacrifice your life, the Tang family will dare to pay. Whatever price you want, whether you want money, a woman, or anything else, as long as you want it, the Tang family can take it. So much so that many fierce men with great skills have come to Shanghai City one after another, Chen Ze, you must think clearly, before, there were only two forces in Shanghai City, domestic and foreign, but now it has become a mixed bag, and many outlaws have entered the city at the call of the Tang family, if you really want to go to the heavenly world, you will most likely be attacked by the enemy on your back, and the consequences will be unimaginable, she picked up the envelope and handed it to Chen Ze, Although Ning Miaoshu was afraid of Chen Ze in her heart, she was her savior after all, she didn't want Chen Ze to get into trouble, and Chen Ze can do a lot of things, even give her father a chance to relieve the pressure, a lot of things can be done slowly, not necessarily too hastily. Chen Ze received the envelope, but only opened it to take a look, inside is the address of the heavenly world, as well as the rules of entry, more importantly, now from the heavenly world, the time to open again, there are two days or so, two days later, seven o'clock in the evening, you can go to the designated place, enter the heavenly world, thanks for the stuff, Chen Ze put the envelope in his pocket and turned to leave. Looking back at this, Ning Miaoshu opened her mouth, always feeling vaguely uncomfortable in her heart, she dared to pack her bags, this time, when the heavenly world opened, it was bound to be accompanied by ambushes, and experts from all walks of life were gathering, whether or not she could get in alive was a question. Not to mention the time to leave, once you are deeply surrounded, even if you have a monstrous ability, there is only one way to die, I hope you will be alright, Ning Miaoshu shook her head and returned to the Yellow Sea Clubhouse, and the surroundings were quiet again, 
the night was beautiful, but in this bustling city, the sky full of stars cannot be seen, only around the transparent lights, reflecting the lights of this place. Chen Zhe followed the path and arrived at the neighborhood of Bar Street, the same alley as last time, he saw Gu Jiajia washing dishes in the back of the kitchen, the dim light fell on the girl's clear face and a few strands of hair fell from her ears, adding a bit of beauty. Moreover, today's Gu Jiajia, deliberately wearing earrings, crystal clear feeling, compared to before, more soft and beautiful, she seemed to notice that someone was looking at her, Gu Jiajia raised her head and met Chen Zhe's cold eyes, but she was not as scared as before, today, Chen Zhe wore a white coat, his hands were always in his pockets, and he even looked like a doctor, Gu Jiajia looked up and down in surprise. She quickly shook her head again, dismissing the thought in her mind, how? Could a madman become a doctor? If he went mad on the way to the operating room, wouldn't he endanger the patient's life? I'm afraid there is no hospital that would allow a madman to be the attending doctor. Last time, thank you, Gu Jiajia was the first to speak, her voice was crisp and clear, like a wind chime softly ringing, coupled with the movement of ruffling her hair, the playfulness of the young girl was on full display, but at that moment, the door was opened, a slightly overweight figure with a bandaged face stepped out, Gu Jiajia. The pool was not clean today, another customer complained, I said, if this happens again, I'll have to deduct your money at the end of the month, since the last time you were beaten up, lost a large sum of money, the fat-headed boss began to be harsh with the staff, wanted to get the money back from the employees. Gu Jiajia, the best bully, became the target of his daily beatings, Gu Jiajia could guarantee that there was absolutely nothing wrong with the dishes she washed, especially the day before yesterday after being scolded once, she washed the dishes with extra care, as a result, she was much more tired than usual, but it was under such circumstances, the other side was still deliberately making it difficult for her. As a result, Gu Jiajia could already predict that next month's salary would again be a large sum of money less, just as the majestic, obese restaurant owner, pointed at Gu Jiajia, he was about to say something. But there is a pair of big hands, silently grabbed the clothes behind his back, nearly 200 pounds of weight, but like a dead dog, without half the ability to resist, was dragged into the depths of the alley, the obese boss turned around in shock and saw a face he couldn't even imagine, it was the same madman who had beaten him into a bloody and miserable state earlier, and he had thought of taking revenge. He even went to a bar street to find many friends, however, every time he came to a critical moment, he remembered Chen Zhe's sick, insane, tyrannical face and involuntarily trembled with fear, in the end, he still gave up on this crazy idea. But when that person, appeared in front of him again, the obese boss panicked, alarmed, an inexplicable emotion that rose up over his heart, big, big brother, are you short of money again? Want money, you directly say, ah, uh, how much I still do not give, this time you cannot hit me, the obese boss showed a pandering smile, he was just begging Chen Zhe to let him go, but in the face of his pleas, Chen Zhe just shook his head, I have money, just itchy hands, the obese boss shouted, followed by a pig-killing scream in the dark corner. Gu Jiajia, who was standing next to the sink, saw that the boss who had been so cruel to himself in the past was like a lamb in front of Chen Zhe, she also unconsciously let out a laugh, the screaming continued for almost 10 minutes, the employees inside the restaurant also came out quite a bit, but none of them were willing to help, without him, this boss was too harsh, they had been complaining for a long time, and there were already a number of people who had resigned, in this situation. Who would go up to help this pig-like iron rooster? Unless they were brain dead, ten minutes passed, the obese boss limped out. The wounds on his face had grown considerably, the bandages that hadn't been removed earlier were scattered all over his body, making him look miserable, he could vaguely see that blood was gushing from the wounds, however, the obese boss didn't even dare to say a word, being beaten crooked mouth, with some crying voice said, big, big brother, next time you have itchy hands, can you change someone else? If you continue to fight like this, you will have to die, and you do not have a light hand, if it is not more flesh, I am afraid that you have already been killed, nothing he said was a lie, the man who dragged him deep into the alley. As if his head was not normal, the blows he threw were all aimed at death, he couldn't wait to hit the vitals, and with the experience of the last time, when he was hit this time, his head swayed even more, he dodged many deadly blows, it was also clear that the person who hit him was most likely a madman, he glanced at Gu Jiajia who was not far away, he always had the feeling that when he came out earlier, Gu Jiajia was talking to that person, however, he wasn't quite sure if it was Gu Jiajia or not, but the person in the white coat behind him had disappeared long ago, and even if he turned around to look for him and ask, he wouldn't necessarily say anything, disappeared too fast, it was the same as the clothes that grabbed his back earlier. 
God's spirit, he didn't even notice someone approaching and he was already picked up, right, just picked up, his weight of 200 pounds, the other party lifted his clothes, the cloth was almost torn, but he picked him up hard, this is your mother, one hand can pick up 200 pounds of things, how much strength must she have? Besides, they were in a bar street, they knew more or less what was going on outside, in particular, the crown prince of the Wang group, Wang Dong, is dead, he was the little bully of the bar street, an existence that no one dared to mess with. But now, they haven't even found the body, recently, it is better to keep a low profile, come too many strong people, a careless, offended the wrong person, how to lose their lives do not know, he always felt, these two beatings of his own, must have something to do with Gu Jiejie. He just couldn't find any evidence, let alone the existence of that person, he didn't dare to give Gu Jiejie a hard time. He just glanced at Gu Jiejie as he passed by, then he said to the employees around him I, I still have. To go to the hospital, the restaurant is in your hands, and recently the city is too chaotic, there are a lot of desperados, I was beaten things must not be told. Otherwise you lose your life is small, implicate me, do not blame me for turning the other cheek, finished limping hotel boss, driving their own broken Volkswagen, rushed in the direction of the hospital, do not dare to have half a stop, fearing that the child did not get angry, and came back to hit him one more time, this time, Chen Zhe did not go to the home of the mother and daughter, because he knew, if he ran to their home often, he would always be discovered, no matter what, he found a room that hadn't been rented yet, climbed in through the window, the surroundings were dark, but it didn't affect Chen Zhe's vision, he climbed onto the bed and fell asleep. As he waited until midnight, there were some loud noises coming from outside, Chen Zhe frowned, climbed up, and realized that there were many more black-suited people wandering around in the middle of the city village, there was no doubt about it, they must be the people from the Tang family, they had gone to great lengths and spent an unknown amount of money to capture Chen Zhe, they even put out a bounty on the street. Anyone who can provide Chen Zhe's location, if the location is accurate and the person is captured, they can receive a reward of $100,000, if the location is accurate and the person is captured, the amount of money that can be obtained ranges from $1 million to $10 million, from this, it can be seen that the Tang family wants to capture Chen Zhe's heart after all. Even the village in the middle of the city was covered with the eyes of the Tang family, it seemed like these people had become impatient, ordinary bodyguards were nothing to him, however, in the crowd, a bearded man in a white leisure suit caught Chen Zhe's attention. The steps of this person are very stable, very heavy, to release a subtle atmosphere, just intuition, Chen Zhe decided that this person could not be underestimated. At the same time, it also made Chen Zhe an inexplicable. Excitement rose in his heart, he wanted to fight this man, inside the room, he found a cup. He threw it at the bearded man below, who was wearing a white leisure suit, there was only a thud, the cup exploded at the man's feet, shards of glass, all over the floor. When the man raised his head, he was met by the cold and provocative eyes of Chen Zhe, Chen Zhe then climbed out of the window, he just stood on the roof of the building, as if he was quietly waiting for something, the bearded man in the white leisure suit, who was also stunned, immediately read Chen Zhe's meaning, just looking. At the bearded man in the white leisure suit, his mouth fell open, this kid was truly arrogant and conceited. Even though he had done a lot of things in this period of time that had caused even the Tang family headaches, but he was overconfident, as someone who had been personally invited by the Tang family, he had also paid a small price and even that arrogant character of his elder brother could only lower his voice in front of him, from here, one could see that his strength was far superior to that of his elder brother. Otherwise, there would have been no need to travel a thousand miles to invite him, since you want to fight, I'll accompany you in a fight, the man in the white leisure suit with the scarred face twisted his neck, took out his cell phone again, edited a text message on it. Senior brother, I've already found the person, get the stuff ready, in half an hour, I'll personally bring someone to pick it up, the person who received the text message over there was none other than Emo Zhendong, who was wearing a black leisure suit when he heard that his senior brother had already found someone, a few moments of ecstasy appeared on his face, earlier, his elder brother was ready to leave, it was only after he was persuaded by him that he came back, coincidentally, they had just received some news, it said that someone had seen Chen Zhe in the city village, even though it was just a suspicion, nevertheless, they brought a large number of men with them, they started searching for traces of Chen Zhe, as a result, he arrived less than an hour later, their own elder brother found the target, he just sent a message to his own elder brother. But there was no reply, he could only quickly take out his walkie-talkie, he opened his mouth and asked the other bodyguards, where is my elder brother now? Send the coordinates to the group, I'll be right there, after saying these words, sure enough, someone sent the coordinates to the cell phone group, 
he immediately led his men to the eastern side of the village, when he arrived at the designated place, however, his elder brother and the target's figure had long been invisible, while the surrounding bodyguards pointed to the roof of the building, just now, Mr. Mo's elder brother had already climbed up, later, our people went after them, but, they could not find the two of them, and now they do not know where they are. Hearing the words of the bodyguard chief, Mo Zhendong frowned after a long time and then stretched out, with my elder brother's ability, even if it is me, I can only retreat, even if it is a gold medal fighter under the hands of Tang Hao, can only end in hatred, in a single combat situation, this kid should not be able to win, and it can even be said that he is bound to lose, now, all we have to do is wait quietly for the good news from my elder brother, after saying these words, Mo Zhendong, led his men to search the river and set up defenses, as soon as his elder brother won the battle, send the position over, they immediately went over to arrest him, when the surrounding bodyguards saw the Tang family martial arts experts, they all said so. Coupled with the fact that they didn't have to risk their lives, they all sighed in relief, in fact, such a battle was not something they could take part in, just like in the Wang family's mansion, there were 50 people, as a result, they weren't even a fart in front of others, the Tang family martial sect was a group of experts that the Tang family had specialized in and spent a lot of money to raise, during the week. These people have nothing to do and can enjoy everything that others can't. But once something happens, these people have to give up their lives to help the Tang family, it is also because of the existence of this group of people that the Tang family has been the apparent leader of Shanghai City to this day. The bearded man in the white shirt, who was very fast, had a death grip on Chen Zhe's back, the two of them shuttled across the roof of a building, even though they were only five or six meters away, there were tens of thousands of feet of buildings below them, and they would still jump over them without hesitation, no one knew how long they had been running, Chen Zhe suddenly stopped, bent down slightly, and took a fighting stance. The bearded man in the white shirt stopped even more, raised his hand, and said under the south fist, Mo Yuan Shan, I have come to teach you, the words fell, feet back a brace, speed like a downhill tiger, pounce, although there had been many derogatory remarks about Chen Zhe in the past, but when it came to the real battle, Mo Yuan Shan did not take it lightly, as the saying goes, a lion fights a rabbit with all its might. This was the case with Mo Yuan Shan, Chen Zhe also had no intention of underestimating his opponent, his boxing style was chaotic, or rather, there was no boxing style at all, had he just gotten out of the mental hospital. Or maybe he was now, the way he fought, he actually relied on instinct for the most part, both men threw their punches very fast, one could barely see the shadow of the other's fist, Mo Yuan Shan even used his fists and feet together, his side leg kick was blocked by Chen Zhe, and he started to roll over and back up with his feet against the concrete pillar behind him, he pushed his body forward. Another dynasty double flying kick, kicking at Chen Zhe's head, this kick would have landed on the body of a bystander, even if it had been his elder brother, he would have been crushed on the spot, however, it was Chen Zhe who violently threw his arm and smashed it on his waist, only to hear a pitiful scream. Mo Yuan Shan landed heavily on the ground, all the previous words of high praise were now transformed into a shocked, inexplicable expression, it was because during the entire battle, he felt that his opponent's attacks were chaotic, it was so chaotic that it couldn't be seen at all, this was different from the experts he usually fought, who had their moves in order and couldn't even grasp the pattern of their opponent's strikes. Just like drinking and guessing, some people like to guess 4 points, others like to guess 7 points, most of them have a fixed way, also like Kun boxing, as long as a pose, pull his black and white double shoulder straps, you know he is going to play basketball. Favor this weekday experience, before Chen Zhe did not have half the role, so much so that at the end of the fight, Mo Yuanshan's face was black, after the double flying leg and being smashed in the waist by the throwing arm, Mo Yuanshan was at a disadvantage and was even pushed to the edge of the fence several times, he almost fell off a 10 meter high building, his scalp went numb just thinking about it. His heart was pounding with fear, seeing that it was impossible to fight, Mo Yuanshan gritted his teeth and decided to leave here first. He used his back kick to push the other party back, turned around to jump to another building, but the result was that he had not even jumped yet, he was grabbed by Chen Zhe's pants leg, his body was off balance, if it hadn't been for Chen Zhe grabbing his pants leg, I'm afraid I would have fallen, Mo Zhendong and the others who had just rushed down below. It was as if something was falling from a great height, his steps went backwards, only to see a black mobile phone, with a bang, it hit the ground and shattered into pieces, Mo Zhendong's eyebrows jumped violently, he looked up, he immediately sucked in a mouthful of cool air, only to see that on weekdays, even his elder brother, who could only retreat, was hanging from the roof of the fourth floor, head down if he fell, even if he was a practitioner, he could only end up with a grudge. 
Furthermore, Emo Yuan Shan was the leader of Ma Jia Fist, and he had personally invited them back, if something went wrong with his elder brother, he really didn't dare to imagine what kind of wrath he would have to endure, I'm afraid it won't be long before he'll be pushed to the brink of extinction as well, brother, let's discuss this. As long as you pull my elder brother up, I will no longer question the affairs of the Tang family, but if you throw someone down, it won't just be the Tang family that will be offended, and the consequences won't be anything you can foresee, but the words just fell out, Chen Ze, who was upstairs, smiled grimly, the hand holding his pants leg loosened, Mo Yuan Shan's eyes widened, and his calm face gradually revealed a few moments of fear, how could he have never imagined that he, the leader of the Mo family, would actually collapse here? To know, during these ten years, the Mo family had poured their heart and soul into him, after he died, it was truly unimaginable what kind of storm would be unleashed. In front of me was this young man who didn't look too old, in fact, he came out of the madhouse, if he thought about the consequences, he wouldn't be crazy, the moment the hand was released, everyone's heart was in their throat, even Emo Zhendong downstairs, his pupils couldn't stop contracting, an inexplicable feeling of fear enveloped his entire body, he could already imagine what kind of wrath he, the untalented Emo family disciple, would suffer, if the Emo family were to grudge him once, it would be tantamount to insulting the entire Southern Fist clan, not even the Tang family would dare to say that they could save him. Senior brother, Mo Zhendong's voice was a bit hoarse, he rushed over, the surrounding people saw this scene and also gathered around, and some people even broke the glass of the shop next to them, pulling out a number of paper boxes containing clothes, falling Mo Yuan Shan, in the air, hanging on a dozen wires, accompanied by crackling sounds, the huge feeling of falling down, and then smashed on the air conditioning machine outside. He only felt a dizzy sensation in his brain, and a sharp pain came from his skin, which was scorched black after being electrocuted, when he regained his senses, he saw his elder brother close by, he reached out his hand in a deadly attempt to grab him. But immediately after that, there was another muffled sound, as well as the sound of bones breaking in his hand, if it hadn't been for those paper boxes containing clothes, the consequences would have been unimaginable, even if a lot of power was removed in the middle but Mo Yuan Shan still felt that several bones in his body were broken, especially his left thigh, which was smashed on the air conditioner. Now has long been soaked in blood, there are also a lot of smashed on the wires, bursting. Sparks has been burned black clothes and skin, clothes on the plastic, cotton, and his burnt flesh and blood stuck together, a look, miserable, there was a strong stench of burning, the elder brother who caught Mo Yuan Shan's hands was directly broken, and it was questionable whether he could recover or not. With a dark face, he looked up, glanced at Chen Zhe above him with a lowered face, and spitefully said I, Mo Zhendong, will not share heaven with you, but what answered him. However, it was only a pair of pupils that were extremely cold, there was also a hint of contempt in his eyes, he said, even your elder brother, Mo Yuan Shan, even your elder brother Mo Yuan Shan is no match for me, not to mention that he is now shattered and his hands are broken, are you still not sharing the same heaven with yourself? Or first worry about worry, will not be their own revenge, cannot live out of Shanghai city, harsh words are put down, they were also accompanied by many bodyguards, rushed to the hospital and notified the Tang family at the first time, in response, the Tang family also paid special attention, they were well aware of the power of the Mo family of the southern school, today, Shanghai city was already in a state of turmoil. It had become a chaotic mess, if you insult the Mo family, you'll make such a big enemy for nothing, so it's not wise, take him to the best hospital, hire the best doctor, all expenses will be paid by our Tang family, an order was given, the surrounding hospitals all moved, a large number of specialists in surgery, orthopedics and neurology gathered at Jinhui Private Hospital, they were afraid that the whole process would go wrong, after a series of tests, Mo Yuan Shan was saved, a total of Seven bones had been broken, there was also a large area of burns, and the leg was even more severely damaged. The muscles were all cut in large pieces, as for elder brother Mo Zhendong, his hands were broken, although they were reattached, they were still severely damaged, as he lay in the middle of the hospital room, his gaze was incomparably dull, the strength he was proud of, now it was all taken away from him, it also meant that he could no longer be used by the Tang family, even if he could stay in the Tang family. He would still be an invalid, Mo Yuan Shan on the other hospital bed, seeing his own. Elder brother worrying, he said with a bitter face, it's normal to be beaten to death if your skills aren't as good as others, although you have problems with your hands, don't forget that our Mo family fist, legs are even more powerful. Tomorrow, you will return to the Mo family with me, as long as you practice your legs, you will have your day of reckoning, Mo Yuan Shan's words made his eyes turn slightly red, 
but he also knew, the elder brother was telling the truth, according to the current situation, those paper and gold lives would eventually leave him, they would stay in Shanghai city, but a mirror, sooner or later, there would be a day when he would be abandoned by the Tang family, instead of that, it would be better to return to the M.O. family with his elder brother, at least this time, he had been spared his hands, and he had his elder brother's credit, which would prevent him from being an outcast in the sect, and with this incident, his elder brother would no longer be prejudiced against him as long as he could practice his leg techniques. He would be able to return to Shanghai city one day, since my elder brother has spoken, I am willing to return to the south with my elder brother tomorrow, as for the fist recipe that the Tang family talked about, they promised to bring it to us before we leave, the reason why Mo Yuan Shan came here, it's because the Tang family promised a boxing manual, it can make up for the shortcomings of Mo's fist. Since the mission has been accomplished, the boy who came out of the madhouse whether he lives or dies, it's no longer their concern, besides, I'm afraid that if tonight's events get out, it will cause another riot, I'm afraid it will cause another riot, Mo Yuan Shan raised his head and looked into the dark night, there was always a feeling that things would change, and in fact, it might not be a bad thing to get out of this vortex sooner. Who is Mo Yuan Shan? He was one of the leaders of the younger generation of the Southern School, he is known for his strength throughout the South, once, he suppressed many factions in the South with his own strength, and couldn't even raise his head, but he was such a person, on an uneventful night, he was beaten and fell from the fourth floor, almost losing his life, when this thing came out, it could be described as a storm, and even the top management of the Tang family was shaken one by one, in a certain mysterious mansion, Tang Tianxing was sitting on the main seat, there were two factions, they were the people from the main house and the side branches, each side didn't look at the other very favorably. Now they were all gathered in this huge mansion, you look at me, I look at you, big eyes looking at little eyes, grandpa, I think it's better to raise the bounty, if one Mo Yuan Shan doesn't work, then two, three, ten until he's convinced, now everyone in the big house wants to provoke Chen Ze and have Tang Hao killed, because Tang Hao was also a young man of high reputation in the side branch. And his achievements were among the best in the entire Tang family, it is only because of Tang Hao's existence that the branch has the capital to fight against the main house, who can stand it. But the attitude of the people in the branch is diametrically opposite. Grandfather, we absolutely agree with forcing that boy from the madhouse to die, but Tang Hao is a rare young master of the family, and his contribution is indelible, if we see him die, won't we chill the hearts of the family's descendants? As a result, the words of the side branch had just ended, in the main room, a woman with a slightly sour expression tugged at her sable cloak, with a face full of contempt, she said now that Tang Hao's life and death are uncertain, how much power have we all used and what is the result? Where we are now is not even known, to waste so much manpower and resources just for Tang Hao. Even if we give up this person now, our Tang family is still benevolent, at one time, Tang Hao had sacrificed a lot, in the vast Tang family, he held absolute power, if they could get their hands on those rights, for them, there is no harm and no gain, they would even be able to knock down the side branches again, they will be able to regain power in the main house, but for all of these years, none of the young men in the main house has been good enough for them, nor was it enough to support the huge family business, otherwise, it wouldn't have come to this, do you see that the people from the side branches still want to say something? Tang Tiancheng at the head of the table, his whiskers and hair all white on his face, showed a few moments of unruffled authority, he rebuked, what time is it that you are still thinking about competing for power, the people above have issued a death order, this child must die, today our Tang family seems brilliant, but the generation of young people is not as good as the generation, we've lost our determination long ago. If we continue like this, it's doubtful that the Tang family will be able to stay on top, his eyes swept coldly across the room, and the people present all bowed their heads, that sneering woman wrapped in a mink coat seemed somewhat reluctant. But she was pulled back by his man, if you make grandpa angry again, I will stop your bank card, when the woman in the mink coat heard this, she also gritted her teeth and decided not to say anything more, in her heart, however, there were a few moments of irritation, no matter how much more, they were the main house. Back then, it wasn't even a problem that great-grandpa had brought so many wives from outside, later, he even brought his illegitimate children back to the Tang family, now. After such a long time, their bloodline is not as pure as his, is grandpa willing to hand over the family business to these side branches? Mo Yuan Shan's strength in the whole south is considered to be a ranking figure. But lost in a child from the madhouse out, I always feel inside, there are unknown secrets, finally, the big brother of the main room, Tang Yun, walked out, 
brows deadly frown together, the underworld seems to have a big invisible hand, driving all this, even the control of the side branch, Tang Bing, a mature woman around 30 years old, also went to the center. I sent someone to investigate everything in the mental hospital, that kid couldn't have learned this skill for nothing, but. What's strange is that no matter what means we used, what we investigated was a flat white sheet of paper, this matter, no wonder they are not careful, because the more they look down, the more they feel full of craziness. They never believe that what is self-taught, not to mention, in the mental hospital there weren't even many books to read, you expect a person who has been locked up in a mental hospital for four years and hasn't seen the sun to suddenly learn a great martial art, isn't that just a joke? Even Tang Tiancheng, who was in first place, unconsciously frowned and didn't stretch for a long time, this matter is indeed quite strange, I have also read all the information about this child, and ordinary mental illness is no different. On the contrary, even Mo Yuan Shan, the leader of the South School, could only drink hatred in the Northwest, without a great master like Mo Yuan Shan, it's impossible for him to achieve such a feat, Mo Beha, the great-grandfather of the Mo family, is powerful enough, isn't he? Now that he is 115 years old, he was once called a boxing master, taught by disciples all over the north and south of the river, Mo Yuan Shan is such a boxing expert, personally taught by the disciple, but the result. Facing a madman who did not even know his name, but lost so completely, if there was no foul play, who would believe it? Tang Tianxing supported his temples with his hands, his fingertips gently kneading, and he didn't know how long it had been, everyone around him became quiet. They all shared the same doubt, who was the master behind Chen Zhe, the one who had taught him everything. Or maybe the other party had planned this, all of this was a trap set up four years ago, was it to uproot the Tang family, that deep-rooted tree? If that's the case, who on earth had the ability to hide things to such an extent? Even with all their resources, they couldn't find a single clue, if there really is someone behind that child and they can't give us any clues, it's most likely the same character as above, if that's the case, I'm afraid we're in trouble. Also, check out all the information about this kid before he went to the mental hospital, from birth to the mental hospital, he must be thoroughly investigated otherwise don't blame me as a grandfather for not treating you as my family, the people around him nodded hastily, in their hearts, they began to speculate that behind this Chen Zhe, there really was a figure that even they couldn't fathom, that they couldn't see through. If that was the case, then this raging storm was a little too terrifying, even Tang Yun and Tang Bing, who usually fought in secret, looked at each other at this moment. There seemed to be a sense of sharing the same enemy and shaking hands, after all, the Tang family was like that, outside, there was still a group of outsiders watching intently, if the internal friction continues, sooner or later, something will go terribly wrong, no matter what, we have to save Tang Hao, but as for this madman, we will also do our best, Tang Bing coldly looked at the people of the big house. Before the rest of the big house could speak, Tang Yun raised his hand, we will also do our best to rescue Tang Hao, the main enemy at the moment is still this brat who came out of the asylum, as well as the outsiders who have been making waves lately, in the meantime, we won't give the henchmen any more trouble, and we also hope that you can control the people below you. Tang Yun held out his own hand and calmly looked at the other party, Tang Bing nodded and gently shook the other party's hand, leading his people away, on the other side, Chen Zhe, who had dissolved Mo Yuan Shan, didn't know where he was going, and grabbed a backpack, wearing a white coat, he carried a camouflage backpack with his hands in his pockets, when he arrived at the street, he prepared to get something to fill his stomach. After last night's events everyone in the entire town had retreated, even Mo Yuan Shan almost died in the city village, not to mention the bodyguards who only know three-legged kung fu, if you leave them in the village, you won't even know how to die. Still this street, still this breakfast stall, in the cool morning, the old trees on both sides of the street were green and lush, a ray of the rising sun rises in the east, shining on Gu Jiejie's face, she coldly rubs a pair of small hands, will be around the things, a little bit on the stall, Chen Zhe walked over and opened his mouth, 30 meat buns, 5 cups of soy milk, Gu Jiejie froze when she heard that familiar voice. She knew it was Chen Zhe who had come, still wearing the same white coat from last night, his hands were in his pockets, but the left side of the robe was a little dirty, and there were several footprints on the right side. They were all left behind during the fierce fight with Mo Yuan Shan last night, but when Gu Jiejie saw them, she obviously misunderstood that they were left behind by the restaurant owner when he helped her last night, those autumn watery eyes, clear with some softness, filled him with 30 meat buns and 5 cups of soy milk, there will be no charge for you this time, besides, I haven't seen you running anywhere in the past few days. Shanghai city has been in chaos lately, so you have to be careful, 
the reason why Gu Jiejie knows all this, it's because her alcoholic stepfather is out again, as an old gangster on a bar street, at that age, no one would ask him for anything, but now even her old man is out, and often comes back with a lot of money. Think with your but no, Shanghai city must have a big problem, but what she does not know is, all the storms that have occurred today, it's all related to Chen Zhe, who wears a white coat, he is the one who has stirred up the whole of Shanghai city, causing the many forces in Shanghai city to be strengthened, after receiving the meat buns and soy milk, Chen Zhe threw out a hundred dollar bill and just wanted to say something. His own cell phone vibrated slightly, he frowned and took out his phone, inside was a call from Sun Long. Chen Zhe pressed the answer button and a moment later, a harsh voice came from over there, Brother Chen, something big has happened, just last night, the Wang family, including Wang Datong, and even some of his right-hand men have inexplicably disappeared, even the Wang group was burned by a fire, Wang's dozens of industries have been extensively purged, and now there is not even a fart left, the urgent voice over there, already able to imagine, Sun Long is afraid that he is dancing on his hands, Sun Long said all this, it also reminded Chen Zhe when he left the hospital, what Mrs. Su said. We have also prepared a big gift for Mr. Chen, what exactly is it, I think Mr. Chen will find out soon, could it be that the big gift she was talking about was the destruction of the Wang family? Chen Zhe frowned and loaded the large bag of buns in his hand one by one into the backpack behind him, leaving only four or five behind, he turned his head and left, the direction was exactly the Wang group's building, only Gu Jiejie was left, she looked at the hundred dollars that Chen Zhe did not take, opened her mouth, and when she looked up, she could not find anyone, she wanted to save up to go to Mo, and now she had almost managed to save up, and she wanted to save up to go to Mo, she wanted to save money for the trip to Mo, and now she had saved almost all of it, after she went to Mo, she would change places, find a school, and study again. At that time will not return to Shanghai City, is estimated to be a problem, think of it as his financial support, and later, when she has money, she will return it to him. Gu Jiejie sighed, lifted her hair by her earlobe, and started shouting again, it took two hours to sell out the breakfast, these few days, his stepfather didn't beat her anymore either, maybe because he had something to do, maybe because he regularly received a large sum of money, a lot of things were added to the house. And there was a lot of peace and quiet, even the smile on her mother's face began to change, sometimes, Gu Jiejie thought, how good it would be if life could be maintained like this, but she was clear, as long as the problems above Shanghai City were solved, there was no need to use his stepfather as an old gangster. Without her income, she would return to her old painful and torturous life, they must take advantage of this time when they were in a good mood to save enough money and leave as soon as possible, Gu Jiejie clenched his little fist, he started to pack the things from the breakfast stall, however, two hours later, Chen Zhe rushed to the bottom of the Wang group's building, which had become charred in the distance, living up to its former glory. Wang group, the head snake of Shanghai City, one of the two mad dogs under the hands of the Tang family, was an unattainable existence for everyone, once I do not know how many people are envious of the Wang family today's position, but when the Wang family, in a very short period of time, after the family broke, they began to celebrate, perhaps not standing in this position is also a good thing, beside the charred black building that was abandoned and still smoldering with fire, Chen Zhe also saw an old woman, all jewel-encrusted and extremely well-groomed, on the surface, she looked like she was 35 or 36 years old, but in reality, who knew her real age? However, the woman's face had some similar features to Wang Dong's, standing stupidly in front of the building, she could not stop crying, am I really wrong? I am the one who spoiled him too much, if I hadn't done everything, would have followed his wishes. If I didn't meet his demands every time, if I had taught him well, would things have been different? The woman cried, her voice hoarse, from time to time someone carried one or two charred bodies out of the ruins, soon, Wang Datong was also dug out, his face has long been burned, if not because of the left hand, once because of the fracture, equipped with a brace, and expensive, extremely easy to recognize, I'm afraid that they cannot confirm, this dead person is who, looking at her own husband ended up like this. This 35 6 year old woman, just cried and sat on the floor paralyzed, last night, Wang Datong seemed to have a premonition, his days were numbered, he explained a lot of things to her, and since he woke up yesterday morning, consciously or unconsciously, Wang Datong has begun to avoid his loved ones, obviously clear, if he stayed with his family, it would only drag them down, he also tried to call the Tang family, but last night, all the Tang family's attention was on the downtown village and Chen Zhe, so how could they care about Wang Datong? Especially after Mo Yuanshan's accident. The Tang family mobilized everything they could, just to cure Mo Yuanshan, 
by the time they responded, the Wang family was gone, Wang Datong was burnt to death in his own house, it was such a tragic scene, the people passing by didn't just feel sorry for them, it was because what the Wang family had done over the years could be described as the wrath of heaven, it was as if all the benefits had been taken by the Tang family. But the bad reputation was all borne by the Wang family, so although the Wang family was prospering day by day, it had reached the point where even wild dogs were disliked, after Wang Datong's death, all kinds of black cars were parked next to the burnt building. The first one to come down was Zhou Buwei, as one of the two evil dogs under the Tang family, the news of Wang Datong's death was like a nightmare in Zhou Buwei's mind, he spent the whole morning in a state of confusion and fear, he hastily summoned a large number of bodyguards, he had his driver drive the car to the front of the Wang group building, based on the other party's age, he was five years older than Zhou Buwei. As he walked up to the bejeweled old woman, Zhou Buwei sighed, sister-in. La, I am sorry for your loss, brother Wang doesn't want to see you today, she saw someone arrive. The jewel-encrusted old woman cried even more, she viciously looked at Zhou Buwei beside her, one by one inch their fists clashed, Zhou Buwei didn't move or dodge, he just stood there and let the fists of the bejeweled old woman fall, why wasn't it you who died? Why is it my husband? You are all fine, but my husband, my son, all gone, she cried miserably, but she didn't think about it, all these years, her husband, how many innocent people were killed, her son, how many poor young girls had been brutalized, the pain that others had endured was just given back to them, but at this point, she couldn't take it anymore. Of course, Zhou Buwei also knew that they had done the things that made heaven and earth angry, he did not deny it, perhaps he deserved to die as well, sooner or later, his turn would come, Wang Datong's death gave him the cold feeling of a rabbit dying, and even his eyes became incredibly cloudy, perhaps the evil things we have done over the years are indeed too many, now that we have enjoyed fame, wealth, and status. It is time to give it back, one sentence, bringing the old woman in front. Of her to a screeching halt, wide-eyed, unable to say half a word, is she a good person? Obviously not, you could even say she is an outlaw, there were countless people who offended her during the day, who were directly or indirectly killed by her, even a pet dog kept in the house. If you accidentally scratched them, you would be worse than dead, so much so that the servants she hired were afraid of her, when they were in front of her, they were all a little shy, because she is not a good person, her husband has also harmed countless people, even her dead son is full of crimes, who is she to complain? Who is she to cry here? She is, it's someone else's grief, how can they appreciate it when it doesn't affect them? I don't care, Cosmos is dead, and so is Tongue, you must avenge them, otherwise, even as a ghost, I will not let you go, Zhou Buwei nodded solemnly, but in his heart, but there was no semblance of certainty, revenge. How long he could live was an unknown question, what was there to talk about? Just as he raised his head, looking into the distance, he accidentally met an icy face, wearing a white coat with a camouflage backpack behind it, with both hands in his pockets, he noticed Zhou Buwei, the man in the white coat, looking at him, but he just grinned, paired with the charred and smoldering building next to him, it was even more terrifying, Chen Ze, his voice was a bit disorganized, slurred. The woman next to him was also filled with confusion, but when the woman turned her head, Chen Ze had already turned his back and walked away step by step with a calm face, obviously, there were many bodyguards around. The enemy the Tang family wanted to kill was right in front of them, but in Zhou Buwei's heart, he felt a pang of fear, these people dared to stand in front of him, they even dared to look at him, people were able to calmly walk away step by step, slowly, without the slightest bit of timidity or fear, let alone hiding in nervousness, wasn't that enough to prove how useless they were? Zhou Buwei was lost in thought for a long time, a full ten minutes had passed without any reaction, he waited until he heard the honking of cars around them again, it was the Tang family's convoy that had arrived, the first one to go down was Tang Bing, the helmswoman of the side branch, a woman in her thirties, beautiful to the core, and pierced by a coldness, so far, she had passed her prime. However, because of the coldness in her body, people always dared not approach her, and she had been alone until now, if there were no surprises, I'm afraid Tang Bing would never get married in this life, Getting out of the car, Tang Bing looked at the burnt-out building in front of her and shook her head helplessly, Zhou Buwei asked quickly, is it the boy's surname Chen? After seeing Chen Ze just now, he subconsciously thought that it was Chen Ze who burned down the mansion last night and forced Wang Datong to die, but Tang Bing shook his head, last night, the M.O. family of the Southern faction, the leader of the younger generation, M.O. Yuan Shan, and his elder brother, M.O. Zhendong, personally led people to the downtown village and found Chen Ze, but on the roof of the private house by the river, he was beaten by Chen Ze and fell down, almost dying, 
last night, that boy never left the village, so I can guarantee that it wasn't him, Zhou Buwei froze in his tracks, was it not that boy? Soon, he thought of another possibility, an outsider, recently, their Wang and Zhou families were like two mad dogs, biting the outsiders, countless dens and entertainment places were burned down, what is more, thousands of outsiders were injured, those who died as a result were not few, if it was an outsider, it wasn't surprising. But very quickly, he remembered what Tang Bing had just said, no, you just said that last night, the younger generation leader of the southern faction Mo family, Mo Yuan Shan, fought with that kid and almost lost his life. Tang Bing nodded, Mo Yuan Shan personally admitted that when he faced that kid, his chances of winning were less than 30%, and he also said that the kid probably did not use his full strength, and during the whole process, there were some hints of teasing him. That is to say, unless there is this aspect of everyone, personally out, otherwise, we do not take this child half of the law, hearing this explanation. Zhou Buwei took a deep breath of cool air, originally, he felt that he had already overestimated this kid, but now that he had heard Tang Bing say this, what was more, he felt a chill creeping up his spine, his soul couldn't stop trembling, the leader of the younger generation of the M.O. family of the southern faction had personally admitted that he couldn't beat this kid, the chances of winning were less than 30%, and just hearing that was unimaginable, his already clouded eyes took on an even more desperate look at this moment, he didn't know what to do next, Tang Bing patted his shoulder, don't worry, the Tang family has already given the order to hunt and kill, and the good hands on the road have begun to converge on Shanghai City, even the people above have promised to bring us a boxing expert. Datong Wang's death was just an accident, if we hadn't focused on the village last night, it wouldn't have been so easy for the outsiders to get their hands on him, we can only say that time is destiny, after saying that, Tang Bing shook his head and turned to the car, leaving one sentence before he left, also, Wang Datong is outside, there are some illegitimate children, I've already sent people to pick them up, in the future, let them take care of the rest of the Wang family's property. Seeing that the Tang family had not forgotten the dead Wang Datong, not far away, Zhou Buwei hastily promised down, and arranged for people to deal with a number of problems left behind by the Wang family, Wang Datong's death had sounded the alarm for everyone, today's Shanghai has become a mess. If you want to be as reckless as before, it is definitely a fool's errand, especially with the outsiders flooding into Shanghai city at this time, even the local forces had become incomparably restrained, but just when everyone had their eyes on the Wang family, they were looking at the Wang family, but did not know that there was a person who silently came to the station where Zhou Xuxue was, doorway, can still see too, put down bodyguards, Chen Zhe, who was wearing a white coat and holding a syringe in his hand, slowly walked over to the side of the hospital bed, Zhou Xuxue did not seem to have rested well, as she was lying on the bed and her breathing seemed to be a bit rapid, seemingly sensing something, she suddenly opened her eyes, she saw a figure holding a syringe, wearing a mask, wearing a white coat with some footprints on it, and squinting at her. If it were any other doctor, Zhou Xuxue might not be so alarmed, but it was those icy eyes that she was more than familiar with, there was no semblance of emotional color, and he was even looking at her with more than a little madness and sickness, looking at the syringe, it was already aimed at her, Zhou Xuxue desperately wanted to fight back and even climb up, but today, she had regained some sanity. The drug that had been injected last time was about to disappear after some time, she also had a cell phone in her hand, along with the fact that there were quite a few former friends who sent her pictures to let her know that Wang's building was on fire. But that wasn't the most important thing, the most important thing was that Wang Datong, the chairman of the Wang group, was also missing last night, even some of Wang Datong's right-hand men, they couldn't find any news, Zhou Xuxue was filled with fear, the moment she saw Chen Zhe, tears welled up in her eyes, her body could not stop shaking, and the smell of urine filled the ward, her voice was hoarse, her face was distorted, and her lips couldn't stop trembling, no, don't, let me go, I know. I'm wrong, ever since Chen Zhe came out of the mental hospital, she had hardly slept a single day. Even though she was in the hospital, even though she was surrounded by countless bodyguards watching over her, she knew herself well, Chen Zhe could enter the hospital silently once, then he could enter a second time, a third time, even five times, ten times, Chen Zhe could be in the middle of a mansion guarded by fifty bodyguards, he was able to take Wang Dong away openly and honestly, and he was able to silently wipe her neck here, when she saw Chen Zhe, her heart was filled with fear for a long time, dragging her tattered body back a little, but the wall was behind her, where could she retreat to? Chen Zhe didn't care if she agreed or not, the insulin-filled syringe in his hand, 
without hesitation, he plunged it into Zhou Xuxue's shoulder, together with the drug it was injected into Zhou Xuxue's body, she struggled for a few moments and her eyes kept turning white, immediately after that her expression showed a few moments of dullness, lying on the bed, she couldn't stop vomiting, dizziness, regurgitation, unbearable, all kinds of negative effects swept over her like a tidal wave. Until her legs stirred, completely lying on the bed and not moving, she did not die, but now it was even worse than death, she hated that Chen Zhe killed her directly, but the other party did not do so, instead, he looked at the bed with a mocking face. Zhou Xuxue, who shivered from time to time, turning around, he opened the ward door and took a step outside, the two bodyguards at the door looked at the teenager in horror, they did not even have the ability to resist, they had just been knocked down by Chen Zhe, and when they regained their senses, the matter was already over, they could only watch the figure in the white coat, step by step, he disappeared outside. But a total of 38 bodyguards were stationed here, but until that person came to the door of Zhou Xuxue's hospital room, however, none of them noticed or reported it. From here, it could be seen that Chen Zhe's abilities were terrifying in the end, when he was done with these things, Chen Zhe left the hospital and went to the riverside by himself, sitting under a tree, the sunlight shining through the gaps in the tree's canopy was like white dots, slightly beautiful, but Chen Zhe just lowered his head and took out the meat buns and soy milk from his backpack, while eating, he opened the map on his mobile phone. After confirming the address of Heavenly Palace, he planned to go there first to take a look, since the day after tomorrow was the day the place would open, it was just that I don't know, will the culprit with the female voice appear at the heavenly palace. After swallowing the last bite of bun, the two cups of soy milk beside him were also drunk by him. Satisfied and rubbing his stomach, he leaned against the tree and slept for two hours without realizing it until he was awakened by a loud noise, when he opened his eyes, he saw a middle-aged old punk holding a bottle of wine, with a red face and hair that looked like a chicken's nest, about 40 years old, he was commanding some youngsters, he was dragging a 15 or 16 year old girl towards the bridge hole next to him, one of the youngsters still holding a sack in his hand, obviously. They wanted to load the 15 or 16 year old girl inside, but when Chen Zhe took a closer look, he discovered that the young girl who was covered with her mouth and dragged into the bridge hole was actually his sister's best friend, Zhao Minor, 15 or 16 years old, just when the buds were ready to bloom. In addition, Zhao Minor was unusually fair-skinned, which contrasted sharply with the skin color of some of the young people next to her, Zhao Min Er, who wasn't very tall, didn't even have the strength to resist, she waved a pair of clean and white little hands, with tears in her eyes, combined with that small, delicate, and lovely appearance, ordinary people would not have been able to bear it. But those few young people who still look crazy, led by the old bottle-wielding gangster, dragged. The person onto the bridge, one of the youths even raised the wooden stick in his hand to hit Zhao Minor, however, he failed to notice that a person was lying on the tree-shaded grass not far away, he slowly climbed up and walked over to the bridge hole. He vaguely felt that Zhao Minor's business most likely had something to do with him and his sister, after all, he remembered that Zhao Minor had been transported in a private car since she was a child, and she had accompanied his sister to the madhouse many times, the snacks she brought were also much more refined than the next person's, very outspoken, according to his sister, according to his sister. She never thinks about the price of the food, and Zhao Minor always grabs the bill, whenever. Her sister mentioned Zhao Minor, she always felt embarrassed, the last time was in the alley when she was under siege, Zhao Minor also came to deliver a thousand paper cranes to pray for her sister's blessing, and ended up being dragged in, according to Zhao Minor's family circumstances. The average person shouldn't dare make a move against them, unless it's those people who want to take him out, there are outsiders on the hospital side again, watching the situation starting with others, hurry up and shut up or else you'll find out later how powerful some of us are. The old punk glared viciously at Zhao Minor, another kick was sent towards the small youth holding a wooden stick not far away. One little thing can't be done well, the Tang family spent so much money, asked. Us to do things, and also open a path of wealth for us, is this how you repay people? That old bastard, when he was young, he was famous for his ruthlessness in the neighborhood, at that time, a bar street, not called a bar street, the village near the internet cafes are mostly, but also a place of mixed fish and dragons, Wu Hai do things cleanly, get a boss's appreciation, lucky to enter the real estate industry, specializing in helping people clean up some of the tenants who refuse to compromise. Even during this time, the scenery over a few days, pity, since his boss fell. From Grace, there was no more income, and he was sent to prison for seven years for an assault, by the time he got out, the world had changed. He can only muddle through, looking for a divorced woman, renting a house near the center of the village, barely getting by, 
this time, it was as if the Tang family matter had given him hope, especially since the Tang family had promised them, as long as they were obedient and did what they were told, they would be placed in the Shenghui Construction Group, this was Shenghui Construction, one of the top existences in Shanghai City. As long as you get things done and enter Shenghui. Construction, there will be times of glory for you in the future, the old gangster was still using a tone of lecturing the younger generation, gesticulating. That old bastard, when he was young, he was famous for his ruthlessness in the neighborhood, at that time, a bar street, not called a bar street, the village near the internet cafes are mostly, but also a place of mixed fish and dragons, Wu Hai do things cleanly, get a boss's appreciation, lucky to enter the real estate industry, specializing in helping people clean up some of the tenants who refuse to compromise. Even during this time, the scenery over a few days, pity, since his boss fell. From grace, there was no more income, and he was sent to prison for seven years for an assault, by the time he got out, the world had changed. Wu Hai raised the wooden stick in his hand, but even though his figure was staggering, when the wooden stick crashed down, it was too late, but there is no half pity, as if they were dragging, just a dead dog, the surrounding young people, sucked in a breath of cool air, this stick smashed down, if something went wrong, it would be troublesome, but the moment they thought that the Tang family was behind them, and they couldn't help but enter the Shenghui construction group, they immediately put down their lifted hearts, only Zhao Miner, who was pushed to the ground after being released, let out a whimpering choking sound, especially when she saw that stick smashing into her, those jewel-like eyes couldn't stop the tears from flowing down, but that stick, it was only swung halfway. But it seemed to be blocked by something, she fixed her eyes on it, it was a slightly wide palm, a deadly grip on the staff, followed by a bang, Wu Hai, the old punk next to her, immediately flew out, he let out a mournful wail, he hit the stone pillar next to him hard, picking up the wooden stick, Chen Zhe's gaze coldly swept over the few youths, like a tiger in a herd, a few went back and forth, they were all beaten to the ground, crying and begging for mercy, jumped down, Chen Zhe kicked the old bastard, he pointed to the river not far away, the old punk froze, then reacted, he panicked, no, not ah, uh, uh, today's river is so fast, I guess it's because the gate was released from above. The dark currents below are rushing, if he jumps down, who knows if he will drown. Even the few young people around, they can't stop trembling with fear, today's river is too wide and too fast, they are not sure if they can survive in this river, not jumping right. Chen Zhe pulled out the silver-white scalpel from his waist, his gaze cold, like a machine, he slowly crouched down next to the old gangster, looking at the old gangster, who was terrified to death, his face could not hide a few points of excitement. At that moment, the old gangster also seemed to remember something, he glanced at the silver-white scalpel, another glance at Chen Zhe's slightly sickly face, his heart pounded, he knew that he had met the right person, recently, Shanghai city was in turmoil, even the Tang family was helpless against the madman, even one of the two mad dogs under the hands of the Tang family, the Wang family, Wang Datong, was rumored to be dead in the morning, not to mention, Chen Zhe was under the watchful eye of 50 bodyguards, the news that Wang Dong had been taken away in a dignified manner, it had already spread along the street that could be described as Chen Zhe, as a god, after all, nowadays, those who can make the Tang family afraid with the power of one person can only be one person. And so, when that silver-white scalpel appeared, he stood up with a mischievous sound, don't, big brother, I, I'll jump, can't I jump, after saying that, he glanced at Chen Zhe and saw that the other party's eyes were not only icy cold, but also carried a hint of tyranny, and a chill bubbled up in his heart, compared to the turbulent river, this suffocating madman was even more terrifying. Under the puzzled looks of the several youths beside him, he threw himself, crossed the railing, jumped into the big, wide, fast river, several youngsters were stunned, even if the other had a scalpel, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? He stabbed a few times and made a few wounds, at most, he will be taken to the hospital and lie down for a while, the Tang family will be responsible for the medical expenses, jumping into the river, life and death are out of their control, there's even a young man, lying on the ground, playing a rascal, either kill me or let me go, you want me to jump into the river, no way, no way, the young man closed his eyes, and the others followed suit, all lying on the ground, Chen Zhe laughed. Laughing like a devil, his mouth slowly split open under the sunlight, he revealed white teeth and took one step after another. River surface, the old gangster Wu Hai was paddling desperately, his heart was not in the right place, and he shouted, you idiots, hurry up and jump over, this guy was the madman who had made the Tang family helpless today, he even dared to kill Wang Dong and Wang Datong, one of the two mad dogs under the Tang family's hands, not to mention a few of you insignificant things, originally, they were still calm, suddenly, 
Their eyes widened, and the boy who had been lying on the ground climbed. Up with Shun Lei's momentum, with a fluttering sound, jumped into the water, the other two inch looking at the nearby Chen Zhe's heart is half cold. This person in front of me is now Shanghai City, let all the famous families afraid of the madman. What the hell, say it earlier, if you said it earlier, who would dare to play with him? I'm thinking in my heart, the body is also very honest, suddenly, the carp hit the ground and rolled over, one by one, like sprinters, they jumped into the rapids with their hands on the stone railing, gradually, the river swept them downstream.